good morning everybody good morning okay youtube should be live right now okay let me take a look at it real quick just a second Yep, we are live. So YouTube is live, Discord is live, and uh, Twitter is live. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Okay, five more minutes to go, guys. Okay, five more minutes to go, and I'll start with the. I'll start with the disclaimer. Okay, setting up the, you know what, let me set up the screen until everybody joins. So I'll keep this, uh, let me set up. Uh, set up the screen right there. Tick. Spy Wix. Remember, Wix expired yesterday, guys. So, Wix could be a good entry point. Okay. Okay, then the last one. Okay, let me see. Load more. Load number two. Okay. So all set. Yep, market is all set, screens are all set. I'll start with the disclaimer. This video audio is for education purpose only. I do not sell any financial advice or recommend to buy or sell any sort of stocks or investment for your financial advice. Please, please, please consult with your professional financial advisor before making any financial decision. Make sure you guys do your due diligence before you enter into any of your trade. It could be very, very risky. You can lose your entire portfolio. Okay. All right, so another two more minutes to go. Market is all set. A lot more to talk, but not now. <laughs> please, please, please click on my profile and please read all the tweets I post. Has a lot of meaning to it, a lot to learn out of it. So click on profile and look at my tweets. Has a lot of message see what market is doing manufacturing data came out it was horrible guys it's very horrible so you know what so while we have one more minute left yesterday I also post post about the Twitter you can go to YouTube and you can look at the uh, uh, Tesla earning I post Tesla earning post the test learning too guys remember if you're viewing the um, Twitter video please 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 it's a two minute delay Twitter video is two minute delay so it could be a big time loss um, so uh, please I be careful on Twitter video whatever I speak you are getting after two minutes so if I say any alerts is two minutes late running 
two three minutes sometime on twitter so be careful if you want the live you can get on to youtube.com forward slash top trading edge one word same one same thing and you will see a live there or you can click on my profile and there's a link on the top right here you click on the link and click on youtube live right there and that's where you get to know okay all right or you can if you want to interact with me right here that's the uh, twitter space you can interact with me okay market is has opened okay let's start later all this okay market just opened up spy okay spy is testing let me see what exactly going on here qqqq still let me clear the chart a little bit we got to be very careful going on a long side okay and there is a cheese mouse trap up there that's the only one reason i i said but we will go after the market maker goes so that's why i want to take time you know i feel like it could be anything guys okay that's why look at the wix pop just now wix pop in one shot look at that wix what's cooking here people are buying wix now because the options now Uh, let's see what exactly cooking tesla is flying high that could be a trap watch out a disney okay a firm still looking still looking carvana going high snap is going high let's take a look at the apple is getting rejected google is getting rejected look at that google google broke the floor guy google broke the floor okay google got a weakness somehow google got the weakness and tesla got a strength okay <laughs> isn't it funny that's that's the support of the google okay so we need to work okay amd flying high amd amd hod hod amd it's time to break the resistance so amd looking good right there okay tesla is right there microsoft oh boy microsoft not looking good right there is the resistance to break to be bullish amazon pressure is downward all right let's keep eyes on it tesla is trying hod right there be careful guys going long on tesla watch out okay so it's a so alert it's not a good earning okay spy 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 what exactly market is doing still market is testing testing okay qqq has a pressure down wix is popping okay let's see what wix is doing Still watching. 
Carvana flying high HOD Carvana HOD high of the day Carvana unity wants to go up unity the balance sheets negative EPS Tesla got rejected right at the top Tesla got rejected at the top okay so QQQ going down spy going down everything is going down going down guys we broke the floor guys uh, QQQ put QQQ put right there okay so we broke this floor right there and uh, looking interesting to me right now so what happened is right there we need to wait for the floor right here for intraday if this floor, floor takes off then QQQ can go and test I want to go here actually okay it looks like QQQ spy looking very very weak here we go spy broke the flo uh, floor of the session right there spy okay MACD pointing south guys definitely looks like a weakness solid weakness right there solid weakness so let's take a look at here yep weakness everything selling up Tesla going off now uh, Apple Apple is selling off my all oh, wow look at the Google selling off Google yep my Facebook selling off okay VIX is flying high high <laughs> VIX look at the VIX but it could be game next first 30 minutes is dangerous so is you know is every one candle you got to take the money and run if you see a good profit and that's how things are in the morning because market can make a u-turn and you can be sitting at the bottom or sitting at the top that's how the market is you got to be quick to to be take to book the profit well, VIX is flying high high look at that VIX Rix wants to go. All right, let's let's analyze. Platform pointing down. Apple is bouncing. Tesla bouncing. Amazon is bouncing. Okay. Let me take a look at the Baba. Baba looking good. Chinese stock. Okay. Trying to bounce. Market trying to bounce. Okay. Let me add a Baba here. So we know what's actually happening. Chinese stock looking good. China. Baba. see this this is the trend line we need to watch and Tesla is this is the breakout to break ascending triangle support this is the nice setting up the breakout setup it could be fake hour it could be you know could be then it could be anything guys but this is what market is doing it's trying to set up a breakout and that could be a breakout or that could be a fake out is up to up to them what they decide okay be a trap okay Baba going good man look at the Baba Baba wants to go okay so where Baba wants to go 106 I guess Baba break that snap is flying high snap is heavily shorted so snap wants to go yep Tesla breakout right there. Tesla broke the resistance. Uh, let me see. Yeah, 
Tesla broke the resistance. Yeah, right there, Tesla broke the resistance. Baba heading to the target. Everything is flying high. Carvana going high. Okay, Apple is still going holding down. Microsoft is holding down. Google is holding down. So only stocks are heavy shorted, heavy shorted stock. There, Amazon is holding down. Okay. I do not like much of a setup right now yet all right okay nothing to chase right now let's see where we are we did not go anywhere yet since market started ticks are still negative let's see the trend is going upwards okay market we did not go we are still at the same place where market opened up okay baba looking good carwana looking good look at the carwana last four days i've been seeing carwana man look at that he wants to go snap looking good unity looking good they want to go they have a lot more short to cover guys they, they have a lot more short to cover you follow these are the stocks so let's take a look at it which are the stocks they want to cover i want to go into the bear list this, that's the bull list today okay don't look at that so lvs look at that lvs okay let me see what lvs is doing on daily LVS broke to the 200 day guys. LVS looking great. So let me add LVS here. Something is going on on LVS. Look at the coin. Coin looking great. Tesla bre breaking through the roof. Okay. BKNG. So look like, look at the Carvana guys. Look like they have more short to covers. They still need, there's a lot more room they need, they need to cover. So still carvana going up unity going up snap is going up so looks like market wants to go positive but apple microsoft google meta although i mean uh, apple microsoft google amazon is holding south so let's see the power Still, we're gonna watch, see what market does. So, if you guys notice, you noticed yesterday, Dow Jones was only up 0.16 percent, whereas Nasdaq was up 1.7 percent. Did you notice yesterday? Market was positive, but the Dow Jones was like kind of, you know, no man's land zone. But Nasdaq was flying high. What was what was exactly flying? All these garbage stocks has negative EPS. They were Oh, wow, wow, ABBV, ABBVs are alert. See, ABBV is is south. Remember, yesterday we mentioned about where here ABBV has a weakness. We broke that, and look what ABBV is doing. Look at that, guys. ABBV short, beautiful short. Market going up, and this guy is going down. So where ABBV is going? Hold on. Wow, look at that. Man, this is beautiful short, ABBV. We just broke the, and ABBV, we can go. Yeah, 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 yeah. One forty-three. That's the next price target. So right here, ABBV is right now broke one forty-six. This one was which we mentioned yeah, this one yesterday. Remember ABBV I said weakness right there. So that's ABBV. Let me add somewhere here ABBV. These are the short side Microsoft Meta Amazon looking weak. Tesla okay. Uh, uh, let me add here. BV. Mm-hmm. 
All right, Google getting selling off. Market did not go anywhere. Only the few stocks are, those cyclical stocks are going higher. So let's, let me take a look at the weaknesses. Uh, okay, let me go to Tesla selling off guys, watch out, trap. on ADXN, 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 okay, let me look at something good stock, XMMO, XMMO, yeah, this one is going higher, S&P mid cap momentum ETF invest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nope. So CRM, CRM is selling off right now. The bearish sign CRM has. Okay, CRM bu bullish right there. This is 100 and moving average right now. We are trying this area. CRM looking good. What is bullish flow? Tesla has a bullish flow 10 million. Tesla, Tesla bullish flow. PayPal bullish flow. Okay, let's take a look at the PYPL. Uh, PayPal. PayPal was heavily shorted. Remember, PayPal was super duper shorted. We hit the resistance, mm, kind of. Let me get rid of it something so we can actually see. Um, nope, right there. We don't have resistance right now. PayPal looking good. So let me add a PayPal for the long side, if and uh, at all. LVS looking good right there. Snap PYPL. Look at the PayPal. PayPal looking good for intraday. Okay, right there. These are heavily shorted stock guys. Heavily, heavily shorted. Shorted. That's why they are going up. LVS is going up. Volume building up on these. Look at that. Okay, Carvana, coin, unity getting rejected, ABBV is bouncing, Apple is getting rejected, wow, Google selling off guys, something is cooking in Google and Amazon. So those who will be holding Amazon call yesterday, which was positive, like, you know, 150, 120%, Remember, one dollar call become four dollar. Now they all become <laughs> dollar back to reality, right? That's why do not hold anything overnight. Got to take the money and run. Look what exactly Amazon is doing. Exact opposite what is been doing yesterday, right? It's completely selling up. That's the weakness. Solid weakness on Amazon compared to Microsoft. Google and Amazon it has a lot of weakness. Okay, so let's uh, let's look at it. Where what exactly? market can do but we have a floor it could be trapped we need to wave watch because bear can be fooled same thing right here look market trying to fool people say hey we're gonna break the floor they broke the floor and look next candle is green on google right here you see the big immediately that's the trap that's the trap right there on amazon too look at the floor you know that's why we need to wait and watch let them whatever they look at the abbv engulfing candle guys weakness abbv has a weakness now confirming the weakness why because look at that resistance and then one engulfing candle that's the powerful candle the seller lined up so abbv is wants to go abbv wants to go Okay, this floor takes up, but the support right here actually, you know what support like there. 
So this is the support takes off is gonna go down. Apple has weakness already. We still did not go anywhere, guys. Since the market opened up, we are still same place where we started. Alrighty. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Okay, MACD pointing north. Spy wants to go up. QQQ wants to go up, pointing north. But we are still at the price of control line. Still, we are at the price of control line. Okay. So the bulls and bears are still sitting near the border line. So no direction. Though MACD pointing north, but I do not want to get in. Palantir, yeah, Palantir could be a good one. Look at the PayPal guy. Look at the PayPal. Look at the PayPal. Look at the PayPal breakout. Look at that. Man, PayPal wants to go. Doesn't want to wait for anybody. Let's see what's cooking here. PayPal has a lot more room to go. How far PayPal can go? PayPal has, woo, our, our price target is right there. I'm not going to go in that far, actually. Sorry, right here. 100 day moving average, $90. PayPal has no resistance clear cloud clear cloud so let me go back to five minutes and s where did this come from there's a gap here right now in the middle of the gap we are uh, f uh, filling up the gap right here you see that gap that's the PayPal looking beautiful, guys. PayPal looking great. And the uh, right here is our resistance. That's the target price. Right here is your target price, $989. This is what PayPal looks to me today. Heavily shorted stock right here. Why PayPal I like? Because if you see right here, look at that. $300 stock went down to $65. Now they are trying to recover right that's what they are doing look at that breakout right there and that's what paypal is doing just like yesterday amazon sorry i went to the wrong chart Okay, I try to tweet. Okay, PayPal in a uh, in a bull territory too, right here. Look at that. Let's bring it in here. Look at that Tesla and PayPal. PayPal has a bull cycle right now, bullish flow. So, Nvidia has bullish flow too, but we're gonna keep look at that. PayPal has a bullish flow. Right, so we're gonna keep eyes on that. Let me see. Okay, let me see what exactly happening. I need to, I'm trying to tweet guys, okay, just to give me a second, okay. 
Look at that. Uh, ticks are turning super. The Fuzzy Spy wants to go higher, guys. Look at that. All right. So we broke the. We broke these. Okay, that's good. You know what? Forget about the tweet, guys. I got to focus on here. We be QQQ looking good right here. We broke the resistance, right? We are trying to break the resistance. Yep, right there. It looking bullish. Trend is bullish. Right here. This is what the setup setting up. Could be a trap. It could be a trap here. We need to break and go higher. Then only we believe so we are previous day high guys right there previous day high is right at 304 and he wants to break right there you see that that's the previous day high we broke previous day high and wants wants to go all right so look like same thing here two spies so let's go and take a look at the spy man here we go yep spy guys remember here because that's the gap and that's what market gonna try today or not that's the trap everybody become bullish and then market take a u-turn too right that's why you gotta be careful we still have a still room to go remember 396 396 to wait we are still at 395.32 to so be careful right here 396.50 is the target i would not even go further more I would exit right here and let the market maker go first and then we can go behind. You see that? That's the ascending triangle breakout. Could be fake out, it could be anything. Alrighty, so let's take a look at what exactly happening. Look at the LVS guys, look at that LVS looking beautiful. It's a heavily shorted stock. PayPal, PayPal is looking good. LVS looking good. LVS, look at LVS wants to go. That's the channel, upward channel. Look at that, LVS. Car one are still looking good. PayPal is getting rejected, maybe consolidating here, you know, and then it can sub bull flex Serena probably. Google is compressing at around $113. Same thing, Apple is compressing 153 area. Amazon bounce from its floor, sell off still continue ABBV is still above the floor still market has a room to go up okay it's just Consolidating here. I'm not entering into any of the trade guys, okay? I'm not. I want my proper direction and I just want to trade one or two, whatever I get the best. But I'm waiting for the trade, best trade. I'm waiting for 20% profit. That's it. I don't want to. I don't need a thousand percent profit. <laughs> so I'll wait. Apple right there. So Apple is creating this trend. If you want to be bullish before app, you know trend breaks, then yes. Until then, watch out. On Apple, Carvana looking good. LVS looking good. Look at this chart. Beautiful setup right there. PayPal, look at that beautiful setup on PayPal, guys. PayPal, I love the PayPal right there. 82.58. Yeah.
morning, Josh. Good morning, everybody. Hey, good morning, Antonio. How are you? It's good. It's been a while. Uh, I was on vacation at the cottage, but mm -hmm. today is the first day of trading, so back and let's see what happens. Uh, hope everybody has a good day. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, man. Uh, no problem. Hope everything was uh, your vacation was good, Josh. Hope you enjoyed it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It was great. Thank you. That's good. Mm -hmm. So it looks like everything's just not really doing much now, eh? The trend? Yeah, we're going to wait. I want to let the market, de you know, we have a, so right here, SPY, we need to be very careful. We have the gap up, gap down, up here, and that's what people are, all the trader think oh, is going to fill up the gap. Market trying to try the resistance, and we think it's going to break. Then uh, it could be a trap set up too. It, it could do, market could do, because last five days, market is going up, up, up. And, and oh, well, then well, watch the QQQ right now, Josh. I just got an alert. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking good. Is um, I so until here, right now QQQ looking good because they have they have a lot more room to go. QQQ QQQ has a no no worry, but but spy we need to be very careful, very careful on spy side. So spy has the resistance there. At what thirty three ninety six? Uh, right there. Spy has a resistance. Is yep yeah, three ninety six. 396 is the resistant area right here and that's why I'm you know I'm trying to be cautious and the queues, I see the queue there with uh, three of uh, queue does not have any resistance QQQ so market is like you know QQQ has a room there is no restrictions on the QQQ side yeah but um, where did it go on pre-market it looks like pre-market it was there was a high mm -hmm. I can't see it I think 305 Free market, yeah, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, and the previous day resistance is right here around 172.50 right here so but uh, somehow what i see this choppy one i don't like these this kind of candle whenever something shoot up you see this choppiness that's not you need stacking candles that that's the strength if you don't see a stacking candles then uh, i would not get into those kind of run up uh, i i don't call the market strength for, then I would be a little scared. It's risky. Got it. Okay. Right. Thank you. No problem. Hey, Josh, I have a question. I was looking at ABBV, the uh, put options. Mm -hmm. The spreads are so far apart. I mean. Yeah, that's be careful on that. That's why you got you got to look all this understanding about spreads and all. Um, uh, it's like crazy, man. Yeah, today and you earning came out and it was solid. Look at the, the EPS nine nine dollar sixty seven cents and stock is super undervalued, but the problem is market maker they don't want this because the inflation is going skyrocketing and and you uh, is one of the you know they have crazy profit profitability solid so great earning stock is pre market was up now it's going down and you can you imagine the game crazy. <laughs> yeah, look at the pre-market up and now slowly slowly going down the resistance is building up could be a good shot this once we break this floor it could be a good shot the, be the best was uh, i think it was last week wells was it last week or monday i can't remember wells fargo came up with horrible bad numbers but yet it went up <laughs> no, no the banking yeah those i don't trust even the good number or bad number we don't want to trust them horrible number it was negative in the pre-market and then it just kept going up during the day <laughs> yeah 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 Alrighty, let's focus here we're getting rejected spy got rejected a little bit but i think they're gonna ping pong here they are just taking okay look at our firm constant grinding higher higher so all these garbage they want to take it up and many people believe market is bottom market bottom out <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Hey, Josh, 
take a look at Lucid. Wow, look at Apple, guys. Yeah, Apple broke the floor, guys. Watch out, Apple. Apple broke the floor. They're dangerous right there. You see, this is this. This is not good. Look at that. This is not a good sign. Right here, Apple got a weakness, man. Apple broke the floor. Apple short. So, okay, right here. Let me get this. Right there. Okay, that's the that's the line that's the support line now that is resistance but look at abbv guys what did i say in the morning this is the support it breaks and baby gonna roll you see this this is how abbv works abbv what look at that <laughs> you're loving it right this is how we find the weakness guys so abbv where abbv is going right there 143 ABBV good shot no support at all it's easy 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 <laughs> easy busy money right this is how we play okay let me make a little video hang on a second guys it's a big screen but I'm just gonna make a little video let's see if it works Alright, we announced yesterday ABBV, that was the support broke and then there, there was a second support today, that was the major line we noticed and it broke that and now look at that ABBV heading to 143.47, that's our price target, this is how we play, thank you. Sorry, I got to get out of it here. Okay, one second guys. Okay. Guys, 21 likes, 100, 100 viewers. If you can hit the like button, we'd appreciate guys. Okay, market is trying to bounce. Let's see. All right, so what exactly happening? Apple is getting rejected. Apple, Microsoft. Microsoft, if you wanted to short, we need. Uh, we need to wear it for this that's the resistance, that's the floor to watch. Enjoy 
Josh, can you take a look at Lucid? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Lucid actually, I wanted to add that too. Lucid could be good, but they're heavily shorted. Lucid is looking good right now. Is excellent right there. So Lucid is um, what's the target? Man, Lucid has no target right now. It can continue going. This can go. Hold on. Had calls on him yesterday, and I and I closed them at the end of the day. That's fine. No need to repent. That's fine. We have a lot more room to go. It uh, Lucid is looking good, guys. Looks Lucid is look good. Yep, Lucid now break the 100 day moving average, guys. So Lucid is good. Lucid can go to 28, 20, you know, right here. It's, it has a lot more room to go, Lucid. He's heavily yeah. shorted. You said 28? Yeah, right here. So this can go here also. Doesn't mean it's going to go today, but, you know, market is... Why? Because Lucid... Okay, Lucid... several time i don't know if this is resistance or not okay let me see. okay let me watch let me see touching or not yeah it touches so we have this is the major resistance too right here do we need to break right this one 2278 which is 2278 is the next and then the third one is this lucid all right thanks josh mm -hmm. if we break this 2278 then it's gonna looking good because that's the major major sloping resistance major right and that's what market is gonna try like like look like all right guys spy lod trying right now so something is cooking in spy we got rejected let's see okay so lvs getting rejected paypal getting rejected ABBV. So I would look for a weak stock, not the strong stock. Look at Google, guys. Google broke the floor. Google broke the floor. Apple broke the floor. Um, Amazon is still holding the floor. Amazon is still holding the floor right here. That's the floor. So, but Apple looking weak. Google looking weak. Microsoft looking weak. What does this mean? That means, but the QQQ is holding. Why? Because there's a lot of cyclical stock. They are they are part of Nasdaq. They are part of QQQ. That's why QQQ is not weak. SPY is weak. Okay, SPY is looking very weak, guys. QQQ looking very weak right there. Yep, baby wants to go now. Alrighty. So let's, uh, I'm going to look for something interesting if I find. Yeah, let, let me know which one you think is the weakest. <laughs> ABBV. I know, I looked at it, but the spreads are crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then, uh, no, no, I, I no, you know. <laughs> then I need, I need not look, man. I sometimes, I, when I don't enter, I don't look. But if anybody asks me, I can look. ABBV. Okay, let me see the spread. Okay. That's good. Now... Uh, wow 60 cents uh, nope stay away guys there is no volume there either you know there is no option volume be careful you won't be able to sell back when you buy it and you know if you have 30 30 40 40 cents you're paying out of 90 cents even playing today oh no no no, no. these are one one dollar no way no 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 good man these are 30 30 percent they want to profit out of it no good no good abv we stay away only way it can be good but you know that's you know why even why you why would i pay even in the money in the money three dollar sixty cents you only pay 20 cents difference 30 cents difference but yeah i mean you can't i mean the 150 so for example 150 put on abbv 150 is right now 370 so 30 cent difference oh wow it's anyways going down now guys ABBV look at that anyway let's focus on when trade okay market reach took the floor off guys spy first for broke the floor QQQ in the process of breaking the floor and that's what market is doing let's see MACD pointing south yep MACD pointing south I am not entering into any of the trade because we look this is what I think 
I mean, if anybody would have trade, but I have, remember I give running commentary, so I could not, but I could have, you know, once we break this one, we get rejected a price of control and we could have made here easily 20, 30, 40 cents right there. I could have, but I did not go. So we are testing the floor. I want to see what market maker goal is here. They might fake out, break the floor, go back and come back and then bounce again. They can do like that. That's why I don't, don't trust. I want more confirmation. If I don't trade, we are fine. But not to get trapped, looking look like a weakness. Based on the MACDs, wants to go south. Okay. Tesla showing strength. Tesla showing strength, yep, Tesla right now they're loading up. But be careful guys, this is whatever the strength shows is not real strength. But that's fine, well, okay. Hey Josh, what's, uh, you know that chart that you bring up that shows uh, which one's the b most bullish and then which one's the most weak? Uh, which one's the most bearish? Oh, the bear side right now is Shopify. No, but Shopify is heavily shorted. Netflix, Apple, Google, Apple, Google, CRM, Apple, Google. So, Netflix, Apple, Google. Shopify, wow, wow, wow. Shopify? Hold on, let me see. Let me see Shopify. No, Shopify is, is still the bull is intact, the trend is intact. I don't see any weakness here. Not I would not short Shopify guys. Shopify is 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 bullish look to me. So I don't trust whatever they show. I, I I'm bullish on Shopify. I'm not until unless the trend line breaks. Um, I do not like I like Apple to be if you look at the Apple. Apple broke the trend line right there. Look at that. This is not a small trend line too. Look at that. Beautiful shot. Right there. Once the trend line breaks, Algo kicks in. And that could be the shot. And that's what I announced. Algo, Apple looking weak. That's for short right there. But QQQ is the game right here floor. Remember I said I don't want to short here anything further at the floor. All right, guys. A lot of comment on YouTube, guys. Sorry, I did not see, but yeah, Palantir, Palantir. Wanna let me see Palantir. Palantir is heavily shorted. Yep, Palantir. Right there, that's the support. Trend line is intact. Higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, low, higher, high. That's what Palantir is doing so far. Ten dollar seventy five cents is the resistance, and the thirty minutes we don't. Yeah, Palantir has a lot more room to go up. It can go to ten ninety nine. Okay. Okay, market trying to bounce from the floor. You see that? But we have the resistance, which is price of control line, 394 right here. Same thing here, 303 at QQQ, guys. So let's see if this price of control line is controlling or getting rejection rejection or breaking through. If it break through, we're going to go higher. Okay, let's see what he's doing here. 
look at Apple broke the floor and trying to try the resistance now same thing Microsoft same thing Google ABBV look at that broke the floor wow. Google found the weakness. Look at the Google. Okay. Here, here we go. Look at that. Look at that. What price of control line? Look at that. Got rejection got rejection if this is confirmed then if, if we take this is the price of control line if get rejection and we give we break the floor then baby gonna roll down but market is not doing so it's faking out faking out follow so we need to wait for confirmation we don't want to trade not not to trade is another trade if patience is a trade you want strong confirmation If you don't make any penny, that is fine, but not to lose, that is the priority, <laughs> right? That's what we need to learn here. Ram Tripathi, hey Josh, hope you had a good vacation. Absolutely, man, I had a blast. I was, I had a good vacation. Hello, Gopi, Gopi is on vacation. He, <laughs> uh, he's on two weeks vacation. Jim Hamilton, today's moment, either Tesla drags the market up, Tesla drags the market up, or the market drags Tesla down. <laughs> no, man, no, I don't think, I don't think anything in like that, that Tesla can market go up and down with just because of Tesla. Tesla is, is a small cap stock, uh, stock compared to others. Apple, Apple has a more stake in uh, SPY, 6.5%. And same thing on a QQQ. I forgot maybe eight or nine percent, and then the QQQ. So Spy has, I mean, Apple, Microsoft, Google. They they are big cap. Look at that, guys. There is weakness. Okay, weakness coming in. Look at that weakness. So this is the floor to watch. Let's focus on trade, guys. Okay, let me focus on trade. Wix is popping, guys. H O D Wix. H O D Wix. That means the floor gonna take off or not that's the question so let's take a look at here what exactly cooking apple got a rejection so that means market is going to go down that's what i feel it 70 80 percent chances because of the way apple looking the way chart setting up on microsoft and google okay those are the three major i'm looking up right now so right here the resistance are building up let me get rid of that Microsoft right here that's the floor to test so market wants to go down EMD going down right now so Amazon is testing the floor guys yep Google is testing the floor pointing down spy pointing down but I do not want to enter <laughs> I care about few cents, but I will care about few cents, but let's see. QQQ would be a good play today. Maybe, let's see. Because of the Apple, Google, and all these things are looking weak today. Okay. Here we go. VIX is flying high. Something is not looking good. Okay. So I'm, I'm trying to analyze QQQ puts on my other side. $301 put going for $2.15. 
two dollar fifteen cents I'm looking up and okay I enter into the three uh, three hundred and one QQQ put three dollar fifteen cents Let's see what market does it I know it did did not break the floor yet but starting right now I will take a loss if it is 20% or something I'll move on but right now I'm just I know the floor but spy wants to break the floor or let's see if it's fake enough because you see these teeny mini candles I don't trust those but what I see weakness here I saw the weakness in uh, Google Apple Microsoft AMD Amazon right when they are testing the floor and pointing nose point nose is pointing down and breaking the floor that signals me that we are gonna break the floor see that this is how I trade look at that 25 cents up already right now <laughs> yep baby wants to go look at that yep 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 okay guys beautiful yep right there wow look at that yep yep I'm happy with the 40 cents but still watching candle is going pressure is down so I'm gonna let it go wow look at that 45 cents profit yep give me 50 cents and I'm out okay I'm out guys I took a 51 cents no it's 49 cents okay guys I'm out that's how we play look at that right beautiful catch <laughs> this is was that I just want to say beautiful beautiful tree yeah but remember guys what I teach here is cannot be greedy particularly spy and QQQ and you think is oh, I'm gonna go to 100% 200% man it can go one time two time but then you t you make money two time and eight time you lose because you you cultivated the wrong habits of making 200% 100% because every time never happens market doesn't decide the price I mean you cannot decide the price market maker decides the price and that's why everybody is losing money you got to see the see the actions and and trigger and take the money and run Hey, hey Josh. What's up, man? The reason for the drop is that Biden has COVID. Biden has a COVID because of that? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think so, man. I, I noticed Biden has a cancer. Biden has a COVID. Who cares, man? Um, yeah, but it started right when it was announced. That's when the drop started. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was just announced 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. Possible, man. I mean, I, I can do, definitely pinpoint whatever um, it could be. Um, but who I you know what I whatever we price XNC is great. But yeah, good appreciate man your input. Really appreciate. Bye. Thanks. Hey Josh, what do you think about um Exxon right now? So just for today. I've been uh trading puts. Man, Exxon is beautiful. Look at that. Okay, so what happened is Exxon, you can take a look at it look at the trend just broke down and it's like a baby wants to go down crazy so that's beautiful look at 30 minutes we just broke the 200 and moving every exam is good shot guys exam they wants to bring the commodity down okay so let me put the now exam here i like exam short look at that yep absolutely absolutely uh, okay so exam just broke today in a pre-market or actually broke right there so where exam is going exam has a support around 
major support I would say around 83.57 so right here just a little bit okay this is intraday so I think uh, it could be 83.44 I will take the money and run at that if you want I can set the alert right here and if it happens we will get alert Twitter mic you can use it maybe uh, you can uh, you need to press the button or you might need to I don't know man if, uh, can can anybody try right now on discord see if it is mic works or please post the message on live chat if you if you cannot yeah because I tried yesterday I wasn't able um, it didn't seem like it was working so I was like you know what, let me just even though I'm listening to you on the Discord, I was like, let me come on the Twitter just to even uh, ask about Exxon real quick. If anybody can try, let me know, guys. Uh, somebody said the mic is not working on the uh, Discord. So if anybody can speak. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Thanks, thanks, man. Yeah, it's working, man. Maybe you're, um, you might need to press the button. You might need to press the button. Thanks, man. I appreciate uh, for helping me. All right, okay, guys. Market wants to go down. Okay, it looks like pressure is downwards. Pressure is downwards. Pressure is downward because look at the cycle. Bull cycle we did not. We got ejected. So that's good. I think uh, I'm into QQQ put again, guys. 248. 301. I know I'm over trading, but whatever the profit I made, that's the only profit I'm putting into it. I'm not putting anything on it. So I know it's a risky, those candles that doesn't look good. Look at that, that's scary, right? <laughs> that's scary, oh uh, boy. Okay. Already. Here we go. You know what, man? I don't like this kind of trade right now. Tell you frank. Okay, let me see. Do AMD pointing south. Everything pointing south. Yeah, man. There is nothing much juice left. Okay, on here. So I like. I, I don't. I don't like the trade. I will re-enter later. So let me see. look like a bear flag setting up right looks to me it's like enticing <laughs> the way right now setting up is look like a bear flag is gonna break down uh, but uh, if I see here everything pointing down to pointing down to except ABBV meta pointing down holding everything is holding I think it's holding everything Yeah, look at that. There is nothing. There is no. Look at the MACD pointing. MACD is kissing the signal line, so it could be. It could be not interesting, guys. I'm out, guys. I just took a three cents and I'm out. I don't want to hold it. I will come back later. Though, look, look. It looks to me, but I feel like, I feel like, um, my hands are tight. That's, that's what I don't want to do. It looks like a bear setup. Look at the beautiful bear setup, guys. Bear flag is looks interesting to me. And a QQQ, it looks wants to go, but it might ping pong probably for ten minutes. I don't know. Yeah. Meta What's, that? Just support. What's that? Meta. I'm looking at Meta, and it just bounced off support at one seventy eight ninety eight. Meta. Meta, yeah, Meta is, um, no, but I would not look for anything on a long side, anything right now, because of the, yeah, because of this, uh, the way it looks like market condition is, uh, you know, I understand you could, it could be a good, good to bounce, it can be market bounce, then your Meta can be a good play, but I'm not playing anything long side right now. No, I, uh, Josh, I agree with you, I'm just saying that 
it was testing that support level and it hit and it bounced so it might break it now but we'll see yeah 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 absolutely Look at the AMD weakness, guys. Point nose is pointing down. Apple nose pointing down, and Microsoft pointing down. Right. So what does it mean? Look at that. But I do not like this teeny mini candle. Look at the spy or teeny mini candles. That is telling me that there is suspicious activity going on. <laughs> Don't trust them. They they try to show you oh we're gonna we're gonna go down 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 and then they take they take it up you know that's why this teeny mini candle happens so I don't trust maybe let's see if this resistance breaks it's gonna be north it get rejected here then we're gonna go down you just take the one one good target remember like how leopard sits down for a whole one hour and then he finds the his prey in one shot that's what I just did since morning i said i don't want to trade i don't want to trade and then you get your 50 cents that's it <laughs> right who cares you make a 25 percent profit and you're done for the day that's what you should care the moment you become over trading that's where we start losing money because you try to keep trading keep trading that's that's why i said not to trade is another trade we need to learn everybody need to learn be patient for not to trade You, you you saw what I did. I I try to enter second trade, and then I start realizing, man, I broke my discipline, and I say, no, well, let me get out of it. Doesn't matter if market goes or not. My way, I say, I want to get out of it. Just like that. Though though I did not risk my any capitals, I just put my profit into the trade. But still, discipline is discipline. You got to train your mind because we have a two different elements in our body, which is greediness and the hope. When, 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 when your whatever the trade is going for, you know, 20% profit, 150% profit, we have a greedy nature that, oh no, it's gonna go more, 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 right? And then we, and then what happens? That 100% profit, 80% profit, you think, and then you don't take the profit, and then that 80% become 50%, and then you say, you know what? I have seen 80%, so, you know, it's gonna go back. And then what happens? You end up that 80, 50% also become 10%, maybe it become negative. And then we end up losing money same problem also greediness uh, hope what is hope means you trading 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 and then you you realize it man uh, you know this now uh, you know stock is going down i'm losing 20 percent i'm gonna hold it it's gonna come back you know i'm gonna hold it you're gonna come back and then guess what you're holding hope and you don't take 20 percent loss and then stock goes to all the way to 100 percent until you lose everything look at the breakout guys look at that breakout you see the trend is beautiful bullish right but i don't want to go and trade so that's that's called greediness and hope those are our biggest enemy that's what yesterday's i took a one-on-one -on -one lesson to somebody teach that how thing that happens and i you know that's what exactly happens okay market trying to bounce see it's good that i exit my this thing from here right i took <laughs> four cent profit but it's okay but i i exit right that is my discipline otherwise i would have, i'll be losing right now 50 60 cents right there it's looking bullish right now but i don't want to enter Look at Apple resistance right there. Hey, when is Apple learning? Apple learning is on 28 July. 
28 July. So all the way to Thursday probably. 28 is Thursday. Next Thursday. Apple got rejected from 100 day moving average right there. Same thing happened last. No, 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 that was not the thing. Okay. Whatever Apple does it. Market trying to bounce. Yep, looking bullish. And you can try the price of control line, which is right here. QQQQ. Look at the LVS was the super bullish trend broke right there and it becomes super bearish. Nice, eh? See that right there the trend line broke and same bull become bear today. See the notice? Wow, okay. Tesla looking good. Tesla right there. The trend is intact. Right here. market trying to bounce wow look at that bullish right there apple trying to break the trend line no, north guys looking bullish so hold on apple microsoft but let me see that's the bullish yeah Man, market still did not try the, the fill the gap on a spy. Today. See this gap? That's the steel gap. Remember I post the market video yesterday. I nowadays I read most of the time every day I put post the video in the night time. A uh, couple of minute video, a real quick video on 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 Twitter, so you can uh, you can see what I what I think, whatever I post. I made Tesla video. I made the market video. Tesla video is interesting, guys. Okay, I don't I don't care what right now Tesla is going up a little bit, but that could be a trap also. But the analysis what I have done is 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 that balance it you got to look at that balance it is looks not looking good guys horrible super horrible worse than uh, very worst than last quarter despite selling despite selling the bitcoin okay despite selling the bitcoin hey josh i have a question about uh las vegas sands i i, I want to get into a call option right now just for a trade for probably the next half hour what do you think L Las Vegas and LVS. Man, it testing the floor. You right? It's two hundred a moving average on daily. So in two. But we have the price of control line is here at thirty eight forty, and trying to bounce from the support. So if I were you, I would enter. If the price of control line breaks which is about to try right now 38.52 and we need 38 at least give me a candle close the candle above and break this one 38.70 then i can go to 39.96 so i need this confirmation 
I need the confirmation to break, then I'll be bullish. That's what I'm looking at right now. That's why I said. <laughs> Let me see what Josh thinks. No problem, man. Thanks, Good for testing me. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> All right. The reason we have is this is a kind of bear flag, but it's not a bear flag because flag supposed to be this way bear flag. So, and that's why we got to be cautious here. So we need to make sure it breaks through the resistance 38, and then it can go. We need more confirmation. 38. What are you looking at? 38.72. You said you. Yeah. You want to see? Yeah, right there. This is the. This is the previous high, cycle high. I need to break that. So what I see right now is the, the bull cycle going on, but it's not like a strong bull cycle, guys. So what, what does it mean? So if you look, come he come back here, market gonna ping pong here, look look like little this area below the uh, below the price of control line. Doesn't want to go crazy. They, they, they don't wanna create crazy price action. That's how I see it. when I read the chart, it looks like trading the water. Bullish, but trading the water for in this area. You follow this area. So little bull, little bear, little bull, little bear, and that's what it'll be trading here. That's what it looks like based on these actions. When I see all the chart, it looks like not crazy momentum. So what does it mean? That means you will be burning your premium to make a one person, to make a 10% or 20% profit uh, is um, biting the bullet. Difficult. Apple looking good. Apple broke the trend line upwards, wants to go north. Yo, Josh, I just posted it into the live chat or whatever. The the banks got these two moves like you're talking about whenever they consolidate and I posted it up where you can take a look at it. Bank uh, spy? You, you will work. Yeah, spy. It's doing that. The two bank moves, that, that strategy I learned, they they have two strats that they use and they I've already had the boxes and the lines drawn up so I already see the two possibility views that they're about to do. <laughs> yeah, good, 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 good. Yep, good one. Two possibilities. Yep, goes down, goes up. So three ninety six your target for the north side and three ninety one. So yeah, you let's take a look at right here. Spy. So right here, that's what the possibilities are. You are on the line right there because that's so far we tested these in the bottom market had tested this and market is um, we are right here which is which is this is the pre-market we have so you see that banker's candle go down a little bit to the uh, where it started dropping off where the red uh, it broke through the resistance I mean the support down there so these are this is the today's uh, profile session where the buyers and bulls. So if you take a, if you un understand, try to read the buyers and sellers. So bo most of the buyers and sellers agree at 394 at this particular time period. But if you look at here, we have a gray area. This is the gray area. The what does it mean gray area? That means the buyers and sellers are not liking me over here. They are more liking on the downside. If you look at this, you see where where the re yellow is more like a. Uh, uh, sellers and the bull um, the r blue is buyers so look at the sellers are heavier here sell there is no no buyer here look at this no buyer buyer sitting at the bottom here so so what does it mean that means the tension is downward right you see and I hope you can see the uh, I'm trying to you know show the people so yeah I like that thank you that, that was an awesome explanation mm -hmm. no problem That's why I also said here, look at that, they think I see, I'm not going to trade here because this is like trading waters. It looks like nothing. It's all this candle, teeny minute candle, one come, one green, one red, and then again go down a little bit, and then again go. That's what it looks like, but bottom line is the pressure is downward. That 394 is a key support I'm waiting for to hit. We'll know where it's going to go from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's just a... Uh, 
no actions right now. Mm -hmm. Alright, since no action, I'm gonna eat my banana. So this is tiny miniature uh, bull cycle. I mean, bull trend building up right now. You see that? So we need to see how far. As long as this trend line is intact, we are in the bull. If we get rejected and rejection the reject the trend line, then we're gonna go down. Until then, we just remain bullish for this particular cycle I'm talking about. Here we go. If you take a look at it, Apple, keep eyes on Apple. Support right there. This is the next resistance right there. Once we break that one, and then the next one is right here. That's not looking solid today. Right there. Look at the Baba. Exactly got rejected right at the top where we draw the trend line. LVS, let's see what uh, what happened to LVS. Look what happened, right, Antonio? LVS rejected the my price target, <laughs> thirty eight seventy two. Tesla resistance right there. Oops, sorry. Tesla, Tesla, right down. Okay, be careful. We are hit the hit the resistance, guys. Tesla, watch out at that. That's the major major resistance, right? Three ninety, guys. Okay, this is the resistance. The next is next is eight hundred and thirteen. Okay, guys, be careful. The earning was not good. It's a very, very scary earning, and I made that video very clear. So be careful. It's just this is all game, guys. Market, you know, all the there's a lot of cult follower right on Tesla. That's what market maker right now trying to believe what they are believing. Say, hey, Tesla earning is good and stock is going up, right? And guess what? All bulls will be setting at the top, and they're gonna take it down. That's the game goes, man. It's just a matter of week. You watch. Market doesn't give money straight, remember. Do you think market is going up because of Tesla is good? That's why? That's why market maker giving up the money right now? 
they are giving up right now donating probably one billion dollar on taking stock up and they're gonna rake the big money setting up the, all the bull trap nobody gives free lunch Three or three is the resistance to watch on QQQ. Same thing here. Three ninety four thirteen resistance to watch. It's a bullish cycle going on. You see that? Slowly, slowly grinding. Max says Tesla does not trade on fundamentals. Well, I'll tell you guys, I have been in this industry 25 years. No matter what, there has to be financial is your foundation, and foundation is your fundamental. That's what we need to look. If it may be temporary, it, it doesn't trade, but eventually everything comes to reality. Stock market brings everything to reality, no matter what. You cannot be paying 50, 50 time, 80 time, hundred time for years and years you will find buyers looking for the bargain price eventually so anyway all right market time to bounce looks like the price of control line is right there and let's see if it is fake or real but it wants to go already QQQ breaks the I don't want to trade man. That's what I can tell you right now. Okay, market looks bullish. Price of control line is right here. Okay, AMD wants to go higher, everything wants to reverse guys, right there, yep, yep. But look at that ticks are turning 1000 point positive, first time HOD ticks, market wants to go, alright let's see what, bullish, test like bullish, chewy, chewy, Chewy is bullish. Look at that CHWY came in. CHWY Chewy. Chewy. Well, look at that. Last 15 days, Chewy is right there at $43. Can you believe it? Last one and a half weeks, right there. Two weeks, constant right here. Look at the week about the body. It's all dangerous. Tree wants to go. We have major resistance at 47, but it's pulling back. It's a lot of buyer try to line up and then getting reject, get rejected. Chewy. Yeah, so be careful on Chewy, guys. I do not like Chewy. I like it, their, their earnings and everything, but in market, market maker action, I don't like. So I don't trade it. I want support from them. If they don't support, they did support here. Look at that. Now they are not supporting. They support here 15, two weeks ago. Beautiful support. Chewy took it to the from 30 to 43. Don't, don't expect too much. Sorry to interrupt. A, uh, AMD is high of the HOD. AMD. Okay. AMD has a lot more room to go up. So you're right. AMD. AMD is under value. Today market open up and AMD shoot up. Now is AMD HOD. Where AMD going? AMD has a lot more room to go. There is a gap here. So this is what going to happen. I think like this. You see this AMD has a gap. That's the, that's the gap. Before gap, I would exit. $92 AMD going. And this is the cheese right there. 
This is the yeah. That's the cheese right there, mouse trap. Right there. So I would exit at 92. I'll set the alert here. If anybody be afraid, I'll put it up just in case. Mouse trap. Vegas sends. I just, just gonna, I'm gonna get in now for calls. Crossed over that. Sure. LVS. LVS. Yep, yep. Let me, let me, let me see. You got it. LVS is looking, getting rejected. Let me see market. market is right now market first market first market first so what market is doing we are we are right at the price of control line spy and and qqq so and is constantly grinding higher right here another one so it is bullish right here it is bullish both side is bullish but if the market get rejection then your lvs will get a rejection if the market goes fly higher then your LVS will go high. So market first, market first. Well, I got my stop set. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. Yeah, right there. Market looking good, so your LVS will look will look good too. Yep. AMD great. Like AMD. You like Meta, Meta like Meta. AMD and Meta, ma nice. Tesla breaking out, Tesla breakout, Tesla breakout right there, Tesla looking good, nice breakout, yeah let's let, let it have, let's have Las Vegas Sands join it. <laughs> Tesla 813. Yep, market is going slowly, slowly higher. It's going to test the top, slowly, slowly going. Look at that, coin, everything. Going higher too. XOM gone bounce. Yeah, well, it, it recovered from that dr big drop from 30 minutes for 30 minutes for 30 uh, 200 moving average right there. Yes, it did. It did bounce. So what happened is, guys, the gap is been filled right here. No, it did not fill up the gap. There is still gap up, gap left there. That's why you got to take the money and run because it can't be con constantly going red, red, red. Somebody asked me too. But it uh, depends on if you're playing intraday is dangerous. If it is, um, that's why intraday I take the money when market offers something. I take money because never know market always change the direction. If, you, if it is something long term, then your theta is in, your, in the middle. Theta is the problem. So that's why whatever market offers money, you got to take the money and run. 
completely cycle change look at that market market wanted to sell off sell off right here right there and now look at the bounce and now market wants to go higher see that so it looks like uh apples flying yep absolutely yeah i'm looking for 396.40 mm -hmm. so i got three contracts of spy pushing up Nice ascending. Some point we're gonna break this one too, and then uh, we test this one. Yesterday, by the way, just some info. Someone placed a huge uh, short on, I think it was coin, for August, uh, was it August 12th? Mm -hmm. $65 strike on the puts. Out of the money for August 12th. Yeah, today looks, if you take a look at it, Tesla, Chewy, Meta, Affirm, PayPal, NVIDIA, they all look good in bull side if you look at this. The flow, water flow coming out is all looking bullish right there. On Tesla, Chewy, Meta, from PayPal, Nvidia, Amazon. Teledoc. Teledoc also. LVS got rejection. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get out. Yeah, we did not uh, just fake out and then again we got rejected. Yeah. looking bearish because once we break the trend line is not good market going up and uh, and the L LVS started going down look we have the green candle over here red candle so that's the weakness She's man out of QQ call, beautiful. QQQ calls, yep, right there. The support is right here at 303.25. Still is bullish, bull is intact on QQQ. Okay, once we break the price of tar price, price of control line the, right here, which is 394, spy 394.10 then it can go down already let me take a look at it where what is the what are the flow alerts coming in wow tesla alerts all tesla alerts everything is tesla paypal is very few calls a lot of bullish alerts for tesla look at that how many people are, look at the alerts coming on Tesla. 
PayPal had one long alert on PayPal. Where PayPal is doing? Let's see. Yep, PayPal sell off and bounce, and now it's going back. PayPal looking good. And Josh, are those just day trades for the day intraday, or because you said that earnings were bad? Was that correct? Which one on Tesla? Yeah. Yeah, so earning is bad doesn't mean the stock uh, cannot go up. Your earning is good and UE, a hundred times better than Tesla earning. And um, mm, that stock is going down. That's true. You're right. <laughs> yeah, so it's all bull trap. There is no free lunch anywhere in this world. Remember that. This market maker don't give anything free. They set up the trap. That's how you do. That's how they make money. So everybody is bullish on Tesla, right? You know that. I was listening a couple of places, spaces, and I was listening to see how things are audience everywhere. It's super bullish. And if you uh, analyze the earnings, it's horrible. Worst earning I see in last uh, three, four quarter, I would say, at least three quarter, four quarters. And I lay out my whole thing in that. Why? The most important part which I mentioned about EBITDA, every time I say about EBITDA, EBITDA dropped $1 billion. The last quarter, uh, they had a $5 billion EBITDA positive. This time they were 3.7, so they lost almost $1.3 billion in this quarter, EBITDA. That's despite selling their Bitcoin. But EBITDA is a part of the all expenditures and whatever their assets they have. So uh, it doesn't matter despite or not, but at least just to give you idea, I always look at the EBITDA. EBITDA it dropped from last quarter to this quarter. That's a scary sign, right? Sorry, what was the symbol on it? What? The one you're talking about lost 1.3 billion? Tesla. Oh, you're talking about Tesla, okay. No, I'm just trying to tell you what I, how I analyze fundamentals. Because many people think Josh is only technicals. No, man. I'm not only macro, not only technicals. When it comes to fundamental also, I analyze. Very deep dive in. But I need some time because we are always busy in eight, eight, nine hours every day. So don't get time. But when I get time, I do. I have family. I have kids. Fundamental is the foundation. They never lie. And that's why we need to focus on. Anytime you want to go long, song, anything long, you got to be very careful. You gotta always look at the fundamentals. Fundamental is the foundation of the of the building you're building on the top. EMD bullish. But right now there is nothing bullish. Um, Alert coming in. Let's look at the flow. Tesla call coming in. And if I analyze ETF also. Let me see ETF. Put coming in on spice. Wow, what why the put coming in? Okay guys, puts coming in. Be careful now. Okay, so let's take a look at what's happening here. Let me look at Apple. Yep, puts coming in. Alert. Alert. Oh no, these are December puts, man. Who the hell cares about December puts coming in? Weekly expiry this week. I want to see what's happening. I don't care about the December. Okay. Spy. Okay. So, yeah, puts coming in 394, 393, 394 today. All right. Well, let me see. Trading water, man. 
don't like don't like what I see guys let me show you something okay you got to be very very careful all tesla bulls keep this thing in mind okay let me show you one video we all know planes are good for flattening Man. your belly but it's tough to stay in plane for more one than a second, minute okay. but there are okay here we go china citizen they are right now getting this thread trying to get into the bank A video showing tanks lined up on a road in China has shocked the internet. They're trying. This is a bank. They are not allowing people to go inside the bank. Look, Chinese Communist Party tanks rolled out on the street to scare Hen Henan Bank protester. Henan. They are trying to protest bank. I don't know the name of the Henan, but the, the bank name is Henan. This is real, guys. Okay. And I'm gonna show you something just step by step you watch something this is just happened look Henan and another bank were denied access to the bank accounts that's scary guys very very scary where you cannot cash your check issued by the bank and then you go to another headquarter bank and headquarter bank call police on you and that that's what i said about two months ago that's very very scary and few months last quarter i said about there's a financial crack the biggest financial crack china has it then europe has it remember i said this nobody will believe because china GDP constantly going down, down, down last six quarter and then seventh quarter also went down negative. Now, not the negative, but it went down. You follow? And that's what I announced. Now, what does it mean, guys? Okay, so let me show you something because nobody talks and that's, this is what I talk here. So, for example, USD, um, J Japan Yen, right? Look at that. USD in Japan Yen, what happened? Look at so. Japan yen was here uh, versus US and now look at this so almost 30 percent Japan when you want to convert your currency from yen to dollar you will be paying 30 percent more value than uh, previously what you were paying like a years ago right here in March 2022 maybe it's three months ago just look at that 30 percent you paying more when so any company who makes money and who does business in China or Japan or Europe look at the inflation look at the currency devaluation right so what happens is if tesla makes one 100 yen over there to bring that money back to us they have to convert into dollar so if they have a profitability what is the uh, um, profitability of the uh, tesla has it right here right here i'll show you guys so my analysis what i do is a different ways and i always look at what they are doing so if you look at tesla right here so statistic you go back there i'm gonna go and look into show you how much they are making money 
right here. So let's take a look at previous year, how much they made money. 62 billion revenue when they had the good, market was good, right? Everything was great time. Now the time is coming worst. That time they were making 62 billion dollar revenue. EBITDA is 12.7 billion. What does this mean? They are making almost 20% net profit. 20%, right? Okay, 20%. Google is making 40, 50%, 40%, uh, 45%. Mm, the Microsoft is making also 45%. Apple is making 35% net profit. This company makes 20% profit. This is the history, okay? I'm not looking at the future. I'm looking at the history, okay? Now, when it comes to Tesla, that's the Tesla, right? Now, let's go back here and Tesla. So, what happened is Tesla makes, Tesla Tesla is making, um, let's take a look at USD, yen, Chinese yen, what's the symbol, man? China. I don't see the symbol. I was looking up Chinese. Oh, boy, 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 boy. I don't see here, but we are USD, China, and okay. So they are basically the um, Chinese and is guys um, down um, seven percent. They are showing six six per six point eight percent. They are showing right now Chinese and I don't know, I don't know the symbol yet, but I'll look for it. But I just to let you know six seven percent down. So what what does it mean if China Tesla making twenty percent profit on their selling the cars over there and how much value Th 55 percent income coming from international selling cars whatever tesla sells the car worldwide 55 percent the volume is out of country they are selling not in dollars they are selling into different foreign currency so they need to convert that so for example if you have a uh, sell going on in Chinese currency and you want to convert into the dollar, you also get a, get a hit by 6-7% if it's Chinese yen. If it's a euro, you get 30% hit. You follow? So that's what the scenario which is being getting played. So if, say for example, you invest money into another country and you think you're making 20-30% profit because that's where it is normally your profit is. And then guess what? When you convert into dollar, you're also getting hit by the, uh, by the devaluation, right? That's what is getting hit. So, 20% profit is 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 not a good profit for for Tesla, and on on top, they are also getting devaluation. The currency devaluation, and right now China is in trouble. Uh, I'm telling you, China is in a big time trouble when it comes to financial side, guys. Very very big time trouble. The gold is going down and all. So that's the area. That's why. That's why I said EBITDA because your balance it never lies and i said not five billion dollar ebitda now is 3.7 guys that's that's not good that's that's very scary what would happen to the next next quarter you can imagine right now at this we are end of july now august starts and they they you know imagine if any lockdown happens over there it will be in a big trouble and cpi print and all you see inflation is high i'm just telling you net income that net income went down 3.2 billion this year compared to so this quarter sorry this quarter was 3.2 billion so la last quarter was 3.2 this quarter 2.2 income net income okay i'm talking about income so they lost 1 billion dollar right there and that i mean you know that so anyway the so the more the business you do internationally at this point the dollar is uh, is the fair trade goes up the dollar goes up other currency goes down that's why ecb came out today ecb came out and what ecb said that uh, european bank they said hey we're gonna raise the interest rate now 50 handles since 20, 20, 2011 they never raised the interest rate now they're gonna raise the interest rate just because america is saying hey guys you need to do this but they say oh no our economy is already collapsing so, but they have no choice but to do it to control the inflation so they just raised that's why now the bond value goes up a up little bit european bond but i'm just telling telling you that it's happening over there and that's what's going to happen but china they they're just going to do whatever they think and that's why they have a bigger problem there the bank is now getting collapsed 
financial system is collapsing real estate is collapsing mortgage mortgage market is collapsing people don't want to pay their mortgages that's called social unrest you can't control like that you can control the people you got to control your 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 trade uh, trade treaty what you do with other country that's how you run your country not controlling the people people are poor man they just try to work for you so that's why you got to be careful any country who makes does business internationally with this particular t time is not a good time guys that's what i can say because of when i watch um, currency a lot and i analyze that that's why it list looks to me a little scary Microsoft looking good. Broke the trend line upwards resistance. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Ankit? Hey, Josh, I have a question. Um, so. I understand your te Tesla thesis over there. I agree with you. So, uh, do you think uh, TSLQ is a good buy right now because it's a it's a short of the Tesla because it went down six dollar in two days. And uh, in in that questions, what is the next support for Tesla since it already broke seven seven eighty? You think it will? Uh, what is the next level up, in your opinion? I think we hit the resistance right here, uh, but you know, uh, if we look at it, I uh, three eight hundred dollar right here. Eight hundred dollar is the resistance, which is right there, and then the next is eight hundred and thirteen dollar, and then if the market wants to go eight eight twenty five, so I don't think the Apple is Tesla is going above eight twenty five. I do not think so. It's all. Uh, I mean, you know, <laughs> I was listening yesterday a couple of spaces, guys. Okay, I spent some time listening and. A mm, lot of analysts were speaking, and they all were bullish, um, the, celebrating on uh, on earnings. And when I listened, when I understood, and I found what I whatever I said, I know I did not find one or two, three, four. I found like a lot of things, and I I put, made, made a little quick video, guys, because Twitter doesn't allow me three time, three minute, two and a half minute video I made, and I try to be super fast so I can cover up my all the points. Still, I lost a couple of points to put it in, but um, based on that, you know. Nobody can fool me, man. When it comes to, you know, stock market, when it comes to an analyzing, because you know, the way stock is going, people think, oh wow, 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 look at that, stock is going because earning is good. That's not how earning EPS works. But anyway, uh, that's the support area, area right now, the resistance area, and that's what is going. Uh, this, so Tesla has uh, eight hundred and thirteen. I would let it go. I would not short anything right now. Let let it go, wherever it goes. Let's wait for the rejection. Right now, the okay. cycle we had to look at the not Tesla. We need to look at the spy also. Remember spy. So if you take a look at the spy, right now spy is in a bull territory, trying to be bullish, right? Then I I feel like market gonna pull back. Some point of time because right now their goal is to c cover all the shorts. All the short this AMD and um, Carvana, all these garbage stocks, they are the one who is flying right now. So that's what their goal is. PayPal, everything they, you know, whatever they shorted last few this quarter, that's what they are right now buying. Same thing, Tesla also heavily, heavily shorted Tesla too. So they are trying to, you know, people think oh Tesla going up because of Tesla earning. No, they heavily shorted. Right now, maybe setting up the trap. So, 
you, you, do, do you think the profit taking will happen tomorrow? In your opinion? Friday, yeah, people do that. The people could do that too. Tomorrow, tomorrow is a Friday option. So all the bull will be trapped on the top, and they then take it down. That can happen. It can happen, but I do not like to trade based on that. And just because it can happen in a, in a day or two, is dangerous to play like game like that. So <laughs> I care about if I can make 25% profit in 10 minutes. Why would I go and chase for a holding overnight and you know take a risk? That's how I think because the market condition is different. And that's how I see. So. My thesis of trading, I, I'm, I'm also every day improving, learning, and uh, implementing my discipline. Because the it, stock market, you have to have a discipline. If you cannot have a discipline, guys, you can blow up millions of dollars. Whatever money you put it in, it will be gone, gone, gone. I'm here because of that reason, guys. I'm telling you, people lose a lot of money, and I'm, that's why I'm here. I am not a speaker. I never used to speak, never used mic to talk. That's why you can see my, my tone is rough, but uh, I speak from my heart and mind, whatever I think. Uh, yesterday I made a Tesla video, guys. Imagine why would I make a YouTube video and Twitter video where everybody loves Tesla? Why would I make the, whatever my, you know, why would I make bearish video? I would, I, ca I could make a nice and beautiful video where bull will like and bear will like. Both would like, I can do that. But that's not who I am like it my my goal is not that what you like my goal is what i see and that's what i would present to the people and i hope uh, people one day they will un understand that because most of the people they 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 target the audience bulls and bears so that way they can fetch the maximum audience in into their followers you know what i mean that's not who i am i could do that i'm just trying to tell you that hey i could do that and i did not do that People hate me when I do that, right? When I make a Tesla video like this, they would hate me. Why would I make a video like that where people would hate me? But I'm trying to open an eyes. Maybe today hate me. Tomorrow they will hate me. Some point of time, they when they when they realize it, then they will come back. Oh, no, there was only one guy on a space where he was talking the truth, speaking from his heart and mind. Thank you. No problem, thanks. That's very nice, John. You're a good person. Thank you, thank you, man. Probably. I'm trying my best to be a good. Uh, you are. Don't worry about it. You're a champ. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, Las Vegas Sands kicking ass now. <laughs> Absolutely. My car are working so far. Good, good, man. It bounced now. Look at that. It bounced. On the support and now it's going. So let's see Las Vegas LVS. Yeah, it's going back right there. Yep, once we break this line, train line, that's it. It's going. Now it's gonna go. That's your price. Next resistance then at about top of day or I see thirty nine forty four. Thirty nine eighty five. 39.85 yeah but if you want to take money here it's up to you right here 39.44 is on one step here my market might play a game here and then pull back or maybe may break either one of them so that's why you got to watch i think i'm going to take profit soon <laughs> you smart because one red candle wash out our all the premium right Nice and beautiful. He's moving upwards. Mm -hmm. Already, market is trying the resistance right now and maybe he's gonna break the resistance guys maybe he wants to break the power looks like wants to go and break people thinking gonna short but 
I think market wants to break guys looks to me let's see whatever it does Apple look at Apple I think it's yeah that's the that's the move Apple everything so we are Apple's the, the largest weighted stock in S&P yes and P as well as on the QQQ Probably trying HOD right there. Right there. Market wants to go. Eleven thirty five time is eleven thirty five. Zambia was starts in one in thirty minutes. Twenty five minutes. <laughs> yeah so let's see LVS hitting the resistance right there soon. EMD HOD. AMD HOD Meta HOD high of the day Microsoft HOD high of the day be careful guys now the time to take the profit on coin and all coin is HOD PayPal HOD no no PayPal is not HOD PayPal is just grinding slowly slowly Last week I sent looking good, trying your resistance right there. Yep, it breaks that resistance. If not, I'm out. Mm -hmm. So look at the market first. So what market doing? Market is still has a room to go. So that's why your your will also go with it. But that's yeah. that's we don't want to wait for the wall to hit. We want to wait <laughs> before we hit. We gotta take the money and run. Yeah, we right there. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Spy is about to hit the resistance. QQQ just trying. Still has a room to go. One more green candle. Probably. Yeah. So same thing here too. We are touched down right there. 39.42 now. 40, 43.44. Right there. People are going to take the profit here some people right there hit the man look at that one red candle so that's the market is right now testing the resistance same thing here too spy is testing the resistance area nobody knows i will take the money and run that's it you touch down right there trying to break but josh i'm out of my calls man i'm out good you made some profit right good <laughs> yeah it doesn't matter money 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 counts
getting rejected at the top let's see if it's a real rejection or not it's just the market let me grab a fruit I'll be right back Hey Josh, I have a quick question. Josh will be back in a couple minutes. Thank you. What does everyone think about IBM? It's taken a beating since it reported its earnings. I'm not in it, buddy, so I have no thoughts on it. For a tech company giving out 5.25% dividend yield, I think it looks pretty decent right now. Okay, I'm back. Josh, are you able to analyze I IBM? IBM, yes, I did yesterday, but I can go ahead and do that IBM. I'm looking at taking a position with 5.3% yield. It looks pretty decent. Sorry. Um, so yesterday I look at it when my, we broke the 200 and moving average, which is right there. And I said, looks like bearish to me. And then I draw the trend line, which is right here. And I think we broke the trend line. So whenever we break the trend line is dangerous. You gotta be careful why. And look, we already broke the trend line t today. And now we are going down. So it's gonna go to 123. That's the next target. Once, once, consolidate and bounce then i would be and you know to be a bullish but at this point i'm not bullish because um, the market is pointing down so we, we i would wait there's another there's a no support here i need to wait for the support 123 support area which is all the way to support right here all the way coming from here here it's 
quite a bit of support here all the way these are the major major touching everywhere it touch so this is a good support 123 is a good support and to watch then this is how to entry zone exit zone right so there is always we, we broke the entry zone you see this every time enter and bounce enter and bounce but this time we entry broke so it breaking and then we're gonna test the linear line which is 123 all right got it thank you mm -hmm. market is bullish still right there this is look like just a little Sell now for a little bit, but probably is as long as the trend line is intact, is bullish. If the trend line break down, then it's gonna be bearish. Until then, is bullish. So there may be triangle setting up to be bullish. That's what it looks like. It's gonna break. It's gonna go fly later. Right here. Right. Maybe Zambia will start at 12 o'clock in 15 minutes, so we don't know. Guys, sorry, I'm chewing my orange. So those who you know, doesn't like the sound, please, you can lower the little volume. Are you chewing or eating? What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to eat the orange, guys, with my breakfast. Somebody said IBM is a good claim, good stock, right? Yeah. It's a classical stock, he said. <laughs> Matt says it's a classical stock, not as flashy. You are right. IBM is a classical stock. I used to work in <coughs> IBM mainframe in 1997. 1997 yep on an IBM mainframe at that time they had a big big like a freezer size hard drives like big big freeze look like big big machine then they got AS 400s and mainframes from mainframe to AS 400 machines those are little smaller I remember all these my days it's funny you say that I used to work for them back then <laughs> oh really <laughs> Right. EMD looking good. Meta looking good. If you look at the Apple, I 
Amazon input. Okay. Somebody is asking about Amazon. Amazon. If the Amazon market bounces and goes higher, Amazon can go to 128. Right there, we can test that. If, if market goes down, then Amazon can go down. But um, at this point, Amazon looking bullish, but not super duper, guys. Okay. Remember, Amazon is heavily shorted stock. So eventually, gonna go down. But not today. Market is right now is bullish. Overall market cycle for for the week or two is looking bullish. Support and resistance for intraday. Support and resistance for intraday. Um, so this is what I would see. Worst come to worst. There are two resistance right here. You need to keep it in mind and then if that support breaks we can go and test the market pre-market pre probably is that's what looks like market wants to do right here right here these are the resistance to keep in mind and these are the support so the support is right here this area right here but the buyers and sellers are sitting here at the bottom <laughs> you follow you look at the profile here you see these buyers and sellers are right here nobody is here to buy so they got rejection in the top but market maker has all the power to take it up if you remember that so the trend has been broken and that's why it got sold off right there broke down so the major support is your right here this is the support area quite a bit and if that support breaks we can go and test the floor right here on amazon so this is the daily intraday story of the amazon to play right here 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 these are the things you can click the pictures and post it <laughs> right roger i want to pull tesla and go in some puts for 800 i would not short tesla right now tesla looking bullish to me so setting up the trap whenever it does i would not highest liquidity this market finds in tesla bulls those who are bullish on tesla they have the highest liquidity why guess what let me show you <laughs> you will be laughing right pre-pandemic right here in the pandemic tax somebody bought the tesla 69 dollar with the split price okay i'm kind 69 dollar so how much profit he has if he if he's still holding at that price right here he has till date at this price he has 994 percent profit he has how much he still has 994 percent profit so that's 900 percent profit if they're holding if he has it so they have the power to buy the tesla because they believe in right so that's what they're gonna put back that money into again tesla and tesla go up and they hold it and then tesla goes down they lose you know that's how they pull the liquidity slowly slowly doesn't happen this that's why a lot of money tesla bull has it because they bought it at bottom right anyway market look at remember what i teach i understand a lot of profit taking at 800 dollars and all you know but you know why not to wait for the market maker to decide and let them go first and then you go behind because i think they want to fill it up they want to they want to pull more liquidity from the market so they're gonna fill it up fill it up fill it up and then they're gonna pull when they pull we don't know we let them pull when they pull that time we go
they are not interested they are not interested into few bucks what we are trading they are interested to bring big institution who is holding lot of dollar and they see the eps is positive right here they see the earning just like this earning looks to me just like a bank earning you know how bank do the earning similar type of this earning this outer it looks like positive but inside it if you read the balance sheet it looks like a horrible negative alarming hmm? that's why they're gonna do because i know that many people don't know how to read many institution who invest in billions they still do not know how to analyze the earnings how to analyze the balance sheet and they just believe whatever elon musk speaks or whatever the earnings speaks or whatever their analyst on anywhere in social media speaking and that's what they believe most of the 80 percent believe in whatever uh, social media speaks and that's how they trade and that's dangerous they don't put their own uh, analysis in deep dive in analysis that's why many people lose including kathy would she doesn't have a people strong people who are who can analyze Once again, sorry guys, I'm chewing something. Okay, QQQ triangle setup, <coughs> trying to break out. Let's see, there's a breakout or fake out, but right here is another lay. Resistance to watch. That's what market wants to do. Same thing here too. Five beautiful breakout setup in the lunch time. Let's see how many believe that it's gonna break and it's gonna fly in the lunch time. <laughs> hey Josh, welcome back. How was your vacation? Oh, great day. What's up, man? How are you? I'm here, I'm there. How is everything? You said the spy and the KQQ about to break out? Uh, no, no. I, I look like a, it's setting up, but it could be fake out. It could be anything. So I'm not trading right now anything, but just market is heading in that direction. It could be fake. It could be break. could be anything. I doubt. I have a highly doubt the spy going to break and go crazy, but you never know, right? I do not trade based on the doubt. Uh, how was your vacation? I went to Caribbean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How was it? Hot over there? That's fine, man. I like hot. I'm a, I, I love tropical, so I I enjoy. It. That's that's nature. I like beauty. Hey, John, uh, you went to the Caribbean? Yeah. Where? Where boats? I love the Caribbean. Caribbean nine days cruise. Um, uh, Royal Caribbean went to Bahama. I uh, sorry, not Bahama. Went to Bermuda. Went to um, Puerto Rico. Went to uh, Lambari. Then went to San Martin. Nice. Yeah. Nice. You hit all the islands, huh? Nice. Yeah, it's cruise, so it's it's it's, it's cheaper. Okay. If I fly, you're gonna cost a lot of money. Is that your first time on a cruise, or you? Yeah, first time. Cruise? First time on cruise. I've never been on a cruise. I'm scared, so that's why I want to ask what you think. Oh man, no way, Jose! You don't have to be scared at all. That my my wife is more scared scared uh, than anybody else on earth. That's why she's afraid of ocean. But no man, she took all medications and all what not. She did not eat a single medication. I tell you that. She was so much afraid, but nothing. You can't even feel. You are in the mall. You look like you are walking in the mall. No, no, nothing. No feeling. Nothing. Well, it's, I'm not scared of the ocean. I'm just scared of all the horror stories with the, over the last couple of years with cruise lines, man. Oh, no, no, man. I'll tell you, man. I, same thing, my wife. She, she man, uh, she believes, she thinks about this COVID that can happen, this happened, she was. But 
man the the cleanliness they have they have cleanliness than better than our houses around people i you go around people houses you, you they don't even wash their hands over there they have a 1500 people you know 1500 people cleaning cleaning ship just imagine every floor they're cleaning every day and night day and night cleaning that's how cleaning they are super duper clean man man they people clean like like spiking brand new every minute they have so many employees maybe you convince me to go, go on a cruise one day you you check it out and you will come to know well, i've been to many islands i've been to a lot of the islands it's just uh, i've i've just flown there and stayed there i've never done a cruise oh wow market time to break guys look at that wow look at that okay right there that's the fake or real let's see Wow. Yeah, power, power. The look at the spy. Spy has a room. So QQQ Q, Q can go. It has a, a room, but the but 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 the spy, spy is the game. Okay. Yeah, we look like we're about to run again. There's a gap here. Remember, spy. Let's take a look at the spy. Spy has a gap. That's the gap we need to watch right here. This is the gap. So, yep, spy has a gap to fill. Market wants to go. Let's see. If that breaks, yep, wants to go and fill the gap probably. Now market wants to go. Look like I'm setting up the screen for calls or puts, either one of them. Let's see whatever happens, happens. I'm watching very closely. Market wants to go. So 305 call is what? 340. I'm not buying anything, guys, just to let you know because it's a dangerous position right here. It's a very, very dangerous okay i care about is only 20 percent i don't want to be a first i want market maker to be first and then i will be third or fourth <laughs> so let's see calls and puts i'm both watching 305 call goes for two dollar forty cents and puts goes for two dollar ten cents okay QQQ already broke, but SPY is the main part we need to watch. <laughs> SPY. Yep. Okay. Hmm, rejection coming in. Let's see if this is a true rejection or not. Okay, I'm into 305 put just to just to try two dollar ten cents and then I will see because I saw the red candle. So let me so I thought let me en enter and see what happened. I could be wrong, it just the uh, market is just it might fly. I'm playing opposite. Okay, I'm playing the opposite, just the temporary, okay? And I think market wants to break. Small quantity I'm playing. If it breaks, then I will become buyer calls. Follow? Looks like wants to break. Then I'll buy, yep, right there. Right there. okay let's see over here what exactly happened here apple is looking good everything looking good amd looking good wow look at that amd flying high yep lvs lvs rejected at that price market wants to go 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 and Bang. Yep, I'm out. I'm out. Took a 10 cent, but it's only small quantity, guys. Okay, it's nothing. Okay. So I feel like he's uh, trying to go, but I don't want to buy a call until candle confirms and process continue. 
Okay, QQQ wants to go. Everything is flying high right there guys. Okay, spy broke through. Everything is going good right here. A spy broke through and yep, time to fill the gap. Market is going to fill the gap. So I'm into QQQ call guys. 275, 305. QQ calls. I love it. Market time to break now. Fill the gap on spy. So what, what does it mean? If you take a look at it, that's the gap. It's filling trying to fill up the gap right here you see this gap slowly slowly gonna try let's see it's looking beautiful now <laughs> right let's see man look at that it's pulling back let's see Well, looking good so far. So far, so good. It's gonna fill fill up the gap. Looks like wants to do, wants to go, guys. Yep, baby wants to roll. I don't know, man. It's not like. Yep, moving, moving, moving. Yep, he's moving. It's gonna go. Oh, by getting rejected, let's see. Josh, uh, I'll be back around 2.33 o'clock. Okay, man, see you, man. You have a good one. I hope you make a mm -hmm. Apple hit the resistance. Okay, man, something is fishy happening, guys. Okay. How come they can f try to finish in a lunch time? I have a doubt. Mm hmm. Could hit the resistance guys I'm out I took a seven cent loss I don't want to I don't want to be bullish I feel like it's a trap maybe you're gonna bounce I don't know Yeah, look 
after that apple getting rejected from the resistance a eh, same thing on um, google getting the resist resistance rejection amd got rejection so microsoft is still holding amazon is still holding so amazon is getting rejection kind of little these all the tops getting rejected that's the reason i am out okay look at that trap right <laughs> see that's the game guys that's what they go and they play set up everything okay to you no it's scary it's a very scary right now but still bull is intact okay trend line is still intact now wants to go that could be the case too but i see all the resistance are up there look at microsoft man bullish everything look bullish to me and this people yep looks like wants to go north wants to go north Vix is twenty-three dollar. Can you believe it? So let's see how far Vix go. Today Vix broke the two hundred day moving average, guys. Okay. So Vix has to try this. I think twenty-one dollar seventy-five cents, twenty-two dollar. Then the Vix get Vix get exhausted, oversold. Until then, market gonna go up. Okay, ah, let me sit down. Tesla HOD. How far Tesla? Tesla five minutes. Target is eight hundred and thirteen dollar right there. First target. Lucid got rejected. <laughs> Let's look at the market. market trying to fill the gap
Okay. Net Netflix broke the top registers looking strong. Netflix. Yeah, Netflix looking good. Look at that. Netflix beautiful broke out right there. Heavily shorted stock. Netflix so they are taking up they are buying back Netflix so I don't expect market to go down guys okay I do not they have a lot more to buy yeah Jeremy Tesla intraday right there. Levels. Uh, 30 minutes right there. So heading to 130, 100, uh, 813.60 intraday. As long as Tesla in trend is intact, you're good. So where is Tesla? Right there. Look at that. It looks beautiful. Price target is right there. Ex Coinbase manager arrested in US crypto insider trading case. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Man, coins in <laughs> market makers are taking coin up, up, up. News coming bad, bad, bad about the coin, but they have to buy back. They have to buy. That's what. That's why the coin is going up. <laughs> the news, horrible news coming out. Ex Coinbase manager was arrested because he, he was trading. Insider was trading. He was arrested. Thank you, Candy. Man, appreciate of your uh, alerts. Mm -hmm. Okay, Zambia words, guys. Let's click on the like button. It doesn't cost any penny. Please, let's do that. 
please. Let's do that. Microsoft HOD. Apple is also HOD right there. So what happened in NUE today, remember? NUE earning came out super strong. Okay, bounce. Mm. Tesla is going right there, where it's supposed to belong. Eight hundred and Thirteen dollar Tesla, right there. ABB, ABB. What is ABB India? Thanks, Dave. <laughs> okay. Same thing, guys, on Discord also. Uh, those who have, people need to donate, guys. There's a, there's a boost. We, need, we are short of four boost. So if anybody has a boost or anything, they can donate. That's for you guys. If you, anybody can help who are using don. If anybody's using discord and they want to donate please click on booster boost on the top where boost and you can donate there what is what the boost does it then you can have the better quality audio video and i'm getting alerts on uh, discord saying that you are losing your levels Yep, market wants to go right now. Spy wants to go and break the things. Microsoft HOD. They're gonna show that they wanna break and then they're gonna pull back in zombie hours <laughs> right that's the game that's why i'm not trading i don't trust what they are showing the market wants to break the resistance Guys, these are all cyclical stocks, and I, I don't, I don't trade those guys. Okay, these are all cyclical. People lose a lot of bios 
uh, stocks they sometimes ten dollar one one another day one dollar five dollar three dollars so be careful this is how we lose money it's dangerous here okay. somebody was asking me that okay another bad news guys italian prime minister handed his resignation so something is cooking in italy okay qqq yeah qqq just busted through that 306 yep i'm into qqq call guys 306 is 240 i love it now i like that it's been now it's been trying look like qqq call Okay. Look like look at the spy three ninety seven now. Man, these people picking out or what? Let's see. You gotta watch these. It look like going. Look like wants to go, but let's see. These people don't give any room to anything. <laughs> Tesla right there, let's see right there how far we reach Tesla so far. Yep, Tesla touching down guys. 81348 so let's take a look at it 30 minute charts we hit the resistance area <coughs> hold on let me see where we exactly pinpoint this line is right here right there how far is that That is 800 and 820 is the resistance, 820 Tesla. Look at that, baby wants to go right there. It's going. There we go, 15 cents. <laughs> Look at the mom, I don't like the teeny mini candles here. Beautiful, look at that coin. Las Vegas trying a chori and lucid just pop. Lucid, lucid all of a sudden pop. Crazy lucid popping right there.
KKK looking good right now. But it's getting detected. Shelling off this. There we go. These people they set up a different thing. Tesla. Okay, ADXN. Forget about the car. Uh, what else? NRGU. There's oil. CMAX. CarMax. CarMax popped today because of. Lately popping. Sorry, I did not see the message. I'm gonna add it up. Car makes it slowly, 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 slowly grinding. And that could be a heavily shorted stock, probably. Yeah. Bounce from three dollar. Now we hit the major, major resistance six seventy one guys on Carmex. Getting rejected. Hey Josh. What's up? Would you please would you please check uh, Disney for long? Yeah, Disney looking good. Disney has a resistance around $112.
so it has a room to go heavily shorted stocks so yeah definitely the market goes north Disney go north but slowly slowly going taking time today intraday is Intraday is holding good so far is HOD but we broke we already broke through the 50 day moving average so this is what it looks to me right now nah. W pattern you see W right here Disney thank you mm -hmm. Here we go. QQQ wants to go. Hey Josh, how's it going? <laughs> Sorry. Going good, man. How are you? I'm good, good. I just got back from uh, San Diego on a week vacation. Uh, oh. Just, uh, yeah, no, I haven't been really keeping up with the stock market. You know, needs needed a little break. Absolutely, man. Good, good. But I see spice uh, close to hitting 400 now. Yep, right now spice is hitting the 400. Is a gap? There's a gap to be filled. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. Man, I'm kind of. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's alright. The gap is filling up right now. That's what he's doing right now. Gap. That's what he's doing, trying to fill the gap. You think we hit 400 by today? No, 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 I don't know about that, man. I wish I would have that crystal ball, but market wants to go slowly, slowly. It wants to go north, but you never know. As long as the trend line is intact, I'm bullish. All right. Mm -hmm. You know what, what uh, gave the catalyst for the uptrend? It was, I remember last time it was... Uh, Around like three, uh, What's the 380. The catalyst right now is just because heavily shorted stock, all the garbage uh, stocks they've been shorting um, whole quarter. Now they are buying back. And that's what I can see. Everything is, mm. yeah, Coinbase and Meta, uh, Amazon, uh, Netflix, Carvana, Unity. All the Cathy Wood stocks right now is hot, super hot. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Of um, the the stock will be heavily, heavily, heavily shorted, and who has a, have a horrible balance sheet, they are the one who's flying. So I guess the CPI report didn't really do much. CPI is a byproduct right now, man. It's not that market is uh, overall market condition is not good, but temporary is. They have to they have to do the quarterly cover up. That's what they are doing. You can see all these car one and look at the negative EPS stock. They've been going crazy up and up and up. That's what they do. Hopefully there's a dip so I can grab, grab some calls. <laughs> calls on what? Uh, some spy calls, but I, I, oh, I see what you mean, dips. <laughs> Yeah, I know, man. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, now is, um, yeah. I mean, um, just give give yourself a time and see what market is doing right now. But we are about to hit the resistance around 401. 401 is the make. Oh. 401, 402 is the resistance area. Oh wow! Okay. And then yeah, I'm just gonna try to see if I can adapt to to the price action. <laughs> yeah, give yourself a time. Yeah. Lisa, you were saying something? No, I just I didn't say anything right now. I'm just kind of watching and see what happens. Well, I appreciate your job, uh, your 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 time, Josh. Thanks for answering uh, my question. Anytime, man. Thank you.
Well, the cruise line is today is in a top decliner, RCL. Okay. Royal Caribbean Cruise is decliner. Man, these people are like minting money right now. They have a huge debt. But man, the cruise is full pack jam. Mm -hmm. What was the uh, was the cost better than previous? You know, prior to twenty twenty, or was it much more expensive though? Because that could make a difference in how much money they're making, right? Uh, I mean, if you look at the balance sheet, uh, the cruise line they have a huge debt, right? And uh, if you if you uh, Norway cruise, they are the best cruise right here. If you take a look at in the negative EPS, so negative EPS, they have a huge debt. So the only thing is, you know, summer this summer the earning might come out good because they've been minting money right now. But they have a huge expenditure also, but because they have a lot of employees over there inside, and then the maintenance and the the cost, good. Uh, co food and everything man there's a lot of waste there you know people so food waste uh, oil price is super duper high diesel they use millions of dollar diesel on each cruise a lot of diesel goes into it so that is another thing um, <laughs> so I don't know I never did I did not focus until I did a cruise and now I realize that it's is they're going good but somehow some something i feel like some why their earnings are like always negatives <laughs> look at that every time negative but then before they used to be positive before pandemic but after pandemic is all negative huge debt so they might they might come back they might come back Okay, RCL, sorry, RCL. Okay, let me see. If I take a look at their balance sheet. Already negative EBITDA look at that they're losing tons of them but this is the history last one year so we can't compare last one year because of the COVID but now here uh, is total case pandemic wow look at the debt <laughs> 23 billion dollar debt versus cash in hand is 1.9 billion and they are burning cash every year more than 2 billion dollars so that's the reason that they have a huge debt so probably another year or two they, they had to pay off so most of the company like these they don't care about like you know they don't care about the profitability you know what they care about is they care about the the more they remain broken the better them for it's better for them to borrow the money from government because that industry they always say hey look we are already broke guys i need your help and that's what government gives them the money <laughs> so I don't know, somehow I don't trust that industry. Man, look at that. QQQQ is selling off now. looking good guys okay I took a loss and I'm out on my call 15 cent loss oh look at that you broke the trend line that's why I'm out and now look must to go down okay so let's see what market is doing Market is getting exhausted.
I doubt in Zambia where is market gonna go and break the resistance and fly high. Probably they're gonna do it in some point of later time. Maybe they're gonna pull back and gonna break the test the floor and then they're gonna fly high. Trying to bounce market. the teeny mini candles Look at their lucid, nice and running higher. I think market has a little slight weakness temporarily. Look like time to take a lunch. Okay, <coughs> I'll be right back.
look at it see heavily shorted stuff I'm gonna keep eyes on it and see Look at SE heavily shorted stock, SE C limited Kathy Wood stock. It's trying to get off the deck. $400 stock went down to $50. It's trying to bounce that. Genomic TXG Genomic. It was $200 stock, now it's $36. Excuse me, the LVS is still holding. DWAC. Look at that. Mr. Trump stock. $170 stock was $25 now is bouncing Shopify Shopify looking good too EYX snap beyond meat heavily shorted stock look at that Okay. Projections are not favorable. Google is heading north. Apple already broke the resistance one fifty five. Makers up to sixty four. Okay, market trying to bounce slowly, slowly. Here we go, now trying. Okay, guys, I'll take a lunch, I'll be right back.
Now he's heading to break the resistance, look like. I'll take a lunch.
looks like <coughs> looks like market wants to try right now. <laughs> Where to go? I don't know. I'll be back. Look at that. Apple HOD, Microsoft HOD, Netflix HOD, 
Amazon HOD high of the day. Enter into QQQ puts. <coughs> so three hundred and sixty dollar was uh, two dollar ten cents.
Oh my, look at that inwards. <sighs> okay. CRSP, somebody asking about CRSP right there. That's horrible balance sheet, horrible company, horrible everything, but it's looking good right now because shorts covering. So CRSP. this company earning coming in guys you gotta wait for the earnings see what happens look at that horrible earning that's the one I think CRFP just broke through today so what it look like today today looking weak today looking weak if you look at last two days it's been resistance sloping resistance building up so if the CRSP breaks the support which is right here this area to watch if this support breaks it's gonna go down 78.99 79 dollar support Baba try to get up the deck. Baba is trying to get up the deck now. It been holding since morning. The channel breaks up, but it's gonna go up. Builder, what builder doing? Okay. Wow, ah, builder hit the resistance and getting dejected right there. 66. That's the resistance guy. 66 dollar. Strong resistance. This, is, this could be a good shot. BLDR. Market is holding up there on the top. So 
So market gonna wait for some point of time. It's gonna break the resistance. Tesla. 814 touchdown There we go, put is printing, <laughs> but it had a small quantity, small. the trend line this is the support area Maybe go twenty seven cents, give me thirty cents, and I'll be out. Probably thirty cents is good enough. Yep, right there. Twenty five cents I took out. It's crazy. That's the support it's gonna bounce. Can you minute? No man, the problem is market I don't think so is is market is gonna go down. We just um, they have too much to cover guys so there's so many garbage they have shorted out so now they're buying look at the EC, EC also look at the EC no from Coinbase Apple There is no di directional move coming in, you know what I mean? Like, you know, there's a strong directional move goes into like dollar, two dollar moves, then you can gain good. But then thing only moves 10 cents, 15, 10, 20 cents. You know, look at that from here to here, what? 306 to 388. You need a good move. Couple of dollar moves. Then it's good. 
here we go I think that's the support if this support base market gonna go and test the price of control line which is 303 that's what I can see if that happens but need to wait for it maybe it can bounce from here also if that happens coin is selling off apple is getting rejected trend line you see that apple trend line looks like wants to go put it's trying to break the trend line it's taking time but if that happens Microsoft is a ride all the all the way at the top. Look at that, it's trying to bounce from the support. Do you remember that Romeo? There's a one company called Romeo. That that stock was like six thirty five dollar and it went down to two dollar. Heavily shorted stock all the battery stock battery those are heavily shorted Yesterday we mentioned about the, remember um, Procter and Gamble PG short, I said looking, look at that, we broke the floor right there, yesterday it was target price right here, remember, so we broke that yesterday, and now lower, Procter and Gamble, so what exactly happening? Then other day you were playing about what? J and J earning came out, remember? That one also. It's right there. We broke that. Man, that one we... Look at that trend. We draw here and I said we're going to test this probably here. We broke that and we now here 170. <laughs> you remember? This J and J. Look at that. 170 guys. J and J. So we broke the trend line. We're looking, it's more looking. Look at this. It's trying to test the floor. Yep. Look at that, guys. Somebody made a crazy money right there on put on QQQ. Right there, it touched down for almost forty cents, man. I if I would have hold it, but that's fine. That's the game. That's the game you don't want. Everything triggered. Everything triggered. Something is triggered here. Okay. I'm into put. Into put. 306. QQQ. 235. And let's see. Here we go. Wicks popping. I don't know, man. Look at these ticks are going slowly, but the tick is bouncing. The MACD pointing south. 
So somebody controlling, look at the wick below the body, that means he's under control. Somebody try to control. Ticks are still negative. When I do over trading, probably I play small guys. Okay, I, whatever my profit is, I just play with that to you know be more entertainer here. But don't, don't, I do not go crazy. Okay, when particularly intraday time, when I see like you know small so you know momentum happening. Deleted my what did it have? Well, let's focus on this business right now. Man. MACD. Here we go. Here we go. Fifteen cents. Give me twenty cents and I'll Josh, how are you? Just good. What's up, buddy? How are you? I just uh, thought I'd get on Discord to talk to you a little bit if you got a minute. Yep. What do you see in Tesla, man? What do I see Tesla today or <clears throat> a long term? Tell me today's price action. Today, man, we you missed the boat. Today was a great day for Tesla to... Touch down eight hundred and thirteen dollar. These are the price target we had uh, eight hundred and then seven eighty nine, and we touch eight hundred and thirteen, almost. So be careful now going long on uh, on top today. That's the question. Is this the spot to go short now? Yeah, I'm short. Oh, I don't know about that, man. Uh, I'm in the middle of trade right now, but yeah, I mean, yeah, for many people wanted to short. Um, there is another index for the short uh, Tesla index, Tesla short, yeah, yeah, inverse leverage. Somebody has created that. Okay. Mm. I took the. How did you like the earning? How did you like the earning? Twenty guys, I took the twenty cents on on uh, on QQQ put. Because I see a wick below the body. You see, whenever I see the wick below the body, it scares me, man. This is controlled by control everything. So, though the pressure is down, but it's just somehow I feel like they don't want to go immediately down. So, I just want to move on. Now look at that. You see this? That's what I, I, I was scared. Green candle. But anyway. Something Gosh, like, how did you like the Tesla earnings though, overall? Man, I made a video and I, I sub submitted. It's a horrible, horrible earning. The worst earning they could have last three three quarter at least, I would say. And I mentioned everything in the video. Did you see the video? Oh. No, I didn't. I didn't. Is it posted on your Twitter already? Yeah, it's on Twitter. It's on YouTube. I posted that. So. Oh, I'll go watch it right now. Yep has all the details right here i put down right here oh, i'm sorry right, right there these are the details so all the things that are down on chart you see it's touching the 100 day moving average and that's where i see a rejection 
That's a hundred right there, right or what? Yeah, 820, 826 is the resistance right now, but Tesla I would not short right now because tomorrow looks like to be bullish, could be a bullish too, but that happen happens. Right now it's bullish to me, so I'm not going to short because we, we took the previous high. You see this? The previous high, we broke that. And but yes, absolutely, we are hitting the resistance. But it might go five dollar more, ten dollar. I'm um, not five dollar, but twenty five dollar more, twenty dollar more. And let the market maker go and short. When they do it, then we'll do it. Maybe tomorrow would be a day. I don't know. They, tomorrow morning they're gonna they're gonna touch down hundred day moving average, and then they short. So people, all the bo Tesla bulls, they're gonna load it up in the morning. They're gonna take it take it up and they're gonna f fake it down. That can happen too. Whenever market maker do, we're gonna go behind them. That's what I like to do, man. I don't wanna go and short it now. That's what I teach. I don't have power. Because I notice every time I wanna short it and then uh, market goes opposite direction, I feel the pain. So, I don't wanna go, man. You know what I did? Uh, You're breaking so up. Covered calls. Covered call? Yeah, I guess my position for December um, covered call. Oh, okay, you did a covered call on what? On Tesla, I sold cover calls for earnings at $800 for... Uh, Just now or you did it in the morning? I did it at close yesterday. So oh, yesterday, good. man. You did a covered call? You must be losing money right now. Yeah, I sold covered call. Uh, yep. Yeah, man, look at today, Tesla is crazy up. But again, I sold it for December. Oh, okay, 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 okay. You got a plenty of room. But now what I'm thinking is, so my cost basis was at 800. Um, I sold the covered call for $100 for December, which yeah. kind of, even if it gets called away. Mm -hmm. But the question, the golden question is, would you go naked right now? Do you think I can just come in the You can't go stuff. naked on it right now. You can't go. But that's what I said, man. You, uh, there, there's a different, different strategy. Yeah, I would not do covered call before the earning. Let the market, let market play the dirty games, whatever they want to do. I would, um, uh, covered call is not good when the stock is going down or it's going up. Remember, I said down, also not good. <laughs> because if you you know you're losing to gain a two percent you're losing ten percent <laughs> so that's bad covered call is the best when the thing goes sideways slightly diagonally down or sideways you know that's the that's the strategy for covered call you cannot cover call when stock is going down because you're losing money then you lose more you lose more towards the your your holding than just taking few make you know, making some commission on it. Look at that, man. Perfect exit. Do, do, look, guys. Did you see that? I noticed this week below the body, couple of, and I exited. And then look at these three, four green candles. So this is agenda driven. Uh, completely control this one. Did look at that. That's what they do, dirty games. This is just a teeny mini, teeny mini play, but. <laughs> just to, I notice on candles and I take actions. Look at this doji candle. So this market was going down, 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 and then doji candle, and then big engulfing candle. It's up the all last three candles, and then it it inverse, it it inverse, goes upward. Yeah, looking bullish now. Today is not a great, great, great play for people to make anything. It is. It is just, uh, you know, I don't know whom. So whatever they played, if they played Tesla, they can. They could have been made good money. They played long side on the spy would have been good money. 
السلام عليكم Look at the meta man, meta was trying to bounce, beautiful, look at the meta, wants to, f Apple, look at Apple wants to go, they're gonna show like that and they do opposite direction, still is one, is two o'clock, not even at two o'clock. Oh, you are in Apple puts on the top. If market sells up, you will be printing. But Netflix, look at the Netflix man. Since Netflix is selling, is recover. You know, trying to all the shorts they are trying to recover. Look at the Netflix. Heavily shorted Netflix guys. Remember, seven hundred dollars stock is is went down to one fifty, one sixty. One of my friends uh, text me saying that Tesla had a great earning and uh, stock is going high, it's gonna go to thousand dollar, something like that. Could be thousand dollar. So Tesla had a horrible earning according to me because stock price going up doesn't mean the his earning is good, though it looks green, right? So I, I was trying to respond Tesla horrible earning, EBITDA down. Quarter one was five billion. Quarter two was three point seven billion. That means they are losing money. That's how you look. EBITDA is important. Despite selling Bitcoin, remember they sold the Bitcoin. They would have been the so that means Tesla lost almost. Even if you look at the net income, they lost one billion dollar net. One billion dollar billion boy. They lost compared to last quarter to this quarter. And if the Twitter deal go through and they had to lose one billion dollar next some October, then is another <laughs> thing. Another horrible thing.
Okay, so those could be a Market might test these 30364 at some point of time and then it will rebound probably. Jeremy said thank you Joshua. Thank you. I'm done trading for the day. Good. I will continue to listen. See you tomorrow. See you man. Apple, okay, let's take a look at the Apple. What happened, Apple? Sorry, let's take a look at Apple. Okay, Apple broke through the 100 day moving average, so people think it's super bullish. If it is goes, it can go to 158, 158. I think they're gonna. They're gonna hold this price for earning coming in, right? Something they're gonna set up a bull trap and then they're gonna dump. So I think might be Apple, they're gonna take it to 158 and then they'll be dumping.
so I do I would not short Apple anything right now I do not prefer to go first guys remember I do not prefer to go first because always lose money always lose money when we go first unless you you have a long enough time and you have a stomach <coughs> Already well, okay. So, guys, spy is trying to test the floor. If this we break, we're gonna go down. I'm not gonna enter the QQ to put right there. Let's see if this breaks. If this break, then we can go and test. And I think it uh, looks like 305 put watching. I'm not going to go anything short, guys, right now. Just, just watching. When when I trade like these kind of actions, I trade very 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 small. I don't go crazy because it's just it's just <laughs> nowhere in the middle. I want to go like that. Though. So play small. When you have a real good price action like yesterday, and you know something like a really directional moves goes through in one direction, constant uh, all the candles are stacking each other on top that's the great move those kind of moves i would go with the volume but when trade like these go up and down up and down up and down up and down small small cycles you cannot make money you can only make 20 cents sometimes you lose 15 cents 10 cents like that right that's why so you need to understand the cycles you know every cycles what kind of risk to take right Already, let's see now. Let me analyze. So, coin is going down, Apple is holding, Microsoft is going down, Amazon is holding. Yeah, that's the support. We need to break the support to short. Hey, Josh, what did you do to the market? The Qs are selling off. <laughs> are you back? What's up? You selling off. I, I asked about you the other day. They, they said you're going on vacation, so I said, "All right." Yep, yep, yep. All right. Uh, Q is no, he's not selling off. Q is holding good. He's just just playing ping pong because it's only two o'clock. It's only two o'clock. Hmm. -hmm. So you notice Tesla can't hold hold up the Nasdaq. No. Tesla cannot. That's that. Tesla market cap is 800, 800 billion. <laughs> That's nothing. Yeah, but just think about it. You can combine like all of the others after and it's still mm -hmm. <laughs> like the next three don't add up to it. Right, right, right. So uh, when I take a look at the NASDAQ, it's, it's all, if you take a look at all the cyclical stocks, which is, you know, Affirm, Etsy, Coin, uh, Lucy, U Unity, uh, PayPal, all these crap stock, which... So high been, beta. Yep. Basically, you're saying the high beta names. <laughs> You've got it. And those are the one is high short covering going on. That's what they're doing. That's, yep. what, that's what the game Here, is. Let me share something. Um, I'll just send it to you. Mm -hmm. The rally that's been going. You cut off. So the rally that occurred over the past few days, it was all short covering. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I can see everything right, and we all see. I mean, people on social media, they do not know. They think, oh, it's bottom out, and market going to go fly high, and because they don't have the knowledge. Hello. Yeah, what's up? Sir, uh... Can I ask something? Yeah, please go ahead. What's your question? Yeah, basically I'm from India. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm from Punjab region. I'm 21 years old student. 
currently pursuing my bsc agriculture sir uh, actually i'm here to ask for some help like man people jumping in from worldwide now everywhere and they have they are on twitter okay how to identify short covering <laughs> how to identify yeah, short well, there, there there you go no no i just sent you something a message so this is from uh oh. this is i i did confirm the data right on oh. fintel uh -huh. but this person had already charted it uh mm -hmm. yesterday evening so yeah take a look at what i just sent you josh let me look <laughs> We call this magic. You send me DM, right? Yeah, buddy, on uh, on Discord. Oh, Discord. Sorry. I'm sorry, I know you're on multiple. Okay. Okay, it's gonna happen to you. Right? Fifty highest short interest name. Okay. Yeah. Look at that, twenty percent, right? On Wednesday, three percent. Three mm -hmm. percent. They rolled over. Right there. Right, remember, we we had OPEX, right? Yeah. Then we also had VIX expiry yesterday, right? So what did they have to do? Roll over. Mm -hmm. So, total out of the whole rally since the beginning of July, as you've seen, has been all shorts covering. Yep, yep. And that's why they just I, didn't and, tell you that. And <laughs> just to give you an idea, if you take a look at it yesterday, Dow Industrial. If you look at the yesterday Dow industrial was like 0.16% up, whereas NASDAQ was 1.75% up, 1.75 NASDAQ was up because NASDAQ is all cyclical stock, they were heavily shorted. So that's what they are short covering, including coin. Coinbase, the manager was insider trading, he's been arrested today, but still coin is going up <laughs> because they has been heavily shorted. Oh, you're, you're talking about Armstrong? I don't know. Becca? Some. Coinbase, uh, one of uh, there was the one news uh, headline came out, and I said, "Oh, okay." Somebody posted today. On the, on the, on the oh, I, I thought they were trying to advise. You, you know, they were one of the companies that was asked to go in front of the uh, committees for banking and finance. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to ask the administration to come up with uh, rules pertaining to it. Yeah, but Coin, Coinbase is, uh, yeah, wh whatever. Well, Voyager's gone under. You have a whole bunch of them. Right, even Peter Thiel, right, one of his companies that he backed. That's uh, what I said. Fuck the trend. So. And I said, these Coinbase, be careful because you know. Hey, look, look at Boeing, Josh. Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, Have they you? they had the uh, Farnborough Air Show, right, in England. Mm -hmm. so they got a lot of business. But be careful now. We hit the resistance. We hit. The, we have the uh, mouse trap right out right front of of us, which has a gap that gap is look like cheesy you know and people think oh it's gonna fill up the gap and that could be a trap and market can re get rejected and pull back a little bit on a boeing because last uh, few weeks constantly boeing going up and up and up and up so people might get trapped i would take the money right here at the top which is 160 yeah i already announced yesterday 160 150 that's the that's the re resistance that's it and then let the market decide a couple of trap, maybe uh, one or two green red candle, maybe. But right now, be careful. That's the trap. Okay, Josh, we need you to change the sentiment. We need more uh, upside price action, Josh. <laughs> upside price, he's going right now, he's going. He's gonna break the, remember SPY has a, a gap, so they're gonna fill up the gap probably right here. That's the gap. But they don't, they're not gonna ease out, e easily give in out like that. That's the gap. They wanna fill the gap. They've been trying since yesterday. But given- So the chip stocks, right? Take away ADI. Analog devices. ADI. Yeah, keep that one, and I'll give you two more to keep under watch list. We got the hit of resistance, two hundred and moving average, major major resistance. Yep. 
Yeah, but we need it to hold above that, and that thing's off to the races. They have earnings coming up. Mm -hmm. They're big into um, supplying their components, right, mm -hmm. for, for mobile phones as well. So. Got it, got it. But look at that. Every time we hit this 200-day, bang. Look at that. Yep, that's why we got to get over that, right? <laughs> it's a good, good one. Watch. Yeah. Right there, same thing happening here too, probably. And then got rejected. Yeah, but you notice Qualcomm bucked a trend from Micron and TSM gave pretty good number. They were heavily shorted, right? <laughs> Look at the Qualcomm too, is doing excellent right now because uh, they shorted. The numbers are good, right? Yeah, so Qualcomm hit the 200 day resistance today, right there. Boom, same, mm. same setup. Same setup, yeah. Let me get rid of this. And what's making the market rally right now, 10-year treasury is definitely selling off. It's at uh, 2.92 right now. I think uh, I uh, literally, uh, I don't like to, I know most of the market, you know, who follows, they always keep a, you know, a yield in, in a value trading. And I do not like to think in that direction because it's, it's very, very No, I'm just saying, but the dollar down as well, right? So, so yeah, the yeah, 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 treasury, okay. yeah, yeah. it's favorable for, for market not to tank at least, right? So correct, correct. We That's look at it as, hey, are we range bound or so an upward, uh, obviously with the NASDAQ, you saw an upward trend, right? So. Yeah, but a lot of rising wedges to, to summarize everything. Lots of rising wedges. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Market looking bullish right now. It wants to go. Okay, looks like market want to shoot up. Let's see. Josh, you know about the advanced decline line? No, man. What is it? Sure. So just search for it if you're not in a trade right now on your trading view. Just search for S&P. Oh, on trading view? here give me one second okay or you mean you want me to google something no buddy it, it's just I'm, I'm making it simple for you it's called oh. advanced decline line oh right so what it's showing you is we need market breadth like we were talking about the 200 day moving average and the 50 day moving averages you need stocks to hold above those two important i see what you mean <laughs> right so the advancing decline Yep. So how many stocks are advancing and how many are declining? Yeah, that I would, uh, that's the oscillator for the uh, index. Yep, it's very important to take a look at. That's one thing mm -hmm. I'd have if you can and you have multiple screens, which I think you said you did. Mm -hmm. Like just to have that on one of those diagnostic, if you want to call it, or, you know, yeah. you like looking at the VIX you know, on that same screen. We can add up a more here. So it might not be, let's see, advanced, oh yeah, ADX, sorry. there you go. See what I'm saying? Market's not finding direction. Mm -hmm. it needs market breadth, which are those 50 and 200 day moving averages. Then you can even create another one with the amount of stocks above their 50 and 200 day moving average. You can add that indicator as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, thanks. 
Yeah, yeah, no worries, man. Here we go. Market wants to go, guys. Now look like want to go north. Okay, right there. Josh, what did I tell you, man? You got to mm -hmm. stop making the market rally, Josh. <laughs> All right, let's go. Probably, I think this time he wants to break the resistance, guys. Look like wants to go. So let me see. Q Q Q Q. I don't know, man. This they are playing dirty game. This is two o'clock, right? they're gonna set up a trap here probably and then pull back and then go Somebody says how, how to identify short covering. When garbage stocks, for example, Carvana, look at their EPS. Look at the all the stock which has a balance, it's horrible. You know, they have bad, bad EPS and um, P ratio is, is, is crazy, right? Those kind of horrible balance it stocks. So when you do everyday trade, you know which other stocks are bad. So that these are the list of the stock I can tell you right now. Those are my bear list which are right now bullish. So they are today in a today the bullish, right? Other than Tesla, okay. Other than Tesla, they are all horrible, horrible balance sheet, but they are bullish. So what does it mean? It means market is trying to cover it up because they did they short it every quarter. Remember, there's a I went through yesterday also. Look, and I can show you right here. Look, this quarter, first quarter January, short, 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 short short cover in 12 days they covered the short 12 percent they did the short cover 27 percent stock okay so i think i showed you yesterday one more thing one more time i show you right here so from the bottom to the top of january it was market was up 16 percent and then so they shorted 16 percent from here to here right but then they sh buy back when earning time in the quarter they buy back 11 percent right here 11 percent right that's the short cover same thing second quarter we take from top to here which is right here was the bottom and the top is right there so 28 percent we shorted this quarter we shorted 28 percent and how much rally we have right now here from bottom up to today nine percent so far market is up nine point seven percent so ten percent up so how much on the screen right now um look at search for advanced decline s p 500 not not the adx not this one cancel you can cancel that. I mean, if you use it, you use it. I use ATR mainly. Sure. And parabolic SAR crossover. That'll give you stop losses. So what we're searching for is just advanced decline, not in indicators. Like where you type SPY. Oh. Yeah. Not an indicator. Okay, okay, okay. Nah. You can use ADX, but I you would cross it over with something else. So advanced decline S&P. Uh, which one is this right here? Do you see anywhere ADX? This is the one? Um, no, no, so advanced decline, A-D-V-A-N-C-E, advanced decline line. But why is it not coming up so far? Okay, let me type it, right let me type advance here. A-D-V-A-N-C, advance. Decline. Decline. Yeah, you should pull it up, NASDAQ and the NYSE. Which one? Uh, just click one of them. They're, they're, they're both. Okay. You, you can do advancing, right? They're, that takes away the difference. 
This one. Like this. this is declination. Yep. This is going to tell you the decliners, right? They're starting to gain today. Mm -hmm. but yesterday, obviously, right? The market did what? Yesterday was strong too. Yep. They're like ticks. If you've ever used ticks, right? Mm -hmm. Same thing. Mm, okay. Usually I use no more than three to four hundred on this type of market right now since the uh, volatility is low. You can go up to eight hundred during more volatile markets. But I'll tell you are is the overall amount of stocks in the NYSE or the NASDAQ, are they going in green or red? Are they advancing or declining? Mm -hmm. It gives you live action. Somebody said, Josh, check with your YouTube connection. What, what's up? What's up with the YouTube connection, man? Everything is, everything is okay. You cannot see that. Can you hear me on YouTube? Can you see my screens on YouTube? Let me know, guys. Can you type it here? You can see my screen on YouTube. Audio is choppy. Okay. Man. Audio is jumping and I can't solve that problem. Sound is in and out. Probably my studio mixture. We have we have three different audio going into Discord and then YouTube and then the uh, Twitter. So that could be one of the reason, guys. Is is uh, we have common problem here. And I, sometimes it occurs, sometimes it solves, sometimes it again continue. I tried a couple of options and look like it did not solve. 100% did not solve yet. So I apologize. My voice repeats. Man, this YouTube. How high do you think Tesla is going to keep going up? Tesla has a resistance, so watch out. 825 is the major resistance, so hold on. Yeah, because I'm at, I have, I put 32, I'm up 800%. <laughs> you are up 800%? Yes, yes, it's crazy. From $32, mm -hmm. to, it's at 840 right now. Wow. Yeah, that was a crazy, crazy. But so, you still waiting? How high yeah, I'm you? still in it. I might, I might have to hold it till tomorrow. I yes. can't sell. Why? Uh, I already use my day trades. Look at your so theta. I, oh, hold, yeah. on. Hold, hold on. Let me analyze. Let me tell you right now. So what's going to happen tomorrow, okay? So t uh, today Tesla, okay, your options. And what, what, what strike price you are holding? I have for tomorrow, expiring tomorrow. What's the strike price? Uh, it is... Where is it? I have it at 8.45. 8.45. Wow. And you bought it at 45 cents? Oh, uh, 32 cents. I bought it at 8.18. Well, that's the current price it's at, but I brought it like at 7.80. Okay. So, yeah. So, basically, tomorrow morning you wake up, it will be $0 because Theta is $3.67 cents right now. And the yeah. pre premium is three dollars. So when you wake up tomorrow, it will be three dollars sixty nine cent minus. It will be negative. If the yeah, price remains the same. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Too. That's that's the Robinhood guys. That's the, <laughs> you should not use Robinhood. You should have used the cash account. You you can disable your account. Uh, that yeah, yeah, yeah. On Robinhood, that's what I saw too. You can switch the cash account now. Yeah, do that. We can sell it. Take the money and run. Otherwise, your eight hundred percent profit will be gone by tomorrow. You wake up. Yeah, it's almost at 900 now. And you are already out of the money. $845, no way, Jose. This will be zero tomorrow. 
be careful. Take the money, no matter. Work on that to close your account. <laughs> close that, the, uh, that transaction. I know, that's what I'm saying. I was like, damn, I might have to take the three months. Damn. No, no, no. You don't have to three months. You just put yourself in your cash. Uh, you know, tell them to, I want to close. Call them up and, you know, they don't even... Shit. Call them up and uh, you know fix your problem. You can you you'll be able to sell. Just tell them, hey, I'm 800 percent up. That's what people are doing right now. People are getting losing money because of that that restriction. Why the hell do you cannot sell? Just sell it and say, hey, I, you know, I'm I cannot. I will not use the fund until tomorrow. It's a cash account. Just tell yeah. them I want to convert into my cash account. So you legally bind, and um, you don't sell. I mean, Man, you, and that, that's the stuff that gets so me mad. So if the account's under a certain a, value, like twenty-five thousand dollars, right? Um, then there are different rules, right, that they yeah. have to follow. That, that is SEC law. You can't actually tell them. No, PDT rules apply, but if you have a cash account, that's the only for margin account. If it's a cash account, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent, you're right. If it's a cash account and you're not used margin, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, you you have every right to sell your position. Yep. So you can go ahead and convert your account into the from margin to cash. As long as you did not use your margin, just put it into cash account. Yeah, but they'll make him close out the trade, so they'll make him wait till the end. Yeah, that's trade. what we want. Just close the trade. <laughs> Eight hundred. No, so they're going right to wait till the right end of the, the trading day. No, no, Robin Hood. No, no, I I noticed that they do, but only thing is is a little tricky way. You can convert, or you can click the button, and you can change it, and you'll be able to allow to close. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, okay. I, just, I, was, I wasn't paying attention to my phone and I just see it shoot up. What is this, Robinhood or uh, Vivo? Yeah, it's Robinhood. Yeah, 100%. I figured. Yep, go and work on that direction. You have only one and a half hour, guys, to close. Otherwise, tomorrow will be zero dollar. All right. Thank All right. you, Joseph. Yeah. And the Theta Decay is $3.64 and his premium is right now $3 right now. So, anyway, he'll be down. losing. So, it's better to close today. Fuck yeah, he's, they're going to bleed him. Absolutely. Nice. Mm -hmm. The thing yeah. you got to realize is not to take it personally, man. It's just business. Oh, no, for sure. I know it never goes up forever. For sure. Up and down. Josh, this is an important point for Q's. He's mm. trying to break HOD. Yep, because I'm watching the SPY. SPY has a gap, and they are, everybody knows, every trader knows there's a gap to be filled, but they are not giving out since last two days. That gap easy fill. <laughs> your original thesis about them pumping and then pulling the rug watch it play out yeah mousetrap every time they always set up a mousetrap and that will st last for a day or two days maybe sometime a week three four days until you get exhausted and then they t they go and do it and fill up the gap that's called the, that's what they leave the cheese up there for all the mouse to trap I almost got a puts before of that, all before of what, an earning. Oh, which one, Josh? What happened to those 1.9 million dollar dark bull puts on Tesla? When, when did I say that? Because people 
take the money before the earning happens. So that's why I don't trust much. You can only trust when they are coming in. And then these people, when the Tesla goes down in an hour or two, and they take the money. I don't have a control over that when they are taking money. That's why I don't rely. I rely on real price action. I rely on their earnings, what exactly balance it look like. That's the right way to analyze. Not buy based on just because somebody throw the calls and pulls. Apple's falling, Josh. Q's are falling. Okay. Apple is slightly. No, man. Not Q is falling. <laughs> it's just the no yeah, it's double it top like it. yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. It double top i look like yeah. double top and that's what they are creating the scene yeah it's, and probably you know this is the trend line to watch so it's i don't see anything happening here but okay we whenever it happens we're gonna go behind but i, I want something like a stack is taking the candles like you know anything happens we need something like a strong moment this is not something strong one green one red one green one red look at that candles that's we can't trade like that we can't make money that's horrible one red and one green candle no good anytime you s we see a red green red green red green that's deceptive move i don't like that i like sturdy candles I said not to not to play options on Tesla, not to play option on any stocks, Netflix, all this, because that's dangerous. How to fast way to lose money? Netflix is HOD keep going up and up because heavily shorted Netflix. They have a lot more to cover on Netflix, so that's why they're taking Netflix up. See that? Look at that sell of Netflix. Eventually, Netflix they're gonna take it to 250, at least to cover. Amazon HOD, high of the day. It's going. Josh, if the market sells off, you're buying chai tomorrow morning, my friend. <laughs> Absolutely. But I don't drink chai. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, my you, wife. You like coffee? No, nothing. No, no milk, no coffee, no chai. Fruits. Do you drink water? Yeah, I love, I drink a lot of water. I drink a lot of waters. I drink, I mean, I eat a lot of fruits. Fruits has a lot of juice in it. So I eat fruits. Market's about to get destroyed. You got it right here, but that's what they're gonna do. Either one. Bye bye. <laughs> here we go. Okay. They're gonna feel like 
like that. I don't want to trade, man. I did trading too much today, so I'm trying to wheel it on the side. Look like weakness on it. Let me see what happened. Oh yeah, you're right. I showed you 22 million dollar for 22 million dark pool. Dark pool data yesterday was bullish or bearish? Bearish. Where, buddy? I, I'm I'm sorry. You you look on your black box. I I don't want to have access. No, to no. That. Somebody on YouTube uh, mentioning just yesterday. Somebody on dark pool data. It was like Tesla was bearish uh, flow. 22 million people. 22 million dollar spend on. The, was bullish or bearish? Yeah, but I don't know if they have the expiration right on that. Yeah, the yeah that's, that is, the flow doesn't have the expiration, we don't know. Uh, it's dangerous. That's the reason I, I, I don't, I said I'm not going to be playing either, doesn't matter. That, yeah, so if you take a look at, that's uh, let me look around there real quick, check something. Okay. So yesterday, if you'll notice that the call volume, had the option implied volatility was 110%, right? Yesterday. Now today is 64%. So 40% value is right there gone. It's like 40, 50, 45% value. IV is gone. So your premium, what you paid, is not there right now. So and on top, you had a theta decay, which was, I would say, around 40% theta decay. So if you would have bought yesterday uh, let me analyze it for you for example oh, what was the price yesterday 750 so let's say 750 yesterday premium was on a closing of the Tesla was $20 yesterday previous close $20 but yeah but Theta was very low yesterday it was only one dollar sixty three cents so you were safe that was good that's good because in the, now it's in the money that's why right. so yeah that that is good tesla call would have been the great those who bought it yesterday that's good because tesla ran up today a lot Okay, something is cooking here. What's going on? Apple, Google, Microsoft, AMD, Netflix. Every everywhere is a red candle coming in. Okay, so maybe market can test the trend line right here. Sell enough from the double top. Look like is this you think double top or is gonna <laughs> gonna fake out probably. But it looks like, huh? Hold on, let's see what you got. Are you looking on SPY or which one, buddy? QQQ. Okay, hold on. Yep, double top. I told you, Josh. <laughs> we give we give you good information, Josh. Yeah, good information. So look here. That's the trend line, probably. I think they're gonna ping pong and then they're gonna take it up. They're running out of steam, my friend. Oh my they have no more left over. They've already covered their shorts. Covered the shorts. And unless you have some big news come, liquidity problems in the European bond market. <laughs> Look at their treasury spreads, buddy. Yes. 
Singapore inverted today as well, right? Singapore is one of the bigger financial hubs in Southeast Asia, right? The Singapore uh-huh. Straight Times Index, the yeah. STI, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. The 2 to 10 inverted as well. That hasn't happened since August of 2018. Yeah, problems. Yeah, there's a lot more problem going worldwide, man. But market wants to go up. What's up, Graham? Hey, Josh. How's it going? Going good, man. What's up? What's cooking? Um, I'm kind of a new person here. I uh, very much enjoy your uh, mm-hmm. format of live trading. Um, also, I'm new to stock market, so I'm looking for some basic advice. Um, do you do trading every day, like intraday, or do you do swing trading? Everything pretty much depends on the conditions. So you, what I would do is just give yourself a time to understand, analyze. Don't jump in, don't burn your money. Just don't, don't put your money into this. This money market will take you all the money. So dangerous. So just be cautiously watch and learn. And uh, you know, give yourself a time. And if you need one-on-one um, consulting, I do give a training one-on-one, and. Uh, I charge 250 and uh, spend about 60 to 90 minutes in one session. If you want, uh, I can give a five session for 1000 Josh, how are we looking, Josh? Man, he's just trading water, guys. I know he's trying to break the resistance, and that's what, that's what I'm waiting for. Market gonna break, but it's not breaking. It's not, it's just, it's, <laughs> it's not happening. It always pulls back. The moment it try to break, and then it pulls back. Because it's only, not even at three o'clock yet. Power hour starts at three, maybe, and we'll see. Some action will happen after three. So another fifth, another twenty minutes to go. This market tests your patience, <laughs> right? And that's how people make silly mistakes. Look at that, Josh, your VIX, too. Look at the change in it. Yeah, nothing. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Oh, you just had the tick up. Nice. There you go. <laughs> Tick is better. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. That's my favorite. <laughs> yep. It removes all the noise. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't like the MACD right now. You don't usually use uh, MACD and other things on, on ticks. Just no, no, not on ticks. I'm spy. So I'd like, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Spy, I'm watching spy. So right now, okay, here we go. Sell off coming in. It's gonna scare people a lot.
here we go price of control and broken on spy guys this I don't trust I don't trust that double top double top let's see Okay, looks like market got a weakness guys. Alright, let me get into QQQ put and then 305. 305 and QQQ put. Just to get feed rate, okay. I'm not I'm just uh, trying something just to test myself one dollar fifty five cents no big deal all right fine Josh I mean nimble finding you okay <laughs> because market always shows something and then change the direction immediately and notice that's the only reason I don't trust <laughs> this one look at that you see the green candle every time two red candle one green comes that's why I don't trust that. That or I'm gonna have to get you to send me some queso mangoes or Alfonso mangoes. <laughs> Alfonso mangoes. It's a mango season. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Came down and touched that line perfect, huh? Yep, and that's why it's a price of control line. Yeah. You don't get anything there. Hey, you know one of my old friends, Ash, huh? I don't know who's Ash who's Oh, uh, Ashish? You used to be a HOA's chairman for the U.S. No, I did not, man. I wish I would not. <laughs> no, no, trust me. He's a good guy, man. Okay. I've known him for years. Got it. And he came in looking for you as well when you were gone on your vacation. Oh. So, uh, Tony and uh, Joe and uh, our, our troublemaker... Uh, in house tequila girl. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Yeah, look, your ticks are even showing it right now. Indecision. Mm -hmm. You see those reds building on the tick? Yeah, the trend That's is a little bit, but you know, if you see oh. the trend on the ticks. Yep, there you go. You never use the tops and bottoms. Yeah. Always the midpoints. Look at that, this is what they do. Look at Josh, look at the reversal on the ticks. Yeah. Went from red, dropped down, green, and rally. Yep. Right? That's the things. 
So you're the red line and in the uh, on the cues, the one that's uh, diagonal. Is that a uh, trend line or what, what? What is that? No, not that one. The dotted one. Is that a moving average right there? This one? No, no, not not the white dotted one. But is that red dotted above it or? I don't have a red dotted anywhere. These are all candles. Okay. Well, what's that red line right above your white dotted? Oh, this is 200 moving average. Okay, gotcha, okay. So usually I'll find support, right? Yeah, small support okay. is because this is only one minute, so I don't I don't trust much, but sometimes it's some cases. So I use 200 day uh, on intraday, but I don't I don't trust much. Usually on that, you, you use your EMA, right? Eight or nine. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's up team? What's up Rohit? Hey, hi guys. Yo, what's up? What's going on, man? What, what, what? When you are going to start? I got to remove the speaker. Hey Josh, could you check some option flow for me on uh, mm -hmm. Tesla and Apple? I'm trying to uh, decipher between the two as far as swinging calls tomorrow. If we can see above 395 on spot before close. Oh, on a Tesla? Man, I mean, keeping on Tesla, I would not keep anything overnight, guys. Just take your money today. Take your money and run. That's what I tell you. If you have profit, please. That's not advice. You do your do homework. But if I were you, I would take because I have, man, I would say 99. <laughs> nine time that's what normally happens profit you see next day they, they take the profit away market maker so um, but um, uh, there's a gap they might feel tomorrow maybe today maybe I don't know tomorrow but there's a spy has a gap right there uh, it's on a daily gap so I'm waiting for the gap to fill up probably today maybe tomorrow I usually don't spring overnight, but um, I only got cash in my EDT account, and I'm out of day trade, so I'm kind of like, you know. Man, so. that's, you know, the only one, like, <laughs> many people have problem, man. Come on, man. You just call them and tell them, I want to have cash account, and close your position. You have profit. Close your position. Tomorrow is no good, because your theta decay will be crazy. So when is your Tesla expiring? I sold it this morning. I got it um, before close yesterday. Mm. I swung it through earnings like a crazy fool, but it worked out in my favor, luckily. Okay, that's fine. I had the uh, eight fifteen, the eight twenty call debit spread. It went from like fifty bucks to two sixty seven or something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Man, the theta is almost fifty percent. More than fifty percent is the theta decay. Because it's a one day and the tomorrow gamma will be in the place, so not nothing to gain. As long as you are in, in the money. If so tomorrow Tesla go down slight, which I think they they will control. 
if that happens then man it's dangerous dangerous so don't hold this quarter or this quarter that's how they think Okay. I think tomorrow will be a great day for play, man. Instead of today. That's what I'm saying, man. If we can close above this 395 to 397 level for Spa, I, I like it, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> In addition to Josh's point, I would like to add that. I would, I would like to add that he need, as Josh mentioned correctly, that we need to be, we need not to be greedy. Like I have a financial advice. So if you don't be greedy. Then once you get the money, many lit no 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 no. We don't give any financial advice to anybody, guys. Uh, in US, we don't give financial advice. Sorry. Okay, <clears throat> it's illegal to give anybody. Uh, you need a license for that. Okay. Nothing is happening. Power of power hour starts three o'clock. But I prefer not to go crazy. Anything here and just wait and watch. Wait and watch to fly high. <laughs> that thing now it's gonna come back to ground level yep i think the move's done for the time being go sideways yeah i need this resistance to break which is right here Trying to break right now. Tesla looking great at 820. QQQ wants to break right there. Power hour 
first time you break through yep let's see yeah my food is getting washed all right what point do you have josh no 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 i i teeny mini man <laughs> i don't have anything it's just teeny mini to get my nothing i was just putting putting a coin there to see if it is something to occupy myself I want to go long on QQQ, but I cannot go long unless because of the spy has a gap to fill up at 400. So, <laughs> but market is trying to touch the resistance, pulling back, trying higher, and then again pulling back. So I want to wait. If it is goes, then I want to go behind. But damn thing, it just go a few cents and pulling back. That's what it's So doing. you're trying to see if we're going to break or resist that 400 level on spy before you go along on QQQ. Is no, no, right? no. Yeah, the, um, my main indicator is SPY, but QQQ, I'm ho I, I want to focus on QQQ, but SPY is right now trying to break the resistance, which is 397.43. The gap is at 400, at $401 right here. So so easily $3 right there, but I market is not going there. Once it goes there, I don't want to go first, let the market maker go first and then I want to go behind so I can play my QQQ calls before I become QQQ call. So what I do is I try to focus on QQQ puts and calls both. I keep my other screen open and keep checking, see how the mob, how the volume is moving in terms of options and keep checking if see active. Three oh seven is um, one ninety, but Whenever you see the red candle coming right after is not a good sign. Don't like that move. I'm out 10 cent loss. Look at that. See that? That's the game danger break out and fake out
viewers do you think market will sell off friday option expiry man no, i would not know what are the game they will play right now bulls are setting up so most likely i you know we can think off of it but price action doesn't seems like that so but let's see that's why i need the trend line to break linear line to break then i can believe right now i don't see none of the symptom so i can uh, i would not think like they're gonna sell off i like to i like to keep check and see what happens when i see something i will let you know what if i don't feel anything yet i don't see any symptom yet yeah i don't see anything I see market wants to fill the gap. You see this gap? Market wants to need to fill the gap. They want to fill the gap. That's Josh, we got market rally? Yeah, trying and pulling back and trying pulling back is just it's not not the good move. I didn't move. take the trade. I got out of the put. Yeah, I, I took a trade, then 10 cent loss, and I said, no, forget about it. It was a... I was trying to take a bigger trade, but then it's just pulling back. I don't want to trade like that. I don't like these kind of actions. I need something strong. Momentum. There is no momentum here, man. Ankit Patel said, cannot hear you. Man, sorry, man, on YouTube. Hmm. Let me see. See if you can hear me now. Try to change something. Maybe you're able to hear me. Okay. Trying to bounce from the support. No, what is the delay there? What is delay? There's a right next to the volume button on YouTube. There, it's called live button. Click on live. So you, it doesn't become delay. Look over three minutes delay. Wow. MACD pointing south. Wow, look at that. Looking something trend line is about to break. Okay, but it could be fake out just like you know break out now it's faking out on the bare side also and then they're gonna go back up probably it can happen that game break out and fake out can happen all time they're not gonna gain, give out that easy that mouse trap right there cheese yes And turn your meta looking rejected now. Meta has a resistance right there. Support is right here. I think <coughs> market will bounce, but probably 
<coughs> Sorry. Let me drink water. Yep. I don't like this projection man. One green candle, two red, two green, two red. This is no no man's land. You can't even make a ten cents here. Forget about it. Market is pointing down, man. QQQ, Google, AMD is looking south direction. So let's take a look at the QQQ is testing the trend line right now. Apple pointing down. Hmm. Apple, I mean, QQQ just teeny mini broke the trend line, teeny broke. Break. But that's not the one to watch. We have order flow is 3993 SPX. So mm -hmm. they're going to close in the green. We will close in the green. And then uh, we have a flow in the DMA around 4000. Yep, that's the gap we've been waiting for since yesterday, man. <laughs> so I think I, I, there's a lot of calls, uh, I think, around 3993. Mm -hmm. Snap earning will not. I don't feel good. So if anybody has it, it's up to them. But I'm not playing it. Uh, but earning might not be. I feel like not good. That's why Google advertising, Facebook, everybody is laying up people because they are thinking is not good that's that's the snap earning i feel but snap is heavily shorted stock so they are right now short is sh shorts are recovering the stock so if you expect to snap to drop crazy and you think you're gonna make money on shorting man these market maker if they know how to control everything man mm -hmm. Let me see snap burning uh, the options activity. Puts are called, let me see. Puts volume is, oh wow, 17,000, 15,000. And then 15, 10. Okay, wait a second. Call volume is higher than the put on a, on a snap. So I would say calls are, 
calls are 70 percent and puts are 30 percent ratio wise calls are higher way higher calls yeah so people expecting snap earning good that means market can bring a little bit down look like market ready to fly <laughs> trying to take off man plan doesn't take this much time to take off right damn these stocks are taking too long Here we go. Look like want to go. Man, Google is pointing down. Choppy until mid August, that's when we blew up. Mm -hmm. I think 18th August. That should be fine. Here we go. That's when 86. Yep, the trend is nice setting up right now. Look at that. Is beautiful channel setting up. And look like wants to go, baby wants to go. Yep, here we go. Look at that shooting up the Netflix. Where is Netflix go? Highest shorted stock right here, HOD. <laughs> Highest shorted stock. Netflix. Here we go wants to go right there it's already 3 30 so 30 minutes left is going down $23 no price action and VIX, VIX is going down did you notice look at that man something is not right here VIX is going down hmm. is going down the new stock supposed to go up okay 30 minute left
six is going down. Yeah, twenty three eleven. Looks like twenty two. But you know that means tomorrow. Look at the disparity. If you see the disparity, um, you're gonna have another sideways action tomorrow. Tomorrow is a Friday. Yeah. I think tomorrow is a closing uh, option closing so tomorrow can be if it is last six days market is positive then tomorrow could be negative because they need to you know they need to go opposite direction to close the close the options to make some premium on probably mm -hmm. tomorrow could be negative day I, I'm, I'm just thinking if I could be wrong you know But they are all look at this garbage also going up. Tesla is like targeting 850. Tesla. Bullish flow. Tesla $104 million people spend on premium on bullish. $104 million. Man, people are loading up right now. Most active calls Tesla 104 105 million dollars today. Man, I, these people all will be washed out <laughs> if they don't book the profit, guys. <laughs> Everything will be washed. VIX is going down. Yeah, I, was, I was watching, I was watching the deep zero too, but I went into Apple instead. Then I closed out too early. Mm -hmm. Look at the ticks. Ticks is constantly between here to here, not doing anything. It's just ping pong in, in here. So there's no much price action happening. Here we go. Total 100 and, uh, 105 million dollars spent on calls today, and 50 million spent on puts. Tesla puts people are bought. Josh, what happened to all the gains, bro? <laughs> yeah, that's the game. I right? look at it completely, cal you know, controlled. I think um, whatever they're doing, in the last minute they're gonna go and fill up the gap. I don't know. That could be the case. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, look at that. Josh, they're chopping up both sides. Yeah. VIX is going down. <laughs> Look at that VIX below 23. And stock is also going down. It's 
and not the down but it's just holding it there so what's cooking man what is cooking there i can't understand it Here we go. No wonder VIX was going down, 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 and the QQQ was under control. Look at that. And this trying to bounce, and immediately red candle coming in. Man, QQQ wants to fly, but somehow market is controlling. Market wants to fly, but controlling. Twenty-five minutes left. One of my friends said that Tesla Elon is a king. Sold Bitcoin at loss to show cash flow positive. What an engine! What an engineering! By doing this, he made more money than losing on Bitcoin. <laughs> because stock went up today, right? That's called dressed up earning. Dressed up earning. Spy HOD. Spy wants to go. QQQ wants to go. Looks like right there. Spy HOD trying right now. QQQ is in a control, man. VIX is going down. Look, 296. I think it's not looking right, man. Something is not right here. This is game. into 307 calls to start one dollar seventy seven cents let's see because VIX is look at that <laughs> Today no lotto. Literally tell you I hate this this kind of actions. Nothing to make money. It's all about agenda driven move. Whatever they have their agenda in their mind, we cannot read that. But if I look at here, look at Netflix since constant grinding, you see this, no matter what, heavily shorted stock in this quarter, right, last two quarters, now they are buying that one, but everything else is, is controlled. Look, it's heavily shorted stock, HOD, that is going up. Tesla going down. Just controlling a little bit, nothing much. I don't trust this man. Uh, I brought some calls on the QQQs. Man, no man, today is not a good day. Oh, just for the last uh, probably five to ten minutes. Let's see what happens. Oh, well, let's burn it, right? <laughs> yeah, a little lotto. A <laughs> little lotto. Got it, got it. Yeah. I think they well, just. I, I, I don't see. I think Apple's falling, so I don't know if it might get out. Yeah. Apple doesn't look good right now. 
You right, he's holding everything. Yeah, I mentioned that yesterday. If it doesn't go above 156, it's going to be an ugly head and shoulder. It looks like it's going to be one. Well, I mean, if Nasdaq moves up and the QQQ moves up, it's going to bring it all along. Keeping my eye on Apple because, like Josh says, Apple is a big weight for the QQQ. Tesla can bounce too. Yeah, Tesla is bullish. But now people are going to take profit at the end of the day. Tesla. Pa is grinding higher and the QQQ grinding sideways. Somebody said no audio on Discord. Maybe I'm not speaking. That's why you check it out. There should be audio. No audio on Discord means, guys. Remember, we have little issues with the with the boost. So somebody need to donate a boost. You can click on my logo on top. There is a donation. Uh, I mean, there is a boost. You can boost. Then uh, audio issue, video issue probably can be solved. Because they, you know, they control everything. No direction, no direction, Josh. That's what I said. This is not, uh, doesn't look to me good in anything interesting here. It's sideways. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to get out of these calls if I don't see something soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're going for today's expiry, the door, the government, that's where it's going to close. So we are going to print 399. Three on the specs for sure before we close. Mm. Okay, come on, QQQ. QQQ is being controlled on the price of control line. You see the completely constantly controlled, whereas in SPY is in a free flow, grinding higher, whereas the QQQ is controlling at right at the line. Is something is cooking there, is uh, agenda driven cooking right there. They want to, it does like a spring, you know, going to go, no, don't want to take it up, don't want to take it down, just spring right there. I don't know which way is going, <laughs> which way they want to spring it up. I'm not sure either, but something's cooking. Yeah. It doesn't it's... smell like pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Josh and Italian, so. <laughs> no, I love it. I love, you know, I'm what not was a good. Twitter page that you talked about? The one that gives a report? Gives a report of what? A report of what? Look at this part. 
Yep, market rolling down. Look at that ticks want to turn it down. Apple is pointing down. Before <laughs> they do any action, they're going to do opposite action. Uh, 10 minutes left, forget about it. 10 minutes left. nothing to be honest with you I just wait and see you know see what happens in the morning mm -hmm. Oh, here we go, right there. Look at that. Okay. Oh, it's so I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> okay. As soon as it hits that next uh, minute, eh, hey, Josh? The 350, boom. Hmm. You got it. Man wants to go. I was, I was, I was expecting that 3990 because I'm looking at the order flow. They wait a second. Now we're going to close Mine is, ex now. Oh, Mine is executed. Uh, 22 cents. I put it at two dollar. It executed 23 cents. Now waiting for the pullback. I knew that it's going to be spring. Remember, I said spring is going to be the way it was like compressing here. I think this is going to be spring. And look at that spring was 25 cents right there. 23 cents. <laughs> right? Either it could be toilet flush or it could be a spring up. That was a spring up. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh, boy, 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 boy. All right, finally. <laughs> I'm out, Antonio, okay? What's that? I'm out on Kiki Call. <laughs> okay. All right, I know. Stay, I stay in for one more candlestick. Good. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Market is gonna fill the gap. It's nine minutes left, right? So it's, it's a still. Look at the spy HOD, and it's gonna fill the gap. When everybody's taking their profit, they're gonna fill up the gap. Yep, wants to go. Wants to go, looks like. Man, I don't want to do over trading, guys. <laughs> this is only seven minutes left, eight minutes. It's too much. I can play. I'm, I'm waiting for that last candlestick, Josh. That's got it, got it. I can play if you want. I can play coin. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm in the coin. <laughs> coin play. Coin play. Kiki, Kiki, call. But. Wow, coin is flying. 
nothing man it's nothing the same spot a one dollar eighty cent premium <laughs> on a 307 call it's nothing oh the last five candles all green on the five minute chart five minutes man you gotta look at the one minute <laughs> five minute is too late on the last five minutes uh, market close you gotta go one minute Okay, give me 15 cents and I'll... Six minutes to go. Six minutes to go. Spy wants to go. 398.25. Okay. Go, baby, go. Look at that. Your QQQ was going. Right there. Go, oh, print, print. Yeah, but yep. Well, oh. Wanted to break the three oh seven go yeah, right now. Yeah, he's gonna it. give you two dollar right there. Hold on, let me see spy real quick, okay? Spy, spy, spy. Yeah, we have a still halfway. Market is halfway. Still has a room to go, man. Still has a room to fill up. I think it's gonna pop. Or not. A lot of people taking profit. But QQQ. Yep, here we go. Baby wants to go. Go, 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 go. Go. <laughs> Look at the ticks are already positive, thousand positive. Spy wants to go. Look at that. 398.50. 398. QQQ. Here we go. Here we go. Right there. Mm hmm. So tomorrow is a money making day. Huh? If, it's, if it's above 4,000, I will make a hell of a lot of money. Yep, tomorrow we'll play tomorrow. I don't want to hold anything overnight and just play with the pure market offers, man. That's it. Call it a day. It's four minutes left. And Three ninety eight sixty. Here we go. Spy going now. Going, going. Baby wants to go. Look at that spy. Spy going. Filling, filling up the gap. Filling up the gap right there. Spy. Filling up the gap. And this is minute chart. So five minutes is the right there. Still has a room to go. And I need to keep on my thing right there, spy. How far is the room on 398? Let me see. Hey, you were asking something? Whoa, 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 no, no, I'm not asking. Hold on. Hold on, let me see something real quick, 30 minutes. to go and look here and too much garbage on my chart okay so the gap still has a room to go so 401 wow. my profits yeah 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 it sounds good man that's beautiful Josh, show me mangoes 
401 right here. Yep, absolutely 401. My thing has a room to go, but it's okay. I'll I got a hole. <laughs> I'm, I'm still holding. Mm, look like look like two more minutes to go and look at that teeny mini candle something is going to explain 398 398 83 and we pause right there 398 83 was that spot i feel like it's gonna it's gonna pop it's gonna this this spring will pop because still there is a gap here 400 spy uh, they, they, they have kept it at 398.83 i'm telling him that we're gonna pause right there oh really pause. okay yeah, yeah. I, mean, I mean you know i mean anyway i'm playing small so i'm just holding it this is my profit yep yep i think something need to pop in a last minute josh look at the breakout bro okay it continues okay i'm out I took the money in the 198, man. Forget about it. It's just this piece damn thing is 18 cents. So reversed on the double top, right? And then came back and, and consolidated and broke out again. Yep, yep. yep. MACD showed it, look, as it was happening. Yep. On your MACD, try switching the settings to 8, 18, and 7. Mm -hmm. So you, you can actually, like, click the little gearbox on it and i'll switch it to eight eighteen and seven i like the nine one signal i have a question yeah I clean it up for you a little bit mm. um how heavy of an impact do you think twitter and snapchat earnings is as far as like uh tech plays tomorrow do you think it could potentially ruin our gap feel for 400 tomorrow if we fail those two earnings uh, to, uh, oh wow, we have, so today earning right? market close. Okay, let me see. Hold on a second. T -W -T -W Twitter earning is it today or tomorrow? No, Twitter in the morning and Snapchat this afternoon. But you know they're both heavily. Just like eight ninety eight eighty two. Mhm. Hold on a second. Oh, just hold your thoughts on and let's take a look at spy where we close. Yep. So we are in the okay. middle of middle of nowhere. We close gap. Yeah, right to the ticker. Yeah. yeah that's where we close so we have a gap up and um, still more gap so this is the gap left for market everybody to think hey we're gonna be bullish tomorrow but let's see in the market morning opens up fills up the gap probably or maybe gap down i don't know we'll see We'll see whatever the market fills up in the morning and play, but tomorrow will be a great day to watch. Just like today, man, we just we don't want to go crazy in the in the middle of the day. See how price gives actions, but yeah, it was great. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because still, good one. job, Josh. Yeah, good job. You too, man. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Uh, somebody was asking me about the. Um, about the uh, snap right let's take a look at the snap snap has yeah, a twitter and snapchat earnings as far as the impact on tech tomorrow yeah man see i don't know about those but a lot of calls been bought on snap today i mean it's been a lot 70 is to seven to one and three ratio on uh, snap calls but you know if you take a look at the google and facebook and all everybody's laying up people and trying to help freezing the hiring and all so that would apply to snap or not uh, i don't know so but somehow snap balance it is horrible so for me uh, overall i don't like their balance it negative eps but heavily shorted stock heavily heavily shorted there's a gap here to fill heavily shorted yeah. Snap is, snap is something that can't survive. It's nothing compared to Twitter. That's what I believe. Yeah, you can compare with the Twitter. No way. The Twitter is a whole different world. Man. How Twitter makes money? What kind of advertising? <laughs> right? Okay, Josh, you have a wonderful evening. I'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, see you, my man. Welcome back. Take care, everybody. Ciao. Yeah, ciao, ciao. Mm.
Snap earning coming out. Look at that. Snap flying high. Snap $17 going to snap. Okay, let's see if any earning came out. Let me find out if any earnings. Nope. 410, earning is at 4, 410. So it's still another seven minutes to go. But I will wait for the seven more minutes and see what happens. Man. <laughs> Before earning comes out, the mar you know snap is popping up and popping down. I know dropping down now. People play what again? Before the earning comes out, yo Airbnb was a heavily shorted stock. Remember Airbnb? What happened to Airbnb? We didn't even look into that. Let me look. Man, it see was constantly grinding higher today. It see A B and B. Look at Airbnb. That was also going good today. Still we need to wait. Okay. All right, if anybody has a question, I can take the questions. Oh yes, look at that gold bounce from the support. But gold has been grinding down a lot lately, so that could be yeah, a, the it, simple. Below, 18, yeah, below 1840, 1860, we did expect it to come back to 1670, 18, which it did. Yes. But see, this whole good. If it does, if it does not, we see 1580, and that means dollar strength. Yep, 1758. Maybe it can bounce gold and then. That's the support area. Maybe market can play a little bit and they're gonna again pull back. Yeah, What's going? The, the, the cartel is basically looking at uh, strong dollar. If they look at strong dollar, mm -hmm. and uh, they can they can start shorting gold again, bring it down to fifteen eighty. But if if the dollar since is rolling over, mm -hmm. which means positive markets, positive gold. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you think? What's going on in China, huh? I, 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 there was, I, I was watching the macros today, but no news of I mean, what happened, what did you read there? I mean, the looking up over there, the bank is not able to cash out people's checks and, um, you know, people are right now trying to, you know, I mean, basically government is sending the troops and tanks and, uh, you know, trying to control the crowd. That's what is happening and that's very scary out there. So what's cooking there? Any, 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 anything you know, something is happening in China. Well, I, I was too busy in the market. I haven't seen that. I have to look at it right now. Mm -hmm. That means that's not good for Asia. Yeah, people cannot cash the bank check. And people are not paying their mortgages. And um, it's, it's a lot of things happening there. People, the crowd is going crazy out there. And government trying to control the crowd through the you know having the tank so you can youtube it you can youtube china bank and then type tank <laughs> bank tank it oh damn yeah i see it yeah. 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 second video <clears throat> that's the 
that's what happens when you don't get to see when you get to see news only in your country and not elsewhere yeah that china and russia they want to control everything the moment anything goes out of their country they hate they they chop your fingers <laughs> in china they suffocate you another 5 minutes before the earning stx reports the earning uh, they missed the quarter stx okay so stx stx Wow, revenue missed too. STX. What the heck is happening? See it. STX. We get technology coming. Oh, Snap is rolling down. Fifteen dollar. Okay, she get. Man, I think if Snap and Twitter miss these earnings, um, at least the social media stocks are being a little bit of trouble tomorrow. You think? Yeah, hundred percent. Social media, the first thing people cut their pay, their uh, expenditure on uh, spending money on advertising. That's what every company would do first. Before they cut the employee, they cut the advertising first. So, okay, wow, it's, uh, it's, um, STX earning came out and they missed man. Sigit, uh, Sigit Technology earning came out today and they missed the earning. Sigit, macro related challenges continue to into the September quarter. Sigit technology holding. Do you know which ETF has the biggest holding in you know, Twitter and uh, Snapchat? Or yes, no, no. <laughs> because when uh, I mean those are communication, so those are um, right here. Mm. Excel, let me see. They mostly communication, XLC. XLC? Yeah, XLC. Z as in zebra? No, C no, C as in Charlie, Charlie. Charlie. Okay, look at that snap. $13 now. Wow, look at that. Snap. Okay, so let's see earning came out. Just a second. <laughs> going down now again twelve dollar man okay 
Okay. Let's see what happened today. Today Dow John up only half a percent, but Nasdaq up 1.36, <laughs> triple the size of, almost triple size. So Nasdaq was the heavily shorted stock. Those are the stock is been gaining ground last few days. You notice that? That's called short covering going on. That's the short cover. Okay. Somebody's mic is open. Danny, I'm gonna mute your mic, okay? And I actually had some snap fourteen dollar puts for eighteen, uh, eight nineteen expire on my watch list, but I didn't grab them because of the uptrend we was in before close. All right. So anyway, there those company has. Oh look, Meta is going down now because of Snap. What happened, Meta? Meta falling, Google you, falling. Man, all the social media is out of here tomorrow if uh, Twitter goes down with it. Yep, you got it. Snap. Met, um, Meta. Man, this market is, the moment it something, one bad news comes, it rolls everything. Look at that. Snap is now twelve dollar. Still baby rolling. Man, Google earning will be in big trouble, guys. Huh? Snap uh, uh, and Meta Meta would be in a big time trouble too. Hey, Josh. What's up, man? What's going? Josh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. When we have some audio problem, probably I can hear you, but you know. So they reported negative two cent EPS. Oh, what is, wait a minute, let me see what, how come 20? Snap, Snap missed the earning, okay. Man, Snap is going back to the bottom. So 21 EPS, revenue was, wow, revenue also missed, guys, huh? And Snap said we're gonna add a five hundred million dollar to buy back the stock. Still, stock is going down. Can you imagine? Company trying to save the stock price announcement at the earning because they are horrible earning. <laughs> but oh boy, what a pathetic company! Do yeah? you see any uh, potential gaps to the downside that they can feel as far as um, Snapchat? Hold on, hold on, I'm trying to um, uh, post the. Uh, Tweet, tweet about the earnings. 
Okay. One second. Carvana down five percent as well. Wow. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, somebody asked the question. What was it? What, what is the question? I was just saying that Carvana is down five percent as well. Okay. Trim, hold on, Trim, hold on. Uh, you were saying about uh, Kristen. I was just saying Carvana is down five percent as well. Oh, after hours. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. so tomorrow is the <laughs> no, but this market maker they know how what to control, man. They whatever you see, Carvana, I doubt, man. They they have a lot more to cover on this Carvana probably. The way they the way they shorted this stock from three hundred dollar to thirty dollar to the twenty dollar, so they still have room. So they have the volume button, man. In the morning we wake up, you will see all together different ball game. This could be a good buy tomorrow, Carvana. Because still a lot more room to go. Look at Amazon selling now crazy. <laughs> yeah. Wow, look at that. Okay. Trying to put something here up there. Any other news coming in? No, right now, no more. The VIX is at like an all time low right now. Tomorrow, yeah, today was all time low. Tomorrow, game will change. Tomorrow, game will be changed. <laughs> tomorrow the whole thing still man market maker they you know if they want to control they will control so let's see tesla man people had a lot of profit today on tesla they they won't be able to close their positions today yeah There was one billion dollars lost today in Tesla shorts. Tesla shorts one billion dollar. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, one billion dollars was lost today in um, Tesla shorts. Yep, 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 possible. And then tomorrow, though, all the bulls was to, so today all the bulls probably if tomorrow they bring it down to the you know, then all the bulls will be losing one billion dollar too. And then both the so one billion today they're gonna make, and then again they're gonna make on the bulls also probably more than a billion. And that's how they make. I think that's the game. Do you think they'll actually take the market down this week versus waiting till next week? Well, look, one thing I notice that once when they are on agenda, so they want to make sure they they shorted second quarter right, and now all the garbage they are trying to buy back right when you're in the process of buyback you can't simply go and short other stocks right now they need to finish what they are doing they are in they are their agenda is driven so that's what i see right now they want to finish the task what they've been heading and then the same stock they again will be shorting so so basically i i i i mentioned that look tesla those who bought it in the pandemic time and they're holding today's price they would be having thousand percent profit right so that what does the mean that means a lot of people have a power right now if they look there are many people who are holding tesla they still see thousand percent profit in their account some people see 600 percent profit some people see 800 percent profit some people see thousand percent profit for example but some people who bought it at twelve hundred dollar absolutely they are losing money and they are you know they are hoping holding the hope that you're gonna come back right but the bottom line is still people have a money because they they bought it at way bottom and they have a thousand percent profit on tesla 
So to pull that money out of their account, to bring the liquidity down, market is creating, it's called creating the liquidity. So people think, oh wow, look at that. Because everybody has a different way to think, right? Every human being thinks, oh wow, Tesla is bullish, Tesla earning is great. Then some people think, oh, Tesla is a trap. Some people think, oh, Tesla is, is this, 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 whatever it is, you follow? But at the end, the person who has a liquidity, they are bullish. They always go and try to put the money back in Tesla because earning came out good. Something like that, they think earning is good, right? So they, they put the money and then market maker, in a, it, they pretend, look, stock is going up. So when stock going up, 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 up they, they, it confirms their their inner thoughts that hey earning is good tesla is good earning is good as well as tesla is good and they put the money from their account and buy the tesla whatever they want to do right and then this market maker pull back and then all the bulls will be losing their their money and that's how the liquidity pulls out of the market that's called agenda driven market so that's what I can see. That's what I, I already described about the earning. And that's how market do. Right now, you know, market, what market is doing is right here. What market doing is look at the yesterday Dow Jones, today Dow Jones. Yesterday was less than a half a percent was up, not even at that. And look, NASDAQ, 1.36. So why not, why not Na Dow Jones, industrial Dow Jones, and why, why NASDAQ? This has been going on last few days. So they are all shorts covering going on on a garbage stocks. We has a garbage balance. It look, snap, 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 snap is the perfect example. I've been saying this, right? We've been, I was super bullish on snap. You know that last two days. But I gave you heads up before running. Make sure you get, get out of it, right? But I also did not say that you need to short. The snap because that's uh, that's not me on earnings because it's dangerous but if somebody want to play it's called a slot machine to play but look at that eps negative 21 cent eps i would not pay even ten dollar on this one and that's what i've been saying this and i i today i said that too look at if google is me is laying up people and stop you know not the laying up but in you know, a stop hiring and they think that hey revenue is in a crunch then snap what do you think snap they're gonna have a more crunch than google right that's why i thought that snap gonna go down because of it's not going to be good earning and that's why i said this all these s p 500 eps is going to be horrible most of the uh, earning this is second quarter guys second quarter is not the was quarter if you ask me the the quarter we are into right now which is july in summer imagine what would happen to the fall and that's why i say firework in christmas <laughs> fireworks in christmas so i'm gonna give these earning will i mean these productions whatever they're you know every company who is his you know their balance sheet does earning will be coming in a in a in a fall time that's the real earning you got to see and that's why that's why i posted about the job data market today i tweet about it right here let me bring it up so you can see i post a chart today so please 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 follow me on my profile you click on profile and i post it right here i said snaps right earnings were really bad was that snap is yeah. weird yeah yeah, yeah. Hold, hold, hold earnings on. were really bad like they, they guided with negative 50 million free cash flow. Mm -hmm. their, their, their earnings were negative 140 million free cash flow. <laughs> Three times. Oh, Kay. bad. That's bad. Josh, Josh, Brent, Brendan, did, did you see Intuitive Surgical? I, they, I, they missed too. Oh, wow. Misses across the board. See, um, uh, look at, uh, look at, uh, not look C, at that yeah, chart. Seagate. Look at Seagate. They've they been halted since, since the close. They they missed badly, but they've been halted since the close. They're yeah. reopening at four thirty. Oh. Yep, yep. Really That's what I was numbers. about to say. Yep, Seagate yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. STX. Right Snap also chose not to give guidance. That means it's really going to be ugly. Oh, it's going to. We can get in on that one. But you know what's unfortunate? They already came out. Like what was it? Like a few weeks ago. Remember when they said that the 
advertising business is going to hurt them. Like they had already yeah, given. Board. So it's kind of sad that they're getting hit again because they well, already they, took a hit when they came out and right, said, but they, they guided, right? They guided it with an update only a few weeks ago, right? And they still missed that guide, and they missed it by three x on the free cash flow. That's bad. That's bad on their management part, right? Like they should have been guiding with more concrete information, or right? I mean, I guess just not have lost so much money. I would have like, left it alone back then and not said anything. Apparently, uh, Evan Spiegel and, and their other co-founder, the CEO and his co-founder, just agreed to two new five-year contracts as well. How long has this been halted, Brendan? Seagate. No, Seagate has been halted on earning, I guess, because some some reason they've been hold, halted, but maybe in the morning you will maybe, see. Yeah, maybe news, like news with earnings. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Like okay. Yeah, yeah, what happened to Intuit? Is, what happened to Intuit? Uh, Intuit, uh, I don't see much actions on it. Is uh, Intuit report today? Uh, let me see if this is... Nope, no, they are not reporting today, sorry. I thought you mentioned something about Intuit, so I thought let me see if something happened. How bad was STX earnings? Oh, uh, well, horrible, I posted that right there. STX earning is, um, I tell you, they miss the EPS, they miss the revenue, they, Big time they miss uh, as uh, Seagate. Seagate missed. They were expected one dollar ninety two cent EPS, and they got it one dollar fifty nine. So imagine, and plus the revenue. Revenue was expected two point eight three billion. They got it two point six three billion revenue. So they miss both, and that's the big time EPS. You miss forty cents. EPS is a big guys. Okay, forty cents is a lot. Is there free cash flow? Uh, right now, I don't know. I I don't see a free cash flow or anything. Just somebody just. Yeah. Uh, I bet you they bet you it's bad. Well, I'm just trying to figure out why they halted it. Like, did they did they somehow figure out that it's going to be so horrific that they halted it before it can go the, crazy? Uh, I think so. The the worst part, what I what I what I look at it on a snap earning. You know what they did? Their earning is so horrible on the revenue and EPS both they miss, and they try to you know say hey we're gonna have a 500 million uh, buyback uh, plan to you know to support their stock not to drop you know what i mean like people create the news hey look uh, companies trying to trying to buy back that means you know they support the company but that didn't sustain their eps missed by 398 percent yeah yeah oh that is that, is that snap yeah yes. snap yeah they're they're, they're done they're, <laughs> i mean <laughs> They are done, done. They are done. Someone's it's... gonna buy it. <laughs> right. Sorry. Go ahead. And what? What a what? A, what a day, man. How are you doing, Josh? Hey, what's up, buddy? How are you? What a day, right? Yeah, you right. What a day. Yeah. What a day. Tesla, man. The 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 put sold were like amazing one. And the call, I bought the eight hundred calls, man. But you know, I sold too early. <laughs> That's fine. Whatever you made is good, man. Yeah, man. But like, look at the snap running shit. Yep. <laughs> we, all knew, we all knew yeah. snap is is horrible and it's now i was seeing the chain on the google right 114.5 on the last 10 minutes they were hitting coming back in again I'm like oh yeah they, they know something Man. guys i'm telling you right now this news the whatever the news coming out this okay. is very very horrible news guys for google for meta for uh for uh what what else what else is there in the list of meta yeah. Yeah. all yeah. the patient pieces Done. Yeah. Ane anecdotally, my sister works for TikTok and said that it's yes, advertisement de demand and digital ad spend is extraordinarily down, right? And yep, the rest yep. of the year, the rest of the year is seriously, seriously um, being like readjusted. Um, Ro Roku will be, be down, guys. Too. Roku will yeah, be down. I think it's going to be longer than just like, in a while. Eight fifty. Hmm? What's it? Yeah, Meta drop. Meta drop eight fifty after hours. Uh, I think it will drop another. Another 8.50 tomorrow. So the problem is, the, Avi, the problem with the market right now, market maker, they are buying Meta because they heavily shorted stock, right? So they are exactly. buying. Yeah, exactly. so they are buying right now. So whatever right now you see, Meta tomorrow could be a good entry, good, good buy. Yeah. My, 100%. 100%. I, think, I think Meta is, a, is probably going to rally um, like tomorrow in response to this because once you get through snaps earnings and like and, and the rest of the market digests it mm. right you start looking at the other com the comps in this in this space right yeah and when you're looking at meta their free cash flow right their their um their earnings like they're strong 
right? You're probably going to want to be mm -hmm. of any in, the, in that space in, in meta. Yeah. Wow. But for overall market, it will, it's a landslide, basically, though. Yes. <laughs> yeah, overall market is going to affect, like, you, you guys remember the last time, I think, Meta, like, to drop the whole market. Three or four it's more months. like a sinkhole. Oh, yeah. Is Twitter after, after market or before market? Today. It's today or tomorrow? No, it's it tomorrow. Is Twitter is tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, tomorrow, Twitter's tomorrow, Twitter is tomorrow. in the morning. Man, it's tomorrow before market. No, it's tomorrow. Pre market? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah tomorrow. Guys, oh, look at MU. MU, all the chip making company, MU. Look at the STX. The, you know, uh, the Seagate is um, dropping. I mean, you know, earning came out horrible, right? So look at the MU right now. After our MU also going down. <laughs> So, hey, Josh, Josh, you look at HCA. It's um, yeah, healthcare. Oh, I mean, they have earnings tomorrow also. So, yeah, I was seeing like uh, so much activity on the like I, uh, you know, like this uh, chipsy stocks, right? By the rumor, sell the news. I also on top of that, they were ready. So tomorrow, like man, this AMD, all these things gonna. And when I see our market was like they're just trying to buy and buy, I'm like, okay, level wise, okay, that's fine. We would play upside, but it was just a rising wedge, right? If you look at the chart, like just pure rising wedge. Is Seagate a chip company? Yeah, Seagate is the hard. So what Seagate does is makes the hard drive, right? All the storage, hard drive, and all. And Seagate and MU both are the same, but MU is more more into semiconductor. So every hard drive has the uh, chip, right? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, semiconductor chip. That's what M MU makes it. And MU and um, Seagate is kind of um, uh, uh, embedded. Not the embedded, I would say, but they are their partner, pretty much. You know, doing the business. And they okay. altered it so that they could, you can drop it more. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's gonna be scary when they open it tomorrow, or when they, cause they won't unhalt it now, right? Cause it's after, but they'll unhalt, unhalt in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Be Domino's missed as well. Yeah, that's but man, place. this, this. Wow. I need this one. You guys, okay, so. Sorry, I'll tell you something because we also we it, it, just like how we see this all these earning same earning is Tesla. Only thing what our Tesla did is. You know, you always look at the EBITDA. You know, every time I teach here is EBITDA, right? You always need to look at the EBITDA because that's where your expenditure shows up and you got to minus the uh, expenditure because, you know, you know, what they did is they sold the, the Bitcoin, but they had EBITDA went down one, more than $1 billion, $1.3 billion loss compared to last quarter. The net income, net, net income compared to last quarter, $1 billion. Their margins shrunk. From 31% to 25.5%. Yep. 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 That's so massive. And yeah, I, I, I took a whole bunch of like puts on Tesla though, for the next week. Philip Morris beats on the top and bottom line. The STX like, dropped 10% right now. It opened at $74 from 84 Man, look at that. This is what, so Snap is the one today second of the market, not the Tesla guys, you know? <laughs> oh, they halted it. Yeah. It's, yeah. Well, it's, oh, yeah. it's like a big bomb dropped it looked like snap the, you know the way snap earning is the teeny mini company but look at the big look at the impact of that bomb right <laughs> yep. it will happen overnight and yes and whole market uh, but, 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 but i think tomorrow would be a good buy meta because market yeah. maker they have a lot more to re, uh, more to cover on these google would be a good more cover too because they've been heavily shorted amazon too man this is this is or intraday, right, Josh? Intraday. This is all intraday. I, I, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look what market maker do, and then we're gonna go behind them. I don't want to go. I don't. I can't. I. What I learned is we don't want to go first. <laughs> I understand. Okay. We just, but you know, it's a, it's, it's a gift. I think Meta is a gift probably tomorrow because that's what market maker trying. They are, they are putting their effort to bring this talk uh, and covering the short, and then all of a sudden now today bad news, and that's why Meta is down. But they're gonna bring it up. 
and also the, and the Tesla too, like uh, before the one minute uh, to like close, they had some bad uh, bad news on Tesla too, like some kind of subpoena or something, something like that. Not that. Oh yeah, the um the purchase order issue. They uh, yeah. they buy, they let go of one of just the, uh, a minute <laughs> just um, before the they, close, bro. Yeah, yeah, they really. I'm saying uh, they had, they actually fired one of Elon's top confidants um, because of this. Uh, they announced today, uh, right at the close. Basically, it's like there's some legal issue regarding their purchase orders. They're oh. down by three thirty one right now. Not a lot, but they're down. What are they? What are they? What are, uh, what's the price? Uh, Tesla is sitting at eight twelve right now. Tesla, not, uh, not like even. Oh wow! Look at that. Seagate is going down now. Seagate is down, guys. Ten dollar. Oh yeah. It's going twelve percent. After what is down? Eleven percent Seagate. Tesla generated thirty-five billion dollars in the first half of this year. Ford gener generated thirty-five billion dollars in each of the first two quarters of the year. Okay. Tesla. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold, hold on, Could you repeat it again? What did you say? Tesla made $35 billion in the first half of the year, right? Mm. First two quarters combined. Mm. Ford made $35 billion each quarter, right? Oh. Tesla trades at a 10 times the market cap Ford does. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. The, the, that's absurd. Yeah. That's, that's what I said. I made a video and I posted that, and that's, that's absurd because in this market condition environment, man. But, but I think, you know. Tesla's market cap is bigger than the entire automobile industry combined. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> like the TAM, the total addressable market of the automobile industry. They have a higher market cap than the whole thing. <laughs> yep. And slowly, slowly, they're going to take the air out of the balloon. So market cap, what you see right now is, is yep. you know, you can't just, you know, remember, guys. I have January 24, th uh, 300 puts. <laughs> yep. That's good, man. You'll be minting. So like the P on the like 100 to 100 right now in Tesla, man. Mm-hmm. They split. They split probably um, by the end of August, three to one. Tesla. Yeah, uh, they're split. They I, I'm not sure when. They won't need to. The stock market's gonna just gonna split them for them. Uh -huh. Yeah. So if the advertising business is what's getting snapped the way it is, how is it going to look even for this? Because even Apple, the, don't they have a lot of um, advertising stuff on their like their apps? They're the they least exposed. They're right. the least exposed to that. Google, okay. Microsoft, both very exposed. Google specifically, right? So, like that's why they're uh, they're down three percent after hours with this. So Pinterest as well. Pinterest is down big, I'm sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now this one is going. Emmy still wants to go. Emmy also wants to go, go, go. Okay, let me put it in uh, STX, STX. Yep, now STX is going down too. There is a inverse of Tesla, guys. You know, inverse of Tesla. You, you know, if you don't want to buy options, you can have inverse of Tesla. Uh, yeah, it's also 1.25 uh, oh. times leverage, so it's, it's yeah, levered up a little bit. Do you know the symbol name? T S L Q Q T S L Q. Yeah, bear daily right there. Tesla Q. Somebody uh, asked me today. I wanted to TSLQ. I want. Can I buy a Tesla? Q <laughs> shorted today. Uh, he said that uh, you know when I describe about the, all the earnings, he said, "Man, I would sh I would buy this." I said, "Yeah, it looks to me, but you know why would I? I would wait at least tomorrow." But <laughs> I hope I don't know. But look at Are that. There options on it yet? No, they do not. Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, it's a new one. Yeah, there's option on it. Oh, is it? Well, um, already? Yeah, the Tesla short. Uh, I just oh, yeah, oh yes, they do have. They do have options. Yeah, yeah right there. The, with the 
first day when it was out, there weren't options yet when I checked. So right. That, that makes sense. Exactly. They just introduced today. They introduced today. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it's today. It started today. Yep. Yeah. Wow, 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 guys. This... Are, are the spreads crazy on that? Because they're like, they can't I'm looking at them right now. Much liquidity. <laughs> <laughs> the spread is crazy. Yep, that's the game. Like thirty by twenty cents, like thirty dollars by twenty cents. Yeah, and but the bids two ninety five. The um the ask is four ten on. I think they just introduced years. like after hours, guys. Yeah, they that's just, massive. Yeah, they'll just in the market maker. They just introduced after hours. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, yeah, right. Oh, ba 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 You can the buy the in the money. were available during the day too, because I looked at it earlier. Then why everything yeah, volume and interest is zero zero zero? Only only like certain ones like like they didn't have the forty three dollar. Um, oh, calls. certain they had ones. Forty two dollar calls and they didn't have like if they don't. So I don't know if it's because they just started it today, but some of them, uh, some of the amounts are available and then some are not. Mm -hmm. So either you have to buy what they have or you don't buy well, it all. because because the market makers that need to introduce your ability to buy right putting an order on that mm -hmm. they need to first own the stock. Right, so they're going through their their uh, positioning right now as well, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I'm actually curious as to uh, like when it comes to an ETF like that, right? Because it, it just it just gets introduced, right, and then it starts trading. Mm -hmm. it's not, there's no like initial offering. I wonder how that works, like if the initial market maker purchasing of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the market maker underwriting. It, it, it's it's the same um, model as I like, the. Um, the mortgage mortgage back in eighty seven. You could go go Google it, look it up. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah, that's exactly how it works. Right? You know, it's creating the same thing and look at the at the end at the end the end game term all that <laughs> for the common stock. But I'm looking at the forty seven dollar call for the Tesla Q. Mm -hmm. The bid is one thirty. The ask is two fifteen. That that that's not that bad for after hours um like you know what i mean because right that's that's right it, it widened um like easy math to do when you're looking at a spread right is mm -hmm. like rule of thumb you know you never really want to give more than 12 and a half i i like to stick to 10 10 percent to a market maker right mm -hmm. so the 10 percent on the bid ask would be take the, the the difference in the bid right to so the bid minus the ask right whatever the difference is there in uh and then divide it right over the bid right so there's a bid minus the ask over the bid that'll basically give you an understanding of how much you're paying in percentage right what mm -hmm. what percentage is this is the spread compared to how much you're paying um that one is about what do you say 130 to 215 yeah so that's like close to a, a what 100 percent spread right that's insane you're paying like 80 percent to a market maker there right that's that's a lot so then yeah, the, the spread is almost 35 cents uh, even you, even you far out fifty dollar uh, calls, and they are asking <laughs> thirty five cents uh, cent spread on a one dollar twenty five cents call. That's a lot. That's almost like thirty yeah. percent value. Th thirty percent gone. So they're charging uh, the spread on one of the other strikes is two two ten by four fifty. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Uh, uh, Antonio, you raise your hands, please. Go ahead. Antonio, you raise your hey, hand. Josh. Hi, Josh. What's up, man? Hi. Yeah, how are you? Good, I good. just have a quick question regarding the P7. I am trying to get the real time, but I have several options here. Uh, I am in the screen that says extra market data, and I can see different options, and I just was wondering which one is the one that I should have. TSLQ, you uh, mean Tesla one? No, 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 no. He's I'm talking about the, the platform, the P7 Trading View. Oh, T7. Um, I'm a, whoa, 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 the data whoa. you want, you probably want the um, the real time, right? Uh, oh, real time. Data. Yeah, it's probably like twenty nine ninety nine or nine ninety nine. One of those two. A month. Right, but there are there are seven different options for real time. Then they they tell you for North America, do you want Arca? Do you want Arca. NYSE, Arca. Do you want Nasdaq? Uh -huh. All mar you probably want all markets, right? No, 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 no. We don't need uh, some international one too, so we don't need because they're gonna sell everything to you. They have right, India, right. they have. North so North you America. need. Yeah. We care about the Arca. A R O. 
A R C O C A. That's the one you gotta go. C B. That's the Chicago Bank. Uh, Chicago uh, C B O E. That's the one we need to go for. Right. We, we don't. So we I don't need the say. indices for futures, right? No. I mean, I don't. You. You don't trade. So if you want to trade, then you can you sign in. Them. Okay. I would just make sure yeah. you have the New York Stock Exchange, the Nasdaq, and yeah, uh, and I guess Dow. Yeah, New York Stock yeah, Exchange. That Nasdaq. will cover up the Arca. Will cover up. What yeah. about your OTC? OTC, we don't trade. Okay. Okay. Then there is another one, CME. CME, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. That you need that CME. Okay, and the Canadian. Canadian, we don't trade. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. No problem, man. I, tra- I definitely trade Canadian, um, Canadian companies, um, like yeah. the oil and energy companies. Most of the Canadian companies listed here, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Wow. Look at the STX is going down, and then the snap went down to the <laughs> drain. Look at... Um, look at new N U E Nancy umbrella. Yeah, 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 yeah. That it's was an excellent earning today. I, was, I mean, I was, had it on my watch list and I didn't play it, man. That was a good play. Look at that. So, look at the EPS. Uh, they beat the hell out of it. Like nine dollar EPS is so undervalued stock. And it's, it broke the two. When the, it broke the two hundred and moving average. Looking strong. Same thing X. Because N U going up and X is going up too. Best balance sheet this company has it N U and X, yeah, and their forward P ratio is only two time. Two time or five time, I remember that. So they're making a lot of money, man. Mm-hmm. Well, tomorrow we'll see about this Tesla. You know. Te- what happens with Tesla? I think, I don't know when they're going to stop buying Tesla. They'll never stop buying Tesla. No, no, market maker. <laughs> right, Brandon? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got no choice me in the option chain, right? Yeah, no. No, so basically what happened, market maker first, you know, there are two things. One is they, they keep the stocks uh, as a, as a cover-up. And plus, they sh- if they yeah. short it, they're gonna they're gonna they got to you know buy back. When they buy back, they got to fill it up. Plus, um, uh, if they want to again short for the future planning in the future, either they can buy the stock now, and then have it as a uh, as at that as the leverage, or you can keep the fund available to short it. But then the short l- limit period is limited now. It's not like last time you can have it for three four months. Now I think um, J- Gary Gensler set up a rule for about a month, and then everything is they are countable, you know. So that's what probably is is going to do. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Man, those who played Snap would have been printing today, huh? I sold the call spread and I have deep out of the money puts. Mm-hmm. Man, MU is in trouble tomorrow, guys. MU, I can see that, man. Big time trouble, MU. Though earning just came out on MU, but I think expected next quarter earning will be horrible. Man, the Twitter wish tomorrow. Snap going back to five bucks. <laughs> Snap going back to five bucks. Twitter's done. Twitter is done. Mm. No, that the, keep in mind, guys. Okay, Twitter, Twitter is so done, long. but Twitter is getting one billion dollar from from Elon Musk soon. <laughs> Don't forget that. Forty-four. Yeah. Forty-four billion, sir. No, no, forty-four billion yeah. dollars is one, different. One, one bill. Yes, one bill. yes, forty-four. When they make him buy it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Rid this bond and make him buy more. <laughs> no, but at least at like least that. penalty. I like that. That's the penalty they're gonna pay, and that's there is no escape no, on no, it. No, no, they're gonna they're, they're gonna charge him with damages above a billion. A billion is just a breakup fee. That that judge said, right? It's not gonna be a uh, they're not gonna delay the tr- the case because the longer they wait, the more damaging it is to Twitter. Right? Right? She might as well have said because you didn't that's sign exactly this, you're, you're right. 
Yeah, they said it would cause irreparable, irreparable damages to Twitter. Which means oh, that it but, already yeah. has caused some. It yeah. already has, exactly. Yeah, it has, it's but they this said stuff. it would cause even more if they were right. to do uh, yeah. What I'm saying is that, that, in my inclination, that means that it, even if she doesn't, if she does rule on Elon's side that he doesn't have to buy it, she's going to charge him with like make him pay damages above the billion, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, he could buy it right here, and the stock would go up. <laughs> he would. He, the, the, I mean, he wants to buy it at this price, right? That that's what they're not letting him do. Is I know, and, but and he doesn't have I the right mean, to. I, I don't know. I've seen who is going to um, acquire. Um, Holes and then backed out. <laughs> and uh, you know, in in this environment, who's yeah. gonna buy a coals? The, the, I knew the, that. The debt is too expensive, right? Nobody's gonna buy. To, to, yeah, to do with debt financing, credit spreads are just blow are wide and right. crazy. Yep, yep, yep. Horrible. Okay, the any latest news coming up? Wow, Snap share dropped 25 percent. That's the headline on CNBC. Okay, we also have Verizon in the morning too. Oh, Verizon. Yeah. Many, yeah. So I'm a, I'm a Verizon guy. So I shot. <laughs> I've been shorting it from fifty two dollars, man. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> good, good. I was. I always play the earnings on Verizon. I. Have I got like forty-eight dollar puts. They have been coming in forty-eight dollar puts for tomorrow. So, uh, you know, look at the Verizon. Like, you know, what happened today or before earning uh, Verizon dropped like since yesterday. It was look at the gap down. It's a uh, uh, AT&T earning gaps out. Guy down big, big. That's why the Verizon already down, huh? <laughs> yeah, and also like the Verizon is expensive than AT&T, right? Right. So it, AT&T says like you know like. A, Customer are not paying the bills. Since it is more cheaper than Verizon. So oh. imagine the Verizon. Yep, yep. Yeah, you... AT&T did a bad deal. Messed up their um, divvies for their shareholders. I think at and made a deal with the what di direct TV and that was a stupid mistake probably. <laughs> direct TV. Mm-hmm. What is this? You said look at the same S A M same down S A M. What is same? Same is Boston Bear. Oh wow, same as Boston Bear down. Man, beer. Everybody drinks beer, and this that earning came out not good. Man, that that thing went down like three hundred dollars from thousand. If you remember. Yeah, thirteen hundred to thirteen hundred to three hundred. <laughs> Thirteen thousand is gone. Only three hundred left now. <laughs> yeah, just like you know, uh, Shopify. Shopify, right? Seventeen hundred to one seven zero. <laughs> oh boy, what a hilarious this market is, man! I tell you, man. See, that's what I'm gonna tell. I was telling you guys, EPS is going to be horrible. This this S&P five hundred. You look at their earnings, and this market is not expected even for third, fourth. The Goldman Sachs came out and said it's going to be a 14 time EPS by 225. I do not think so. It's even 14 times. I would not pay 14 times. Uh, this kind of EPS coming out, Woo! <laughs> earnings is horrible. Those are Fortune 500 companies, man. You know they should have better. Uh, I don't know. You watch next next Tesla earning, man. It's gonna be super horrible. Now they don't have any Bitcoin, only 25% Bitcoin left to sell. And the currency war is another one. Elon has Dogecoin. <laughs> Dogecoin is nothing, man. And on the last quarter, right, uh, Tesla was the only one who beat the earnings top and bottom line, right? This quarter, they missed the revenue. Trust me, that what's going to happen with the Google? It's because Google and uh, Microsoft, they missed the earnings last quarter already, so... Yeah, but you see, it's not about the earning, the revenue miss. You got to look at that EBITDA. That was the major part. EBITDA missed $1.3 billion. $1.3, that's what you need to always check. $1.3 billion they missed compared to last quarter or this quarter. Net income they missed $1 billion. Net income they missed. 
this quarter to previous quarter that is the <laughs> that's what you need to take a look at it and the margin went down six percent is a lot compared to last quarter was 33 percent now is 27 percent gross margin profit which went down which went down six percent what does it mean would this mean if chinese currency goes down against dollar oh hell yeah they're gonna be in big trouble and that's what it looked like china the way china is right now behaving over there is all covered up but japan is not covered is a free free float market so japan is 30 percent down uh, against dollar imagine if the uh, cpi did i mean uh, fed uh, fmc meeting coming in and fed announced another uh, one person maybe a uh, you know three quarter the dollar will jump and dollar will jump what would happen another big loss so every company who's who has a business in out of out of out of america and they are they have to convert their their currency to the dollar they will be losing another five percent two percent ten percent similar number like that that's why I, tesla has 55 percent revenue coming out of different currency not us dollar and then they have to convert then they have to convert into dollar and that's what i said america is in a, in a, you know they want to raise the interest rate because the inflation is nine you know about nine percent so even if you go out close to five percent man what would happen to the dollar dollar gonna fly high if the dollar goes high what would happen to these chinese who are still be still doing qe they're still mm, reducing the the, the 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 central bank rate over there is they're they're, they're reducing not increasing japan is doing since many many years same thing reducing the interest rate so what happens is currency goes down <coughs> their currency goes down against the dollar so they losing big time value and that's what is happening in china china can't even cash out uh, their own check chinese bank and that's why i showed you all the video people are going crazy nuts over there on the street and also starbucks is going to get hit with the same thing Oh yeah, well, absolutely. Starbucks. Oh, <laughs> you are right on it. Starbucks. Exactly right. um, um, I start. I I try to look at the um, you know IV like that has the low IV stocks that has the low IV. You know. Yeah. So, uh, breathe off. You got your. Raise your hands. What's up, man? Good man, how are you? I'm good. I was just, I had my hand raised because I, I was going to ask the question, um, is there anything that I can follow along with? Uh, I just jumped in here because I'm, I'm really interested in, in, in learning how to trade. Uh, is there uh, any um, app or anything that I could pull up and follow along with the trades at the moment? or At the moment? oh boy 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 no the best thing is what i what i would should do is just just you know we i'm always live morning 9 30 market opens up until market close i'm always live here and first you try to you know learn a little bit see how things are put some time behind if you want to give your time to the market market will give you back something but if you don't put a time and you just expect to make money it's not that easy guys if that would have been easy everybody would make money that's why 90 percent people lose money in stock market because they need to put some money behind you know uh, educating your themselves so first what i would say i tell everybody please 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 put money toward education first you know rather than putting money towards the buying stocks because that is dangerous guys but yeah absolutely come come back tomorrow we are always live here or listen to us what we we speak and slowly slowly capture what we talk absolutely uh so far uh, it, like you said i, I want to just gather as much information i'll be here and uh, taking copious notes, if you will, and uh, and, and like you said, um, uh, mm -hmm. reading is the uh, is the remedy for a, a, a poverty mindset, if you will. So, uh, and, and, uh, mm -hmm. so uh, like I said, I'll be reading, writing, and, mm -hmm. uh, and things like that. All right. No problem. Thank you. Uh, fair balance it. I I uh, the, I mentioned it, uh, two days ago Monday, and I showed you guys that the market um, uh, fair supposed to do QT. They did not do QT. They did QE. And last quarter, they you know if you take a look at the monthly, they did um, only overall. They did only eleven billion dollar. Eleven this billion dollar. They, they tightened this week. If you saw what I, I just posted. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, yeah, but that's that's. 
correct. So it's not only 11 billion. They're supposed to do 47.5 right, billion a month. Way behind. Yeah, way behind. So basically, just to let other people know, because I did show them on the la, you know, that last time that they did. Um, mm, Fair balance sheet right here. I can show you, so you can see on your screens, everybody. Okay, right there, and that's the. Let me bring it to closer. Yeah, let me. Right here. So if you can see numbers, I'm gonna show you real quick number. Alrighty. So May, June, June eight was 8.9 June 8.9 and now 8.8 so <laughs> this is July 20 right here today July 20 8.8 .8, which is almost 8.9 8.9 July 20 and July June let me look at the June so June 1st man they didn't do anything look at that if it, if you compare with the June 1st it's 8.9 right 8.9 trillion their balance sheet and right now is 8.8.89 which is only 1 billion 1 billion and this is how they are controlling their yield so this 11 billion yeah so yeah uh, no 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 hold on no, yeah know. 89 yeah right 89 and then to 9 is 11 billion correct 8.9 you right yeah sorry my, my, my calculation wrong Right there, yeah, June first, yeah. June first, right here, eight point nine. Yep, that's the trillion actually. You're right. So ten billion. Yeah, right. So ten billion only they did. They're supposed to do. They're supposed to do. So let me count from the Ju June June first actually. Let me count June first, June first. Yep, June first. So it's almost now two months, guys. And they did not do Q QT. They did Q pretty much QE all around two months and only yeah. only did 11 billion QT which is comes out around 5 billion a month they supposed to do 47.5 billion QT every month right that comes supposed to be 90 almost 90 billion right and they did opposite almost 95 billion but they did only 10 11 billion QT that's how they control guys this is how they're controlling their yield and that's what i was already talking about right here if we take a look at it if they, josh if they go this slow it's going to take them 10 years to get rid of this not 10 years 100 years literally you're not kidding i'm not kidding no you calculate like like look you, you and remember it it's like it's that's a bad thing because the longer they're tightening right the tougher that inv the investing environment is right even if it's only this little it's still the opposite of easing right so this is what I think, you know, first thing you, they're supposed to do you is the QT and then they're supposed to raise the interest rate. If you raise the interest rate, you are Thank paying you. more. <laughs> I've been trying to say this, like, I'm like, are they insane? They're literally charging themselves more. You got it. So if, if they get, if they bring the interest rate to 2%, they'll be paying another $3 trillion from their pocket on interest just to, just to 2%. They'll be paying, they'll be spending three, their debt will rise $3 trillion more. <laughs> uh, yeah, I said this, uh, you know. This yeah, like our the um the balance, the Fed balance sheet alone, right? Mm -hmm. The um if if they get rates up to three and a half percent, like they're aiming for, mm -hmm. right? Yes. The debt service on the balance sheet alone would be thirty percent of GDP. Yep. that's why i think something going to break but i don't know how how, how they can they're, they're right now manipulating that's why they their goal is this their goal is yield because everybody is you know look this is what brendan happening in the in the market everybody follow the yield right but they do not understand that yield is manipulated guys because they have the all the control they have the backdoor reverse repo market where they go and uh, announce and say hey we're gonna give you 1.5 percent no uh, no lockdown period you can uh, you know you can have excess cash you can park it here so everybody goes there and you know buys those um, um, uh, from the reverse repo uh, bond and that those are collateral right there's just a collateral you give the money to them and then yield will be controlled and that's what the yield is getting control here and that's why they don't want it it's the last four months this is what exactly they've been playing games here to control everybody every institution oh look yield is under control they don't want to even apply their brain what exactly going in behind what is the math 
what how they are doing what they are doing they nobody wants to look into it, nobody want to expose anything they just want to look yield uh, look yield is controlled we are all safe and look at the the dollar is gaining ground so our bond market is safe this is how they are people are looking at and that's what they want it they want you to look they want you to feel but the reality is not because look at they are still they are not do, doing qt that's the reason this is being controlled start doing qt and show me this yield let the yield f uh, freely fly then i would believe so that's the game they can they can yeah, pull the others reverse, not me man repo, repo, just by like the way the reverse repo works right that that's they're going to have an impact bringing up the back end of the curve right the 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 um the long end of the curve and selling the short end of the curve right so they're sort of like they're it, it indirectly manipulating right that curve beyond yeah. just their the additional fed funds rate rate hikes that they have right but the reverse repo itself does change the long end of that curve. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, um, but bottom line is, you know, they they do not want the inverse the curve to be inverse, and that's why they that's what a whole worldwide all the big 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 bank big institutions are focusing, big institution focusing, and that's what is they're looking at it, and they look at the market, they look at everything, they look at everything is okay, and they think okay, or everybody's safe, but that's not the reality is. So something going to break some point of time. I don't know how how long they're gonna continue, man. This they gotta do QT, man. They have to do QT, and they're not doing it. That's very very bad. And any, any politician, no, no, any politician would not love QT. QT is just like how you inflated the economy. You have to deflate the economy, and we have a bigger problem than the QT because of the inflation. Inflation is the biggest enemy right now oh inflation will cripple you you know what i mean yeah it's way better to have some tight financial markets for a few years than mm -hmm. to be overridden with with inflation mm -hmm. yeah man so i don't know i'm right now is they're just trying to you know dress it up the economy and look at market going up and up and up and that's why i said let it go man but i can see exactly what exactly happened look at tesla tesla lost billion dollar this this quarter more than billion dollar they lost but they don't want to show it to the people all right that's fine you can show dress it up prep it up and guess what at some point of time things will pop when things will pop you will come to know exactly <laughs> yeah i mean you know yeah you, uh, you you can cover it up how long <laughs> you can you know you know you know this is what i would say you can lie once and you can hide again one if time second time third. all so well right like they claim uh -huh. why do they need that extra 900 million in, uh, in cash so badly from that bitcoin right mm -hmm. exactly like they literally said that they were selling it for the purpose of shoring up their their books right going into um a potential slowing uh growth cycle right like a recession i mean if you literally had it was it was bad enough that you had to sell your part of some of your assets to generate cash right like mm -hmm. off of a after a record half first half of the year yeah something's odd there but you know it doesn't take a rocket scientist to understand what you just said brendan so i'm trying to figure out why the heck people went cray cray buying it up today i, I didn't get i really I just don't I'm understand seriously that. i'm mind blown no but i was talking to my father about this today i i, I can't i don't know all right, all right so i got the answer for that and i i and there are two things and i give you one reason you get a one stone you can get two job done this is what they are doing okay so one thing is all all the target audience i don't want to say dummies audience but all the target audience they're gonna be trapped right that's how they're going to attract because that's the honeycomb so everybody think oh earning is beautiful look at that and stock is going up and nice and thing and let me go and buy right this is how they attract all the institutions and and whichever whomsoever wants he wants to be along on tesla and because there are a lot of people who like to be along i was listening to spaces yesterday and i thought man everybody was like you know for, you know look like that a christmas brutal right yeah that, what, what, with ross gerber i mean they no. could not be more more Tesla maxis. No, he's always he, <laughs> he's Kevin. Uh, I, I don't know mention few names, but there's a lot of spaces on Twitter. Also, they were everybody was celebrating like Tesla, like Tesla earning. Tesla oh, it was like a fire. You know, people want to enjoy like it like look like a oh, wow party. Okay, I said you know, but they don't want to. Uh, for me, I need I need to you know I took a little time to analyze uh, once I once I get the balance sheet in my hand and then I looked at it. But 
what my point is to answer the TQ about about see exactly what happened. So what market maker is doing is okay. Let the let 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 set up the trap. So what set trap is if they buy if they also buy market maker also buy because they also need to now the second quarter is over third quarter is started they need to create their balance they need to have the Tesla stock in their balance in order to short or they have to create a leverage and in leverage is limited you got to buy then you don't want to buy buy in the middle of middle of action when you are really really shorting so there is this they, they thought to let's let's go and buy and set up a trap and then they're gonna dump it and that's what they, they will be doing you're probably not even wrong because there's just like we said earlier there's just no like there's not enough sellers to counteract the buying so even when it's just the buying of like like uh, positioning from market makers right that's going to run up the, the, the stock more than it used to, right? Because you just don't have the other side, the sellers, right, to, to counteract that. Hey, hey, hey Brendan, is, is, it, is it people buying the stock or actually people buying the options because Tesla's the number one options play, it's right? The, it's mostly the options it's and the as a result, when, yeah, when, when someone buys the, an option, right, a, an in-the-money call, right, for every, hundred, for every one option, but the, no, the market maker has to buy 50 shares of the underlying, right? That's the rea that reaction that the market maker needs to take to stay out the hedge is what causes the upward pressure. Mm. Which is what happened in 2020 and 2021 with Correct. Tesla. Because you had just tons of people. That's why that's why things like implied volatility are more important now than they, they probably ever will be. And it's probably going to be that way going forward. Um, so, yeah. Right, the, the, right. The, I mean, like, look, right. their weeklies are, have more volume than their monthlies do, right? each week right like, like that that should be clear that there's going to be a lot of near term right delta hedging by the market maker that's going to be causing movement in, in one direction or the other yep 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 well i don't know i mean um jeff what is your experience death or death course what 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 did you take a look at the earning of tesla what is your opinion on earnings what other people are talking I mean, I thought it. I, I thought it looked pretty weak, honestly. I don't think that we're gonna start to. I think we're starting to see things trend down. We haven't. We haven't seen like the major acceleration that I think we're gonna see in Q3. Um, you know, it, it looked like, <clears throat> based on actually just some of the stuff that Brandon posted, that most of their money. I mean, it reminds me of Amazon back. I think it was Q4 earnings um, of last year, where most of their most of their revenue came from or most of their earnings came from the sale i think of rivian mm -hmm. it's the same way here like they sold a shitload of it, it, came at, it came as a markup right they marked up the value of their rivian holdings um, mm -hmm. last year when, yep. when rivian went public right their equity was worth like 20 billion dollars mm -hmm. or something right right yeah right. yep and i um, that was my that was my thesis for why i thought they were going to miss first quarter right was the the um impairments from rivian yeah, it was seven and, billion, um, it, and it was worse than just that, right? It's it was the slowing consumer. I think that's going to be yep. a, a story. Going to get that's going to get worse and worse here. I think. I, I, I think. I mean, as far as far as Tesla's concerned, I mean, you just get you get some of that momentum, and you get people panic buying Tesla again. We're we're that's hearing good. the the like shrinking demand in digital ad spend, right, and the, the shrinking um budget, but when they actually come in, right, in in a weekend environment. And, and they're spending less, and these companies realize how much less that actually was. I see a bad Q3 print for most of these social media companies right, that are exposed yeah. to digital ads. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Mm -hmm. And and so, um, you know, and I I'm not sure once that it's that bad, they're gonna show they're gonna show any guide for Q4. So Snap didn't guide for Snap didn't even guide for Q3. Right. Yep. So. I, I think Joseph was on here the other day and we were talking about ad spend. I'm like, dude, it's going to get brutal. I'm telling you, it's it's a problem. Um, ad spend is where is where companies cut first, and you saw that with Snap. It, I think it's going to I think that's going to be the theme going forward yeah, because yeah. honestly, good. I was just saying, like uh, before you came in, um, anecdotally, like my sister work, works for TikTok, and she, me and her spoke today about literally the fact that they're doing entirely, you know, I mean, organizational changes because next quarter the budgets for next quarter digital ad spend are so so drastically different than this quarter like significantly who, who does work for tiktok 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 yeah so i mean i digital billboards in vegas let me know <laughs> I'll, I'll put tiktok on, on some billboards 
You get yourself, Jeff. You got to start making yourself some videos, boy. Get them on there. Yeah. I, I do have starring so, uh, yourself. Uh, what's that? Starring yourself. <clears throat> uh. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I'm not honestly. I'm not super focused on Tesla. I'm more. I'm more focused. I, I think. I think. I'm more focused on what's going to go on with ad spend. The thing about ad spend is it makes up such a huge percentage of the mega caps revenues, which really yep. makes up such a huge percentage of like our revenues as a as a country. Which, frankly, yeah, is very very sad. Like, I think about it like this: it's such a huge component of the the multiple, right? That these companies trade on, right? That multiple is built on either a price for some of them price to sales, the others right price or uh, uh, PE, right? Well, your price to earnings, right, is is directly impacted by the revenue, right? Costs don't yes. matter, right? Whether or not you profited more in the ad space, right, wasn't really relevant there, right? Because the costs are so minimal to begin with, right? There's not no capex for it, but when yeah, revenue it, start to shrink, it becomes it, it, a big it, problem. Yeah, they can scale like huge, so it doesn't matter. Exactly. I need a shitload of people to do that. That's that's going to be a problem going forward. Is like this is going to scale. Ads have never shrunk, right? We have we've never seen declining growth and and into. Um, um, negative, right? Um, ad spend, right? Quarter over quarter, year over year, month over month, right? Whatever you want, whatever you want to call it, we've never seen sustained, right? As a as a, a theme, that companies are going to cut digital ad spend year year over year, right? We've seen quarter over quarter, of course, right? They spent last and last less than last quarter, but year over year, these companies' budgets, right, plan for an always increasing digital ad spend budget, right, and a more efficient one. To now pull it back is. It's so intertwined with every company, right? It's all the companies that all the companies that are spending. Yes, they're cutting back, but it's every single company, right? That's generating yep. revenue in some way, in, in me, that, that's not consumer discretionary, right? They are making the, almost all of that revenue, right? Which is building in that forward multiple of, of revenue growth, right? If that revenue growth pulls back, count an extra, like you know, quarter maybe of these earnings that are going to need to be revised. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I mean, <clears throat> so, you know, my, I have a bunch of risk guys or I have like, I follow, I follow like the, the hedge eye guys. Right. And, you know, they're projecting that we're going to have this low growth and this slow and growth environment for multiple quarters. Like it's not just going to be, yeah. oh, Q3 is the worst. You know, oh, yeah. A lot of people are saying, oh, it'll, this, this will bottom out in Q3. I'm like, uh, are you fucking sure? <laughs> like, all these, all these, all these go ahead. Take money for three years. Yeah, I mean, all these all these folks, I think, that are projecting, hey, uh, you know, we're going to bottom out in the summer, and then, you know, we'll, we'll start to recover beginning next year. I'm like, I don't have any data to base that on. Like, yeah. I, maybe they're basing it off of, like, technicals on charts. I'm like, that that's, I don't think the technicals on charts are always the most helpful. Mm -hmm. When you see what the growth outlook looks like, and people front run, oh, well, the Fed's going to start to cut in, yeah. in 2023. It's like, Bullshit. do you know why that is? <laughs> Yeah, they like might just pause, but they might just they... pause. Even if they cut, like why? Why are they cutting? Why are they cutting? You're gonna see it, right? There's gonna be a reason they cut. There's mm -hmm. gonna be a reason they pivot. So it's not. There's gonna have to be something that materially shows up. And I think and if I could be really surprised. Pivot, what we're gonna see first is whatever caused them to need to pivot. That 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 right. Hurt, that hurt these companies way more than the pivot helps. Right, like a recession, oh, a or like, right, whatever the downside that leads to a pivot is, is so much worse than if they just did, didn't have to pivot at all, and you didn't have to go through whatever that down. That Absolutely down right. Was. Yeah, which is why, which is why I'm like, look, if the Fed pivots, like, like don't don't front run the Fed pivot because there's a, there's a, there's going to be a reason why that happens. You have to price yeah, that reason's got to get priced in. Hundred percent agree with you on that, and se like even more so though. Don't I wouldn't I wouldn't try to front run it because. My opinion is, if they do, like, have to ease in some way eventually, right, they, in the next two years, the market's going to rally like crazy, but then literally take half, the bottom is going to fall out of it, right? This market is not strong enough at this point, right, to have been forced into an ease, easing again, right, and then rallying on what? On nothing fundamental, right? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I, I'm i interested to, to, to know more on your, on your thoughts about like the dynamics there just because i mean in when we had covid like we had so much we had so much stimulus right and 
the market just never looked back from those COVID lows. I guess you could say that things improved because we got the resolution to, like, we got the vaccines and things started to open up again and growth picked up again. So you're saying that that kind of thing's not going to be, we're not going to have that. No, I don't think we're going to, right, simply as a, as a reduction in rates. A, because right away, the rates won't, won't get below, right? They may start easing again, but it's going to take them time and a good amount of it, right, to actually pull the rates down if, they, if they've hiked so far that they need to stop, right? Secondly, the market, it, it may rally at first, right, on a pull on some sort of easing, right? But that's when something, if we think it's going to break now, it's actually going to break then, right? When they all of a sudden spin it up upside down and now tell everyone to just do nothing but buy and go long, right? Without any guidance as to when does that easing now stop, right? Like, like that's going to be where people just get completely uh, caught off sides, you know what I mean? As it's going to feel like, all right, well, we're back in a bullish market. And you're not in a bullish market. You're easing because they're, you're, the market you're in is so bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you know, Brendan, I would say this, that that had been the case for 14 years post post the GFC, and it still kept rallying. Yeah, hey, you, guys, you guys see tech, you know, Google, and, and obviously the ad guys, but but chips too went down with, with uh, what, what is it? No, because Snapchat. of the Seagate, uh, Jeffrey. No, 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 STX, it's STX, it's yeah. Seagate. Yeah, it's Seagate yeah, earning it's was horrible. What happens if Apple has bad earnings? Oh man, <laughs> there'll be a big blast. 3500 that's what happens <laughs> oh yeah um, right. the problem is like of all go ahead go ahead brandon i think i think google's earnings are going to be so bad yep yeah I agree not here. Earnings, their guidance is going to be what does it yep earning and guidance both guys both they big. literally make 90 percent of their revenue from ad spend the mm -hmm. problem is, is apple doesn't give guidance anymore right no yeah. did <laughs> Of all the companies, of all the tech companies, I gotta tell you, man, I'm I'm the most bearish on Apple. <laughs> and it, oh, it's hundred percent. I think it's just about there's no fucking growth. There's no fucking growth, dude. There's no innovation either. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's, like, that's sorry. That's what I. That's really what I meant. Yeah, absolutely none. Right? They they it, in fact they would prefer the rate of technology growth, like um, evolution, to slow down. Right, whereas Google wants open technology for everyone, that way you can increase the rate at which we develop new technologies, right? And we'll provide them for you. Apple is more like, don't move too fast, keep everything closed, because if ever, right, because the one thing that they have is they have their moat and they have you by the balls, right? They don't want anyone to be able to build and innovate faster than them. They would like to slow that down. That's a really that's a really great way to think about it, man. I just I'm um, that that whole uh uh ceiling with respect to their their innovation i think is you know i think every i think to me that could be like the, a really big long longer term blindsiding risk with apple just because or really for the whole market because it represents such a large market cap and mm -hmm. like it represents basically like this the status of america right like how we're you're not getting and that's why and and this and and I know, like, I'm I'm probably the only SPAC guy in here, but that's one of the reasons I like SPACs so much is because some of these some of these guys, I know they've gotten smoked, and I know it's not time, but some of these dudes are actually they actually are like innovating, right? They they yeah they are doing they're, things they're, that they're nobody in, else has done. So much that like we're talking butterfly for them to receive capital, right? <laughs> they had to literally go public first in order to get capital because you needed strictly 100% speculatives. Yes. That's why. And the other thing too is <clears throat> those companies they're so much smaller, right? So they can scale. It, we we are so okay. So for the group, like, so I'm in. I'm I'm a software engineer, right? And I I under I I can see how things. I can see how we're able to scale That's in technology my nowadays. Edge too. That's my edge too. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> so so and and what I see is that so for instance I I always bring up my neighbor who's like a he's a he's the chief growth officer at like a, a local ad agency here in, in Kansas city. And they have like 25 people, but the shit they can do with 25 people is amazing. And it's all because like the technology scale is so much better now than it ever that's, used to. That's interesting. You say that, um, my favorite, like, um, I guess crossover investor, but like venture and public market investor is Brad Gerstner, altimeter capital. Altimeter is, um, like he, they were just like recently just saying that um he was saying that um i'm trying to remember let me see let me see if i can pull it out 
you saying? Hold on one second. Let me see. What I, I want to see like a bullet up. Okay, can I? I have another comment in the meantime. Yeah. So I'll, I'll give you an example of, of how that matters, right? So that that's just sort of anecdotally looking at my neighbor situation. Right, he's got this business, and like there's <clears throat> like the the things they're doing with twenty five people, other organizations, oh, I remember. like like a thousand or five thousand people are doing, right? So they're able to charge way freaking less, like, and these smaller companies are just offering these services because they're ba- because they're on these like platforms, like. And, and yep. Google Cloud, right? They they don't have to scale people. They just scale right. technology. Therefore, you can you can apply a greater multiple to them, right? So that if they're able Absolutely. to scale that much quicker. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yep. you know, I was trying to, I, think I, re- I remembered what I was going to say. Um, there, he's busy has the same size fund, right? Over the and the same like close to the same performance over the past ten years as Andres and Horowitz. He has thirty employees. Andres and Horowitz has four hundred and fifty. Yep. So here's another example. This is the example I actually love to give the most. So you look at you look at um, like Verizon. Okay, they've got a hundred thousand employees. Min Mobile has a hundred. Who does? Min Mobile has a hundred. Wow! Wow! Yep. Good right. Job. So think about that. So a thousand percent fewer Good job, employees. Ryan. Good job, Ryan. Yeah, a thousand percent fewer employees, and like they're offering that thing way cheaper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think. To me, that's going to be a problem, like longer term. I'm not. I don't really have a, a great like model to show like how that's gonna how that's gonna work. But I when I when I think back about what I see and how so much free now, just really. Like, is, like, I wonder how much support, like support, like maintenance support uh, staff for Verizon and Mint Mobile leverages the other carriers. Um, they are. Uh, they they are. Yep. But I, I mean, it's just that's a flaw, right? They they have. Their business provides, I mean, has the need, right, for them to actually maintain these, these, um, like the, uh, the actual the, power, yeah, like yeah. The, the, all the, those, um, cell phone towers, but, and, and fiber optic cables. But if you think about it, right, that's similarly to saying you're an on premise, right, uh, you're an on premise, um, uh, data center, right, versus the cloud, right? You move to the cloud that way you didn't have to maintain anything anymore, right? You could scale as quickly as you need to, right? Scale up down and, and efficiently, right? With with a Verizon like business over Mint Mobile, right? You're you're taking the on premise, um, you know, legacy businesses space there, whereas Mint Mobile is taking the cloud space. That's uh, basically right. Yeah, they're 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 taking a more cloud, uh, uh in a more analogous cloud model than the right. They're than the existing, you know, right, like uh infrastructure that that's there right to scale instead of having to in, in, implement their own yeah i mean what i see absolutely like what i what i see just in industry now is there's there is so much free and open source technology out there that if, if i'm a startup dude this is it's amazing land, right this is candy land like you just like you just get your infrastructure and then there are so many free and open source solutions out there you don't even need your own infrastructure you just like use one of these like quick like instant deployment tools you know what i mean like and you're you're basically spin up a staff in in a minute that's right yeah i I mean if you want to have if you want to have all the niceties of the like the the cloud platforms i think that that's kind of a must at this point but i mean there's just there's so much that's like when i think about like the old industrial companies like your your ibms um honeywells and all that stuff like these are giant organizations that have shitloads of people at them and like there's just like some of these places have thousands of people in hr right they're so inefficient they have four right. guys doing the same things that they don't need two guys to do right and now you have companies like a light comes along and they're like well we'll just be your your hr we'll just you'll just have like cloud sourced hr and so you look at that yep. and you're like and cloud, so, cloud calling centers yeah it's it, exactly it's all that it's it's that whole it's that whole like service-based thing and now like i think it's going to be like, i mean it's going to be good for some of these companies that can that can grow that that can meet that that market but it'll be bad for a lot more people that are going to be like not employed essentially and it's it's just i don't know this is just one of my thesis uh, theses yeah, behind I mean, why i like these smaller companies better even though like they're go ahead it allows you to outsource right those like support roles or those like um customer support or or call centers to like india right you and, fucking, and you have any exactly people and everything that's exactly what my neighbor does is like they don't like internally like they they just they're really good at 
like ma like making new relationships with customers and then bolting in the technologies from all these other places that let them get their job done and like that's like a like a monthly service fee so is this is how that cross this is how it works it's not about technology what you have it's, it's all about like a, you know you need a platform if you want to be as you know if you want to be a big giant big company and okay. stuff like that you got to go through the uh, big platform and big platform you got to go through the ipo the spec was the shortcut to go to the mar in, into the market but the problem is the underwriter don't make money bank don't make any money on it so that's why they were it's like a new baby uh, born and you you know they they want to bring it down to the you want to be mature the market maker want all these small small company to be mature like spending five years ten years in the market and then they allow you to groom in in this yeah, in this market. Want their cut and yeah you got it that's how it started first thing is start with the underwriter underwriter want their cut and say hey we're gonna we're gonna, we, we, we're gonna support you yeah, we're gonna do these, 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 sponsors these. And these pipes are mm. getting paid yep you're they, right they are they are. Listen, I, I'm not. I'm not an advocate for like that. That everything that went on with SPACs was great. What I what I'm saying is that we're talking about like some. It's it's like it's like the the like a really good opportunity in small and small small caps. Mm -hmm. If you can find ones that are going to survive, because like in the future, like I mean, look at. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure how everybody feels about talent here, but I. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Think about it like torque, right? The more the high, the more hyper growth, right, and scalable the company is, right, the be the more the better use they're the better they're putting to use your invested dollar, right. They're gonna scale that dollar of yours that much faster and that much greater, right, than a company that has slow growth that can't scale efficiently. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and that's why, like, I I think you're seeing it with IBM. I mean, that's why IBM has been so weak in this quarter was no was no surprise. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're some of these some of these companies are valued way too high. They've come down insanely. They're probably going to go down more, but I I just think it might mean problems for some bigger players. I have a buddy who works for IBM, and he said he eighty five percent of the people that walk by uh, like he walks by every day, he couldn't tell you a single thing that they do in a day. Mm -hmm. Yep, and, I, and there is there is some cases like where you know there's a there's a regulatory reason behind the companies, right? So if I worked at so I used to work at Lockheed, and there was a lot of people there to make sure that we met lots of regulatory requirements and bureaucracy. Like, it, 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 but it takes, but it takes a lot to get there, right? You have, you need a lot of people to deal with all that. And it's not just, it's not just corporate bureaucracy. It's also like federal bureaucracy. And there's good reasons for that, right? Like we have, say we have, we have a military that's got like super safe technology and everything. There, there are things that go wrong. Yeah. But there's a lot of safeguards, but there's some reasons yeah. for that totally right i think of it more in like in the companies like a software company right um and then like okay so the software company right by by nature is able to scale right effectively and efficiently where where they make the mistake in my opinion is when they over right, right when they try to overcompensate right for the lack of capex needed by increasing the, the amount of employees they have assuming that more employees means we can grow faster to me it means they're becoming less and less performant yeah, I think there are some cases where it, is, it does make sense to get more people on board. You know, like for instance, like the place I'm at right now, we're kind of strapped from like a system engineering perspective. Like we have like one system engineer guy, and like yeah, automation can help and everything, but there's just there's a lot for just one person to do. So no, well, certainly, I, I, I'm more speaking like the ancillary positions, like um, product marketing managers, and you have twelve, of them, right? It's like I, I I get it, but at some level, like when you have Zuckerberg coming out and saying. He's the CEO of the company. He's saying he even he believes that, right? That they have way too many, and un, they have an unnecessary amount of engineers that he's not even sure what the hell they do. That's what he said, right? Like, you, you got to think that these guys at some point, right? In order to to keep the growth rate they have, and and in order to keep right scaling as a company, they just peg in a certain amount of fixed hires, right, to grow by a certain percent every year. And I just think that they hit a point where each incremental hire is actually detracting from you right you you hit that it point is where yeah. yeah it's like the it, that's the brendan you obviously know about the mythical man month right i'm sure that josh has yes right so that's that's the principle it's just like you know we're behind we need people and you know instead of just pushing things out a little more they try to meet shareholder and customer expectations by people um Sometimes it, it does help. It really just helps it though if you have all, you have you have to have a lot of people. You have to have the 
people that have some pretty targeted sales to get there. And oftentimes that's met by subcontractors and stuff like that to help you get like a leg up or whatever. And, and it's not bad if you if you scale up hiring that like that, even in you, that way. As long as you remain as efficient or if not more efficient, right? By increasing the size of your company, right? You can't like completely become disparate and it makes you less efficient and effective, right? You're, if you want to scale these teams, just make sure you do so in a way, right? That, that you're, like I said, you're keeping in mind each additional incremental hire, right? You're providing incremental value. Right, yeah. Yeah, sometimes companies lose track, lose track of that stuff for sure. And the bigger companies often are the ones lose track of it the easiest. It's one of the reasons I like being in my 200 person company now, because we, like, we can kind of see that. You know, when you're when you're a giant twenty thousand person company like my last place, it was like and, and also you know, you were you were a contractor for like hospitals and the government. You can really easily lose track of, you know, where your value is being or how your how your value is, is being realized. So hundred percent. Yeah. Um so anyway, I'm not sure how we got here, but <laughs> I was oh I was Apple. Um yeah. I'm I, sometimes I, you know, I'm sitting here talking to you guys right now and I'm thinking to myself, like, we have a systemic risk that Apple isn't innovating. Like, maybe. <laughs> Seriously, like, they're that big in the market where it's like, that's systemic risk. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that. that's, when when you have, like, your, your like, largest, most renowned growth company trying to become rent center for electronics, that's a fucking problem. Mm-hmm. And it's not going to get realized, like, you know, this this quarter or whatever. But at some point, people are going to start asking, like, I'm, actually, it's astonishing to me that no one's asking that question already. But nobody cares because you know, all the passages. So you know, you know it's usually a problem, right? Usually it's a problem when you've gotten to a point of scale where if you wanted to buy a business in any industry, right, no matter who you acquire, it's probably going to get blocked in antitrust. Yeah. Probably a little too big. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a whole other thing. How we how we're in this like kind of shit mess situation we got going on. But what what's gonna happen? Like, do we eventually just like have all these companies like five trillion? Then eventually the market cap's gonna be ten trillion, right? Like, do they just like it'll be like uh, yeah, it'll be like what's that called? Um, It'll it'll be like uh, Blade Runner or whatever. Or uh, there's there's all these sci-fi all these sci-fi movies that basically go on that premise. There's just like all just giant corporations. Like that's yeah, it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you mean, right? Like the like the prototypical like um like big brother corporation. Yeah, it's just a giant oligarchy. I just I wonder like Lena Khan was supposed to come in here and like bust some balls and I have not seen that. Gensler, I think, is the biggest MP suit I've ever seen as the chairman of the SEC. But like I, I thought that there was gonna be more of that. I mean, I mean he is letting Nancy he is letting Nancy Pelosi and her husband walk all over him. Like, it, he, might, he might as well make his face a, 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 like a, a doormat. He might as well not even show up to the fucking office, literally, ever. I bet, but I bet he doesn't. All the Elon shit and, like, and and this Pelosi thing, it's like, is this dude seriously out to lunch, out to lunch that much? Like, is this really going on? But they don't seem to care. And then we wonder why all the, we have all these guys, like, conspiracy guys that talk about, you know, like, like aces and everybody talking about the whole Davos thing. Well, that's why. <laughs> I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but um, poor point. leadership. Poor leadership is what leads to that. Uh, just no consequences, man. <laughs> man, exactly somebody right. put and, like somebody put like you know what, two hundred thousand on the SPX before that drop. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Somebody, there was there was uh, seven hundred and fifty-two dark full trades today on Tesla. At a billion and a half dollars, or a little over a billion dollars worth of dark uh, prints. The next highest was 83 to their 752 in terms of uh, total trades in dark pool. That's massively different. And also, the spy man, like, is this a two, $2.3 billion after our dark pool? So we'll see. And also, the STX, I was uh, looking at the STX options activity, and somebody, like, uh, sweeped the whole, like, $80 put. Big time, man. Just a one person. Oh, wow. Somebody put a, like, $7.8 million on spy put after hours. After hours, $7 million. And then another another put also, he bought, another another guy bought a 
um, almost another $7 million spy put. I don't really mean, look at the idea of too. So I bought a whole bunch of IBM IDW, IDW spy tomorrow once I saw the snap and it's go. Mm, IWM. Yep. Man, look at this. This is all after hours happened. These are the big numbers, okay? This is big buy. And he paid up above asking price. He did not just, he just wanted to get it in one shot. Yep. Above asking price. Hmm. All right. So tomorrow, Friday, option expiry day. <laughs> 1,100 orders in the dark pool, right, on Tesla. 2.09 billion um, in um, total volume, right? The SPY and the Qs, right, had 19 orders in dark pool and 25 orders, respectively, neither of which broke the $2 billion mark. Tesla is back by itself in $2 billion, right? Is that, that's what I meant. Like, I think that's I think it's what you meant, too, right? By, like, some of these guys are so big, they control the market. They did more. They had, to, they had to book more orders in the dark pool on Tesla than they did on the Qs or SPY. In yeah, they're just they, they, not, it? like the the whole market is now controlled. Like the momentum is all controlled by how they're coming in. Like I, that, everybody wants beta. I wouldn't be surprised if like Tesla drops another ten percent tomorrow. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. I want. I want. I want uncorrelated, uh, con like I want unco uncorrelated convexity. Mm. You guys think tomorrow is going to be a green day or a red day based on these earnings that are coming out? <laughs> this is very scary. Looks like right. Uh, it looks pretty scary to me, but. I don't know. I think the, uh, you know. If you get stabbed and gutted, what color is it usually? I, I would think red. I, My timing has not been great in the last, like, couple of weeks, but I'm just trying to find some other metrics to look at so I don't screw up as much. <laughs> yeah, what I think is these, they, you know, market maker, they are in our agenda right now. They are heading into the, you know, they have a destination. That destination is to pay, fulfill their there or whatever the requirements short covering that's what they are heading right now and i feel it that same way right now they they want to finish it up once they finish it up they're gonna they're gonna start shorting and that's what they are heading so maybe since this is the perfect environment for them right now where everybody is bearish and today look like a snap earning came out and everybody look like bearish on google these that that right so for them is is best best to cover best time to cover it up and to buy it at the bottom and then everybody, you know, will be on a side and they're going to dump it later stage. But look like still, I feel, though tomorrow is option expiry and probably, you know, can be different game can be played. Uh, but the way I feel like, you know, market maker is for them is right now the best environment set up for them to buy it at the at, at real quick finish it up. Just like, you know, if you look at the chart last time spy and I, I show you same thing they did here too. First quarter, they did the exact same first quarter short 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 and then uh, fmc me uh, meetings and then 12 constant days keep buying keep buying keep buying and they took the market up 11 percent if you rec if you recall that same system this time 27 per 7 percent market down and they took it up right now so far 11 percent so so far they, they took it up 10 percent 11 percent so we are right there we are not that far I'm just trying to apply the thesis, but I don't want to go in. I don't. I, I don't want to be part of the things. That's why I'm always. I, I prefer to be trading intraday, not to hold anything overnight and do any crazy things because market maker man, they are right now. You know, in a in a mission, and I, I I don't know their mission what it is, but it looks like they are they are doing what something. This is what I feel. Look for right in front of our eyes. I understand. I understand. I'm just asking. For we have a gap to fill. That's what I see right now here. So they have a gap to fill. That's why I'm not bearish right now. Maybe tomorrow they can be, but some point of time they, they need to fill up the gap tomorrow. That one gap, gap, yeah, for one gap. 401, 401 spy. Daily daily gap, you can take a look at it, 401. <laughs> so we did not feel today. I thought market gonna feel, they, we thought they're gonna fill it up yesterday. They did not do yesterday. They did not do today. They did half today, you know? So that's the game going on right now. So slowly, slowly they're filling up. 
you can see on my screens that there that's the gap the gap need to be filled yeah but yeah I, I i don't prefer to go behind um, you know what what exactly it is you know I, I, I would prefer intraday but we have major resistance coming from all the way to the second quarter started from march that's right there and that's where we have 401 dollar 400 dollar resistance well, let's see but remember guys look at the netflix look at all the big big stock they like they are heavily shorted from from long long if you look at the short and flx right so if they've been shorting those kind of stock look at the one time carpet rug pulled out second time rug pulled out now they got to buy back so some point of time they got to fill it up at the bottom right that's what they're doing look at today netflix was flying high all these basura stocks everything was going up but they need to there's no option my risk guys have a have a downside target of s p in the 3700s mm -hmm. and i think that that's with our with our with our current range of the vix if the vix goes higher than that like if we get vix if we get a vix 35 we're gonna see like easily 3600 so whoa, 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 whoa. vix is right now 23. i know i know i <clears throat> I don't. I don't know a time frame. Okay. The 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 measure the metrics that they look at shows that oh, if the okay. that if the VIX that with the current VIX model, which if I think it goes if it goes up to if I'm reading it right, if the VIX goes to 29, we're looking at like the 27 or the sorry the 37 30s on the SPX. But that's just if the VIX goes there. If the VIX goes higher. Mm -hmm. then that range for the s p is going to go lower which means that you could see you could see easily an s p in the 3600s again i i, I mm -hmm. i'm almost like upset about this because <laughs> i want more opportunities to go short mm -hmm. um <clears throat> and it's going to get harder as we go like if we hit 3500 mm -hmm. like my next call is like this is 3550 mm -hmm. um but if we go to 3550 and then we're gonna we're gonna rally back somewhere right but at some point i, I guess it depends on how how long it takes to to, met, to let this thing play out so i mean you get a lot of people talking about yeah. go ahead Brandon. i don't think it's a price level i think it's a matter of time right there's just we have there's too many things that need to happen and there's too many months worth of hikes right there's, there's, it's just a matter of amount of time it needs to go on but i feel like is the reason you're seeing some of these rallies like this little rally right is the oversold but nobody is ready to buy yet because they understand that it's too much time for things to happen between now and december yeah and and i would say like if if we have that if we have if we get a vix in in the mid 36s and we we hit a 35 handle on the s p anybody that thinks that we're going to bottom at 3400 i think is crazy because if that if that happens within the next month, like okay, it's August, and the shit's gonna get a lot realer between now, be between then and the end of whatever the Fed is doing. So that's why when I hear people talk about they have a thirty six hundred target in the S and P, I'm like, mm -hmm. dude, like, what? How? I'm I'm not sure how they arrive at those numbers, mm -hmm. given the extent to which the Fed is gonna continue to tighten, and given the extent to which growth is slowing like i just i see much lower i just i see much lower numbers for the s p hell and yeah the way longer, things are like coming out longer right if it goes longer if it goes to, to if it goes to december are we really sitting here so i mean that's like six months away right are we really going to sit here and talk five six months away are we really going to talk about like s p just going to 36 35 3600 like no I, but I don't think so. so okay okay hold on so that cause let me let me explain you what i think you know do you remember jerome powell what he said is he said that i want the soft we are we we want soft landing so what does it mean soft landing is they want to dribble the ball they don't want to and they don't want anything to break they don't want anything to break so the so politician get get offended and stuff like that that's why their worry is so how do how they are managing so when you talk about the weeks when you look at the chart weeks look at the weeks the way the weeks is moving i feel like they want to dribble things they don't want to break the weeks to all the way up high the moment weeks touches to 35 immediately it, the weeks going down slowly so they are controlling the weeks they are controlling the yield 
if you look at that's what i'm trying to tell you guys they are really controlling wherever they have a control over and where bigger in you know the wix is the most important part the yield is most important part dollar is most important part gold is most important part the, uh, the dixie is most important part. so they know where where what people are looking and based on that they are controlling and based on that they're managing so i do not think they're gonna they're gonna break anything you know they want to they don't want to do any flush to, uh, toilet flush they do not want anything like that they want to go easy easy you know what i mean they want to they want to have a sniper shooter s sitting on the top and taking tolls on wherever they want to take a tolls and pull the liquidity this is what they are doing and you know taking tolls slowly slowly and then again buying back wherever they shot it and this is what they are actually doing so i do not this is not a regular what we used to do market collapse toilet flush that's what not i don't see right now happening they are targeting it's like a properly driven mission driven uh, things moving the whole mission is moving on a properly driven way and slowly slowly doing it and pe pe most of the people don't understand oh market is bottom out and it's gonna go up and up and up because no knowledge what exactly happening but you and me know that this is all short covering carvana garbage snap garbage all these they were covering <laughs> Right, but, but Josh, it's like, but it's like, it's like short covering into the re it, that leads to retail traders to thinking that that, that there it's bullish and then buying and then there's just no counteracted sell, right? Because it's so oversold. I totally agree. Yeah, same thing. The same thing on Tesla too. Look at the horrible balance sheet, but people don't understand. So all right, is there if they, you know if they want to get slaughtered themselves, then they go 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 get it and get get slaughtered. But that's what's going to happen because they have the money power and that's what the Fed wants. Fed job, Fed job is to control the demand and supply, and that's what they are doing. Their job is right now out of out of their hands, where, which is inflation. Inflation is the only one thing they cannot control. Is that how hard it is? And in order to do that, they need to bring the money power out of it. And they, you know who has the money power? Tesla. Those who bought the Tesla sixty nine dollar when when we were locked down, they have a nine thousand percent profit today's day. Thousand percent profit. That means they have the money power. There are some people who have money power. I want to. I just want to push back on a little bit of this <clears throat> because I, I don't know that the Fed is trying. But the Fed, the Fed doesn't have the tools to be the sniper. The no, Fed. Only Fed, has the, tools, Fed okay, the Fed only has the tools to be uh, carpet bombing, like napalming mm -hmm. shit, right? Mm -hmm. And the way they're doing that is with Q, with QT, and with and with rates. So I, I've been saying that it's like curling the sport, right? You know, you know how like you, you shovel that that disc on the ice, right? And then there's guys on each side that are trying to like, um, like maneuver. The sweepers. It goes down. They're sweeping that sweepers. shit. They're sweeping, right? Trying to land this, that, trying to land rates, right, at a certain spot, right? That's at the very end. But it's not in the Fed's actual control. They can raise just the beginning input, right? The Fed funds rate. Then you're hoping that the market participants, right, the sweepers, are going to actually land and trade and effectively trade, right, the next the, the anywhere from three month. Um, two year or five year the 10 year those all have to trickle down into place but they can only move the fed funds rate right they can't do anything else so they're hoping that the market participants right like receive what they're sending and place it and land it directly in place that's the soft landing right the soft landing is not just up to them no it, it's not and i just especially when you're talking about qt I, I just i don't think that they i don't think anybody's manipulating i Mm -hmm. Listen to Trend Wizzo yesterday. I don't think anybody ha is manipulating the VIX necessarily, based on based on some of his comments. I mean, there are things that try to do. It's just it's just really hard to do that because it's it's such a it's such a big thing to try to move. So, I, and it's just the volatility of the S and P, right, of the spy. Right. Yep. So, I just don't think I just don't think the Fed's got the tools to do all to do all this work. I think. They're losing. I think they're losing the battle with inflation because there's there's components of inflation that they. I, I think the market is looking at things like they're seeing they're seeing commodity prices go down. I think that's one of the reasons for this rally. I mean, they. I mean, there's been short covering for sure, but seeing commodity prices come down, the market goes, "See, like oil's going down, so we beat we beat inflation." But they're not see, but they're not factoring in things like the prices of rents and and wages, because because we haven't had like a, a massive unemployment problem, I don't think we're gonna see inflation come down significantly. The demand is still there, people are still racking up credit card debt. So I don't think we're gonna see this inflation bleed off into the sixes, say by October or whatever. I think we're still gonna be dealing with eights by the time that September, I, by the time September, October it, here. If it does work, it means they absolutely destroyed the demand in the economy that we're probably in a way worse position. 
That's right. That's right. So when we talk about things like, oh, I'm going to front run the fucking the cuts in a year from now, it's like, dude, you really want to do that? Like, do you know what it means for that to happen? And they just, exactly. So it's the downside. Um, hey, so, so, so can, can, can I ask you a question, guys? Uh, so why, besides maybe a short covering rally, because when uh, the ECB raised rates, does that did that help the tech today? ECB is yeah. man. They 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 never did in last last. Um, <laughs> oh, we're, we're just to remember, they did, they did. They're announcing QE and raising. So what happened it was like because they they increased the interest rate. On the that's ECB, good for so us. That's, 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 that's good for us. You don't get strong way, so get right, which is what we need. Right, that's good for us because of this. Eventually, there's a lot of belief that the Fed will have to stop, right, and pause because of the fact that other, right, the other countries, right, around the world, their rates, right, are going to have to be re reactive to ours, right, and they're in worse yeah, positions they, than we are. They have to raise together, correct, Brendan? Right, right, and the fact that we're first, and it's right, or not, not necessarily first, but like they're all going to raise in reaction to what we do because they, right, their currency, right, is is relate is valued in relation to the U.S. dollar. Right, so they have to in order to, to stay balanced to that. But that, so like, if you see a, a, a European country, right, hike rates, that's one. Le that's one less country, right, that we we have that much of a of a spread between in our rates, right? That would have had that would have led us to potentially have to ease up as we get closer to December. Mm -hmm. And talking about tomorrow, you know, I don't know how like the things markets do, but like they they actually try to close around four thousand. So I mean, if we're even somebody shorting, like the big guys also, it's like a decent value from like thirty six hundred to eighteen thirty six sixty thirty six sixty six. It's a decent rally, so we didn't have like a big drop. So yeah, decent three fifty three hundred fifty points four hundred points rally. Yeah, they can they can sell up. It's nothing like that. They can they're, they're, they have to cover right they can start doing that too so what happens on thursday when they announce um some uh, negative g negative growth um for q2 and they announce we're in a recession is that the next catalyst for a sell-off uh, probably the oil so i, I might short some oil oh, no that's going to be the catalyst for us to be that uh, that's one of the reasons i think we're seeing this rally is we're seeing like we're seeing all this bad news this economically bad news come in and people look to the fed they're like you're gonna go right you're, you're gonna do it, right? You're gonna, exactly you're gonna right, do it. Yeah. Bad news is good news for the market. Yeah. Everybody front runs the the bad news, right? Like, oh, Fed's gonna slow down. Fed's gonna pivot. And I gotta, I gotta tell you, and this is gonna, this is gonna be like a little high level and political or whatever. I think, I think that if like we want to fix like a serious amount of problems, like all over the place, mm -hmm. the fucking market's got it. The market's got to match the economy. Mm -hmm. Like, stop doing this thing where we where good news is bad news. Absolutely that, right. That's it, what's it, going on. It's insane. The thought that some people are like, no, he has to worry. Like, like he has to worry about the markets. He can't do that to the markets, right? It's like the idea that like the markets are in some way like too beaten up, right? Right. The S and P is like it's off like eighteen, right? Eighteen percent, right? Okay, from the, from the high. It's also at like thirty twenty, thirty nine twenty, right? Like if we are in as bad and as dire conditions, right, as as it seems in the economy, where we everyone, right, it's just cl it's clear to everyone that we're going into a recession, right? With how many indicators we have, right, that are showing how much tighter the financial um, like conditions are going to be in this country, I can't. It doesn't make sense to me why people believe that, right? The market has is already down to a point where it can't be sold anymore. So, so I got a question for you: How many Fed uh, Federal Reserve uh, what, what do you call them? Uh, well, individuals is. that came, came came out and said that they don't see recession, right? And if we get one one quarter, uh, one more quarter with this coming up of negative GDP that's growth, care. that's no, no, it's that's not one more quarter. They it's can't. On and even it's on Wednesday. And, e <laughs> and, and even and even if they and even if they see those numbers, they're going to point to other metrics. <laughs> so, so it's zero credibility is what you're saying. <laughs> Yes, Jeff. Jeff, dude, you can't like. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I understand. I right? understand that they have like, to. They have to fit the rosy picture. You, but. you, yeah, you run a business, right? 
And so if you're if you run a business, you just can't get out there and like start if you're talking if you're talking to investors, you're talking to the world about the state of your business. And you know you want to gather you want to garner like confidence and not panic anybody. You can't go out there and be like, man, like shit's just really bad right now. And you know, I'm not I, sure Elon. Yeah, you. I I I, guess. I totally get it. But they went from inflation is transitory, so we never fucking got inflation right. To there, yeah. we don't see any re- a recession, right? To okay, now we have two quarters of negative GDP print, which is you know, a definition of a recession. So, you know, how, how much work do these guys technically, look? Technically, it's the definition of a recession, but a recession is not actually, like, we, we're not defined in a recession by that, that print. It's by the, there's a board, right, that just basically makes an announcement after reading that, the GDP print. And it's upon their, it, like, declaration that we're in a recession is the only way we become officially in a recession. So, like, I, I've been hearing a lot of people saying they're going to use, like, a different like barometer, a different um, threshold, right, to actually uh, um, establish that we're in an actual recession, and it's going to be a, 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 a lower number than the 2%, like something more like the 4% declining growth, right, instead of uh, 2%. In, and like in, I guess, sympathy to the fact that we had to print so much, right, there was so much higher inflation than, than ever before, so a recession should be counted in some way differently. Like to me, that makes no sense. Man, last 20 second left market closed, Tesla uh, Tesla puts came in. Last 20 second before market closed, Tesla put <laughs> Tesla puts coming in. Can you believe it? Somebody knows. Is the Tesla the largest, like the largest one order today? No, 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 no. This is, they, they are expiring the tomorrow. order today, right, was 2,400 puts sold on Tesla. Oh, wow. That's the bullish. What a fool. Who was who, who, sitting here like... Yeah, I'd be willing to buy it at twenty four hundred. <laughs> did you say twenty four hundred Tesla? I did. No, but that could be a, that could be a closeout, guys. Remember that every time it closed, it was the, the sale. It was the selling of a put to open. D- okay. It's a sell to open. I'll, but I'll then we need to see the. We, we, yeah. Did you say put? Yeah, selling puts is bullish. Somebody twenty four hundred. But did you see across who who bought it? I need we need to see if somebody bought it or not. That also we need to see. So yeah, I'm gonna go grab. Yeah, we need to see that because that that's that's a bullish uh, scenario. I agree, but we need to see somebody is buying, right? Somebody selling means somebody need to buy. So I need to see that order also on a dark one. I don't. I so far I don't see on a black black box unless um, anywhere else. But I did not see that today. That be water. Yeah. Man, futures like start tanking in five minutes. Jesus. <laughs> futures are tanking. You 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 wake up in the morning. You will see everything will turn around. Yeah, yeah, I know. But still... <laughs> Whatever you see right I now, it turn around. I, I, Yeah, even before market opens up, you will see that. So it could be, yeah, they will play whatever they need to play. Man, this is completely driven. You know, is all they have the perfect mission. They can control everything. We have nothing in our hand. Man, I'm not. I'm not that conspiracy theory driven man. I just think that I think that we have we had structurally people were really really short, and they had to roll the shorts to the next month because we didn't fucking hit. 3500 or 3600 this month and so the the sale the, the sale of those shorts and rolling them over caused a big spike and then that caught that caused and that combined with the shakiness on the 75 or 100 the back the back walk of 100 and the different commodities is causing is causing people to say like see like inflation we beat inflation right jeremy Siegel's getting up there talking about we beat inflation even though it's going to be a fucking eight handle next month and so This is how they get rich, rich faster, man. You know, I think that's how they get rich faster. If they don't have the agenda, they have the agenda, man. They want to make sure we are in opposite other side of the coin, and they are also other side. And this is how they can make make the maximum profit. Just imagine, like right now, today was the close was bullish. Right? They make it uh, make it close out the bullish, and everybody must have jumped in the calls. <laughs> looking at the close. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen to them tomorrow, man. 
when Russia attacked Ukraine, if you recall that day, market opened yes. up 850 point, 900 point negative in the pre-market, yes. right? The moment market opens up, it closes at 900 percent, 9 9 point, 900 point positive. That means 1800, 1800 yes. points move uh, in a opposite direction. Why? Because 100 percent people were bearish at that day, and that's the maximum money they can rake on that day, right? And that's what they did. That's called agenda. That's called conspiracy theory, <laughs> whatever you call it. But yep, yeah, that's what they did at that time. Josh, Ramal's been doing good, bro. You only missed one trade. <laughs> you missed one. Oh, that's your on two. That's good, dude. Yeah. Nice. 75%. Nice, bro. Yeah. Oh, your mind? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, today was kind of alright. It's nothing crazy, man. I was not no, but w one thing I noticed about his trades, uh, let's see, expiry, yeah, your puts aren't as good as your, your calls, <laughs> yeah. calls are easier, right, everybody's usually like, well, man, good job, yeah, mm -hmm. you knew the technicals in the last two weeks, you know, just based on the technicals, just it goes away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so Jeffrey, what's your take on Tesla? My take on Tesla? I just think they're a bunch of fanboys that, that they're pushing it up. I want to short it, but I mean, that's <laughs> the widow maker. But I, I just, <clears throat> I mean, they're going to have problems in Europe with their Germany factory for a long time. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to have problems in China with what's going on in China. Like, I mean, is it just U.S. centric that's going to be buying Teslas? I, 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 don't, I don't know. Tesla, uh, forty-five percent income coming from U.S. Rest, fifty-five percent coming out of U.S. I mean, wasn't wasn't there a quarter in there that I, I think it was China that saved saved the the earnings? Yep. I thought one time. I mean, if I could remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They both kind of. First quarter was of the. So I don't know. It's tough to fight the cold, right? <laughs> yeah. So. You can't fight it. The blind followers. So I've, I've literally been on those faces you were talking about. Mm. And no one was talking about a car company. No one was talking about how many cars they sold for this, you know, this quarter. You're talking, about talking about features. About what, could, what could possibly they get into in the future like robots and ai and <laughs> you know and that's how they're valuing the company with with stuff that doesn't even exist yet and and they're you know so how do, how do you i mean how do you short that when 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 it's like a cold saying you know they're gonna rule the world i guess i don't know yeah yep, yep. that's how they get burned man yep what's going on daniel what you got? Daniel? Maybe he's not ready. I do want to uh, ask anybody's ideas of Didi, you know, with that billion dollar fine that they took. I mean, it, Didi's been super strong. It's over $1.2 billion. What is it? It's over $1.2 billion. Okay, well over 1.2 billion dollars i mean the stock's done nothing but go up that's a that's a show of strength to me mm -hmm. yeah but that because that's the stock being heavily shorted and they know that uh, they have to play exact opposite what the news is because this was that news was not created by the by the market maker that news came out from the china that's the, in the real news so they got to play a, a opposite direction no matter what that's why the DD is up. Look at the Coinbase. Same thing, DD, the Coinbase is up. Coinbase is up despite insider trading and these and that. Because heavily shorted. $400 stock for $40, they need to buy back. <laughs> right. Josh, what time are we starting tomorrow? 9.30. 
Alright, you better you better bring the nimble pony now. Nimble pony, alright man. <laughs> I got a question. Yo, what's up? About uh, Lee, why? Son, can somebody explain why Lee Auto, a Chinese auto company, is so strong coming out of that uh, May, beginning of May? I'm short, uh, Lee Auto. The company uh, is. Oh, 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 Brendan, let him finish. Why is it so strong? It's a terrible company. Lee Auto is a so strong and it's a terrible company. I did. I mean, for me, I'm I I can look at the financials, and that's based on that I can tell you, uh, uh, you know, so that negative EPS. So let me take a look at the, their balance sheet, man. That's what I need. To, I'm more interested in because stock is flying high, because whatever the reason would be. Let, let me look into the chart real. Hey Josh, while you do that, I got two words for everybody: luck and coffee. <laughs> you guys remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I traded a lot. Complete fraud. The are easy. Yeah. Complete fraud, and it just took off. And, and even when they called it a fraud, it, it I think got delisted, went to a buck, and then moved, went from a buck to fifteen dollars. Right yep. when it got delisted. Hey, hey Jeffrey, Carvana might be the biggest fraud in the game. They ran up three thirty last that summer, right? MPW, yeah. fucking MPW is the biggest fraud that I know of right now. Medi is that medical property stress? Yeah. Well, when you talk about we, we talked about that. that. Soprano we, shit, man. Yeah, we did. We did. <laughs> when you're talking about those China plays, you know, that, I mean, that's definitely possible, right? They're just complete frauds, and, and, and people are just running them up. Wow. You know, I, hope they, <laughs> if, if, yeah, I hope they take why. Didi. I hope they take Didi to 15 bucks. I'll be a happy man. All right, so if I take a look at this, um, the, the Lee Auto, and if you take a look at their outstanding shares are almost 1 billion, B as in boy, 1 billion shares outstanding. Any new company comes in, they should have at least 300 million shares, 250 million shares, or maybe 100 million, but not like a one. So based on these, they are, you got this price into two. So I would say around, you are paying $120 on this price. So right now, based on this, their dilution, you're paying $120 right now. Though you look like you're paying 36, but you're not paying, you're not paying, you know, $40. You're paying around $120 on this stock. Why? Because the revenue is 33 billion, but the EBITDA is negative. This big uh, company and they have EBITDA negative. That means they're losing money. If the, any company losing money, how come they have a 1 billion, 1 billion shares outstanding? That's, that's ridiculous. So that's the first uh, red alert right there where the EBITDA is negative and the outstanding shares are way higher, you know, that's what I can take a look at it. And, you know, so if it is negative EBITDA, I'm not gonna go into this company, it doesn't matter, even they give me for $20, I would not buy. $20, I would not pay any, because $20 means you're paying you're paying $60. So right now, $40 means you're paying $120 based on the dilution, because you're sharing this revenue with so many, that's why they're not profitable, because they are they diluted too much. So they are sharing that pie, the revenue with the, that many shareholders. That's why they they keep coming negative. So that's why I that's the red alert right there for me, and that's why the EPS is coming negative. They don't care to be a profitable well, guys. These all but, these big but, big companies. The share, the share price shouldn't have anything to do though with the uh, or any amount of shares shouldn't have anything to do with the profitability. Uh, absolutely, why not? Because the, you have to share because the pie, the profitability. You have to share yeah. with say how how. But that would be you share the profit. Earning per share EPS. How, how you get right, the EPS? Right, right. No, no, the earnings per share it does, but their profitability. I think the results here with Q2 earnings. Do you think that Q3 is gonna? Do you think that the guys are gonna be worse in Q3 after this? Like, my my view <clears throat> is you're seeing like you're seeing an artificially stronger consumer as a result of their their credit card spending, um, and so or their consumer leverage. So, do you think that Q3 could actually let the the reports in Q3 could actually look? Way so, worse than this. so I, I, I want to be very specific. Like I can only speak to my coverage. I, I can't. I mean, I, I can only speak to advertising names. Sure. Like, yeah, that's fine. Internet names. So yeah, that's that's um, great. Just at a, a high level, the way to think about it is that um, if you're a performance marketer, right? You're you're running an advertising budget, which is performance marketing 101 is like, hey, you spend a dollar on Snapchat to target, you know, Josh, who's the host, right? Because Josh likes stock trading and you know you want him to subscribe to your newsletter or buy something and so then you do that and you leverage that and hopefully get two dollars for every dollar that you spend 
And so what that means is that you become very sensitive. Your ad spend becomes very sensitive to demand trends and consumer spend. And now, and then it lags, right? So to the extent that if your thesis, Death Cross, is that demand is going to continue to be weak, the consumer is going to continue to roll over here, um, then the knock-on effects would be continuing softness and potentially outright declines in digital performance marketing, especially if, from an engagement standpoint, that consumer is on the margin spending less time on Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, or they're maybe spending more time on Snap, on, on TikTok, right? So that's typically um, how it all flows through. So yeah, I think, I, to answer your question, I think Q, from my seat, like Q4 was the biggest delta in terms of estimates in my space. Um, we'll see where they go after this, and we'll see how the data trends. Like, then that's just how we roll, you know? Like just... You can have a thesis, track the data, data confirms it, then that's great. If it doesn't, then pivot or figure it out why it's not working and why it's not happening. I got you, man. So what would be the impact uh, on Snap? It's a small company and look at the impact in the market. How do you see now, you know, in coming days or coming weeks? And what impact are we saying? Like, are you talking about future being down? Is that what you're referring no, to? No, no, not only the future, man. Uh, you know, it's all about the revenue because because the earning was horrible. And um, so there are two 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 company. One is the Seagate. Seagate earning was horrible, and the Snap earning was the uh, horrible, horrible. So that's why market impacted big time uh, in after hours. So, but that's the small effect. But what do you think how market will read as the days, as the earning comes closer? Okay, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, let's, let's look at the market weighted on these indices, right? The big boys report next week. Mm -hmm. you know? let's, do that. Let's, see what, let's see what happens with Google. Let's what do you expect? What, 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 is your, what is your perception on, on, on a coming earning for Google and Apple? I'm not, so I, you know, I, so just, I'm going to, I'm going to be a little, I don't want to say rude, but I'm just not, I'm just not, I'm not going to answer that question because, um, I just I have to hold some back, but because um, yeah. we talked about it on the call this morning, and just have to respect our paying subscribers. Like, just I, you know, we I sell subscribe we, we sell subscriptions. Like, I, I, you know, and people hate on us because it says, oh, you don't have skin in the game. Gamer. But it's, it's yeah, yeah. There we go. Thank you. So that's to yeah. So the short answer is, you know, we put our stakes in the ground. I you see. Know, talking about it, and I'm just not gonna go into great detail. Understand, not a problem. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. So what, what is, I mean, uh, I, uh, Death Cross, I did not know, um, yeah, actually, um, Andrew um, did not know. So you basically, you, you guys do full-time subscription for uh, they're trading? They're insane. They're insane, yeah. The Hedgehog guys are, 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 are killing it right now, man. I mean, it's basically pretty. like a, yeah, I mean, the, the view is like a, uh, it's, like a it's, a, it's like a hedge fund, mm -hmm. right? Like, if you could just, like, be part of like a, you know, basically a hedge fund operator. So we have a morning research call. Um, you know, we don't, we can't have actual positions in the names that we read on, but mm -hmm. you know, the, the idea there is that <clears throat> there's actually more conflict if you actually have a position in the name that you write research on than if you don't, right? Because on the one hand, I'm trying to be right because if I suck at what I do, then you can cancel your subscription, right? Versus if I am right and I own a position, like, you know, I still make money on that position, um, or I could be trying to, you know. Got it. There's a lot of there's a lot of um, it could be like you're trying to front run the people that you're telling to buy. Yes, yeah, thank you. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're trying to be very independent, just like no, um, yeah, just no, um, no biases. Yeah, yeah no conflicts. Yeah. yeah, these. these so, so I'm a, I'm a subscriber, and I, uh, I mean, I just I I have a couple of the a couple of subscriptions but they have like institutional clients too so it's not it's not just like a bozo shop well that's that's, that's, yeah, that's, why, that, that's why i was like i can't really like you know like and they follow us on twitter and they pay us a lot of money and so i just you know yeah it's just it's just not fair if someone's paying like 10k he value value what they paid for right okay. yeah. yeah yeah so I, I feel bad because like if i could I, if i could if i could make a living if i could feed my family and give everything i do away for free on twitter and spaces <laughs> More than so, I already do. 
trust me, I would do that in a heartbeat, but it's just uh, it's just not feasible. Oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's like got... asking for it's like asking a market maker for inside information. Right. Yeah, I mean, we've got we've got like slow down situation going on here. You know, my my view is that we're gonna have. My view is that Q3 could potentially look a lot worse than than Q2 because I think that I think that we're being kind of artificially propped up for the moment, and um, you know I just think that uh, you know from from the ad from the ad space right I think that there's I think the ad space represents like such a significant percentage of like the like gross profits across across major U.S. corporations because that's what they do is just sell ads, and so you know. I think I think so far, like they're they're projecting what growth is going to look like, you know, the like especially the you know the major bank companies or whatever. But I think they could I think consumer could slow even more, right? Like if we get if we get some of these GDP grants, right, and then and the <clears throat> the market is cheering like you know shitty GDP and lower and lower CPA, but they're they're not pricing in what's gonna what's gonna happen to their balance sheets. And so I think that they're, I think they're, they're going to get a lot weaker before, before this is all over. And I think, you know, I'm, I'm in line. Like I, I believe, I, I'm a believer. Just not just from listening to. You're, you're living up to your uh, Twitter handle to their death cross. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Like, that's it's right. Super reaper, but yeah, no, I mean, I think that's, it, there's an element of reflexivity, right? It's just the cycle, you know. I mean, also the strong dollar doesn't help. And I know everyone's like, oh. If you look at like what was revenue if you look at it on a constant currency basis right they, you know but then you say it but like that's real money right like if you're a u.s multinational the u.s based multinational with 80 yep. percent of your costs in u.s dollars right and then you know 50 percent of your revenue outside you know and yep. the dollar especially, goes up by 20 percent and you have the fed continuing continuously over the next six months right hiking rates uh yeah. right that means you're not going to have that dollar weaken in that period of time so it's not i don't really think that it yeah i, I agree i don't think looking at a constant currency basis is like a it's, it's, it's real money that it's real money that you do 100%. you do not have to go pay your employees to go hire the next person to go spend an extra dollar on advertising it, it's kind of like to me like when it, like when someone who's trading says like um i'm playing with house money like it's still money right it, it's money you could have that's yours <laughs> So the, um, so the dollar actually going up, guys, we know the Fed rate is hiking, right? But the real reason, the bigger reason behind this thing is the the bond market is most vulnerable due to the uh, CPI print is almost like above 9%. So if the bond and the yield market is already yield is like below the, uh, you know, the Fed rate is below the um, CPI print. So people are losing money. So they have to bring the dollar value up to sustain the bond value. And that's the game going on. So they have to sustain the dollar up in order to attract the uh, bond buyers otherwise what happens is people who are holding the bonds in they're going to sell the bonds and america going to go to the you know down and that's not that's not going to happen that's the reason dollar going to sustain the value and it's going to be continue for 2022 maybe 2023 but at this point to attract the buyer to sustain the buyer i think the dollar will remain strong and, and another bigger bigger political situation where china and russia we to to bring them on their knees that's what they are also doing there so i think once done they're getting two job done that's why dollar hey, will I, remain I, I have to hop thanks for inviting me death cross and um you guys have a great earnings season next week um <laughs> <laughs> all right dirty bird I meant that take care man already. i appreciate you coming up yeah. short everything bye thanks Thank andrew bye-bye <laughs> i love it short that's their everything. that's their position man that's their position the shortest fuck right now. It, it, it would be funny if he was like He's like, you want to know what we want to know what we actually have? Uh, what we said this morning in our call uh, <laughs> to our clients, short everything and just leave. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. That's You're basically talking, like talking about, yeah. talking about Andrew and Hedge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friedman was just in here. Is you KP? Yeah. Hell yeah, KP's in here. Yeah. So yeah, they, they literally came out with a piece this morning, right? And then they're. I think was it their chief investment officer? One of their main people, right, was on Bloomberg. And you know their position. It's not a secret. Yeah, yeah. They Friedman's thing is just like there's there's there is granularity in his analysis that they um, they probably aren't <clears throat> making explicit on Bloomberg. But yeah, like they're short as fuck, and they've been they've been right about it since basically January. So look, 
it, I, I was looking like it, it helps me to have somebody else that I pay like 30 bucks a month for that can just give me like good macro analysis with a whole bunch of data behind it and they've been right so I'll, I'll, I'll give you one right now um, so Brendan and I know him right he used to work for Goldman worked I think for Pacific Capital at one time as well uh, started his own he is a RIA okay uh, Darren Tuttle yeah, yeah. I think actually he's a hedge guy too. I think he's a, well, he's he doesn't work for hedge but he's a subscriber. Uh, I, I don't know if he does. I mean, I I talk with him offline. Uh, yeah. Yeah. If you hung out with us, like when we'd have like seven people in a space on a Saturday morning at like nine thirty, so seven thirty his time over in California, right? He's getting his coffee, and we're just sitting here talking markets. Yeah. You 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 don't need to pay for that shit. You would have seen that mid caps turned over right around November 15th. You would have seen the small caps turned over at the uh, beginning of last December. You'd see the large caps turned over on the 27th of December, meaning value over growth. Yep. So you, you don't need to uh, pay for that. I mean, honestly, it's not a, ter- it's not a terribly big amount of money. I, I kind of even just like the entertainment. Um, Oh yeah, yeah there's something that's definitely worth subscribing to, but I mean, I wouldn't go pay ginormous like twelve hundred dollars uh, unless the, the person I'm trying to call. Sometimes it's also just having like a nice, reliable source of like uh, relevant content. You know what I mean? Like, to, to, exactly right. like just reading information. You know what I mean? <laughs> you can sign, sign up for Deers for free. Man. Yeah, I go to Twitter and I get all this stuff for free, right? Like, I talk to I talk to you guys. <laughs> get yeah. my ideas. So, do you know how you're lucky you are to be able to talk to me, Steph? <laughs> no, I really do. You, you, you can literally just just go hang out with George Noble. He, he might be brash or whatever, but when it comes to his... Um, I'd rather dive head first into a blender. No, no, but t- today he had Walter Deemer on, right? So De- Deemer's one of the founders of the CMT. I'll listen to that any day of the week, right? Yeah. I'll, dude, um, that, that guy has the credentials to back up what he says, right, with actual data. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'll listen to that guy any day. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, when you uh, work in the industry for 40 years, you did something right. Yeah, he's out there retired in Florida, man. Yeah, he just chills. He's in, like, uh, some retirement community he's talking about. <laughs> yep. That, that guy's the one that told me, like, when I first joined the CMT, like, yeah, you really want to get good, just do the hand charts. The thing is, I can't find that chart paper anywhere. <laughs> Dude, you gotta go to jail with hands. We don't have a Walmart here, so. <laughs> you got graph paper, but you gotta tape it all together. I'm talking about point and figure charts that you can get on stockcharts.com. I think you might be able to get them on uh, Trading View. They said they're gonna come out with them, I don't know. Those charts are way more accurate than any of these candlesticks or hiking Ishii. Yeah. I find that, like, I don't look so much on charts of price, and I'm starting to look more at, like, other metrics, like like DMI and stochastic. So the, the four four or five different, uh, I guess... They, they all tell you the same thing. Well, s- sort of. They're just different... It, I don't know. I, I don't know that like that wedge patterns tell me what stochastic MACD is doing, right? So like, most, so most, most charts are in rising wedges, so they're going to break down. Yeah. So, so yeah. So right now I'm looking at. I mean, I have the price up, but also stochastic MACD uh, and the DMI oscillators and implied volatility. That's what I'm looking at right now as far as how to make decisions. So your implied volatility, you could just do a TTM squeezes, your Keltner channels and Bollinger Bands or your standard deviations. Those give you squeezes before they even happen. Fuck your uh, gamma shit that somebody was talking about earlier. That's the worst. That is literally, when it comes to volatile markets, it will bite you both ways. When it comes to what the market maker's been doing for the past two days, right? Or market makers, I should say. What Bollinger Bands you're talking about? No, 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 the GAMMA strategy. I've heard people talk about uh, it. It doesn't work in certain instances, but in, in volatile markets, it doesn't work as good as it, it could because delta needs to move before GAMMA does. GAMMA is a second derivative of price. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you understand the Black-Scholes equation, you definitely understand what 
and, and I understand some people have have services or whatever. It's not to discredit them, but usually using a gamma centric strategy would have maybe showed you a few things when it came to strikes for like let's say you're playing spy today but uh anybody with any sort of uh experience in the market well over a year knows how to identify i, I guess now the new term is supply and demand zones no those are just called points of control and pivots and support and resistance you call them supply and demand because you have the volume profile. Like Josh today, right? Um, I can show him advanced decline, right? That's way better at gauging market breadth along with your moving averages than all of these other strategies. So then what are the metrics you were saying you look at? You said implied volatility. So I said implied the volatility. The TTM squeeze, those, those are Keltner channels. Keltner channels literally help measure implied volatility. So go look what happens when Keltner Channel squeeze and Bollinger Band squeeze. Man, that's blast, man. That's a, that's a risk of a blast. No, there's no risk. Exactly. That's, that's, called, that's called a spring. That's called yep. a loaded spring. Like, literally, right. you're looking for a breakout in either direction. Yeah, you see, when you say the loaded spring, it just reminds me of the order block, you know. You could have literally looked at a TTM squeeze today when we were going into the final half hour of trading, and it would have showed you the breakout as it was going on. You could have taken the trade <laughs> on the cues. Yep. Yeah. You can look at TTM squeeze. It is a combination of Bollinger Bands. It's a John Carter study. It's available on for free on Thinkorswim, on TradingView. Okay, I don't know, on Weeble, maybe. Just to trade? Yeah. Yeah, that guy, he's the one that developed Thinkorswim. Yeah. You're talking about uh, yeah. Tom Sussman. Yeah. Yep. That's the guy. Yeah, he, has it. he definitely has it on his. So you're looking at Bollinger Bands and TTM Squeeze. You look at both of those things. No, no, that's what a TTM Squeeze is. It's a combination of Bollinger Bands and Keltner channels. Gotcha. You, you don't need all this other stuff. I mean, if it works for you, knock yourself out. But literally, oh, how many geez, services... Really, I don't need any. No, and not to be mean, you know, there are people that definitely no, have some I don't stuff out that. there, right? But I'm just telling you, price is what pays. All this other shit that you complicate your, your strategy and your process with, you, you'll never find a process if you keep on bouncing around like a little bounce in the house. Right? If, if the more you complicate this, the, the more you're going to doubt yourself. And honestly, even with f the flow data, unless it's like a low volume market, which the past two days, right, we, we had somewhat normal volume, but if short's covering, I even sent Josh the data. The volume that was weak. It. No, 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 the past two days. So basically since the beginning of the month, it's been short's covering that. Yeah, yeah. It's actually not yeah. real buying and volume. No. Other than you notice, how the buying, you, know, you notice how the buying is so steady? And, and controlled, right? Yeah, that's how you know. Yeah, that's how you know a lot of it is short covering. No. Yep. Well, that's one way you could look at it, but it's well, also yeah, it's one way. Right. Yeah. That that was a little bit. You know. They, they got to deploy the cash, right? right. So it was a little bit like, too. Yeah. Too. Uh, um, well, your your funds re restructure at the end of the month. Well, so you, it's, you, it's you also have contributions, and you have distributions, right, and pension funds. You have you have op -ex. They they do that at, they do that at the end of the month. We just had a VIX rollover yesterday. We had op -ex hey, rollover. I, I, I had a question for you. I totally forgot um, right now. Um, do you happen to know what the when JP Morgan rolled their trade? Um, what the what the uh, the new strikes were on their trade? No, I can get it. Yeah, it's a uh, four thousand strike on the uh, upside. Like, you know, Oh, you're talking about on SPX? No, they, they usually play. Uh, they usually play spy too. Um, come on. Yeah, yeah, they do. So I was uh, I usually go for the spy. SPX was four thousand, and then on the downside, I think. So four. So you're saying four hundred possibly around that area for spy? Okay. And what was the bottom side? Bottom side, it was. Yeah, they sold uh, three thousand, and uh, they bought puts for thirty five hundred. I thought, yeah, I thought it was 3500 I thought you told me that was 3500 Brandon. It was 3520 the first trade, right? Yeah. What I'm saying is then they rolled the trade. I don't know what they rolled it to. Oh, uh, okay. they rolled it again? Yeah. They, they roll it every quarter. They spend roughly on minimum. They're not the only ones that do it, too. Right. Hey, Brandon. 
Hey, Brendan, is, is that the reason why we've never got capitulation is because of that the J.P. and Morgan trade, or am I completely nope. wrong on that? No, they do that to try to stabilize the market. That's what I'm saying. So we never got, like, a panic fear sell-off, right? Because because of well, that you, trade? You, I thought you, I thought... You pretty much did. did. You pretty much did. We, we had an order, orderly sell-off, right? Okay, l- l- let me ask you something. How many different institutions do you think are playing the market on any given day? Well, of course, dude. I understand that. Okay. So if you understand that, then you would have also dug through Goldman Sachs's quarterly earnings report, right, and seen what they did. Right in the first 100 days, didn't they make 32% of the year? I, I, I have no idea. What? Yeah, man, yeah. they did. They, they... First, first 100 days, they made 32% in trading revenue, meaning a 32% yeah, yeah. return on investment. Yeah, their, fi- their fixed income, uh, in commo- FICC, fixed income commodities division, was like thrive. No, 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 not because uh, of yeah. the yield curve. No, then no, that no, margin goes fixed, down on that fixed side. Income, fixed income in commodities is a trading division inside Goldman. I understand that. Usually right, start the fixed out income on that trading, credit the fixed side. Fixed income trading yeah. was the best performing check, uh, division in Goldman. Okay. I was saying the first 100 days of this year, 32% was on their trading revenue. It was not from their fixed income desk. Right. I, I was saying last quarter, their fixed income team did their best, right? Meaning they continued the strength of their trading. They sold their bonds. Of course. They're getting out of those bonds. Why would you? Why would you not want to get out of bonds right now? Uh, Eighty twenty is dead. Isn't it, the, isn't it the worst? I mean, now it's reversed, right? But basically, before we had this rally on short covering, uh, weren't we also the, the worst sixty forty split since World War Two? Yeah. Nineteen thirty two, right? So. I, I'm happy to focus on the positive, but when you look at it on a long-term basis, you, you can't ignore the fact of what's going on in the market. I don't care that, that J.P. Morgan has their $600 million plus uh, seagull fund, right? At the end of the day, they do that to stabilize their trade because, one, the bond market usually leads, but these days, I don't think Wait, the bond you market... You said $600 million? Yeah, they use that on minimum. Yeah, it's a, I thought it's a 17, I thought it has up to 17 billion. Yeah, they do usually 600 million in troves, man. Mm-hmm. Got it. They, they start off with 600 million to allocate. If you noticed, and you can go back to your trade with alerts, see what was going on at uh, the beginning of the month when it came to huge spy, Q's, and IWM. I'm not saying this is all JP Morgan, okay? Your neighbor's not buying. 78 million dollars of spy today okay i mean uh, unless he's some fucking hedge fund dude that's uh literally <laughs> crazy he's not buying a spy that's why most pension funds try to mirror an index fund but they're shitty at doing it what do you think they all try to mirror man how come only 11 funds beat the market average last year and 37 legislative members beat the index average? Hmm. You're telling me that we have roughly what, 6 or 7% of legislative members that are smarter than fucking <laughs> 95% of the uh, population that trades? Yes. With, with knowing what the policies are going to be before they get put in place and taking and taking positions in them, of course. I mean, I think it's really awesome the person that came out with a graphic of literally when the announcement was made pertaining to somebody disclosing a position in NVIDIA and the reversal, even though NVIDIA was given a downgrade that week, Monday morning by fucking Bank of America, and then came Barclays, and then who was the other one? KeyBank? Mm-hmm. Downgraded both. AMD and NVIDIA on Wednesday. And then it just rallies. Um, so uh, I just wanted to make sure like, I shared this about what the, the JP Morgan trade, like it's how it's structured. It's, um, mm-hmm. it's in place uh, from the S&P index falling down 5% uh, 
to 20%. So it's, it has protection from the uh, 5% down and all the way to 20% down and allows for upside participation in the average range of 35 to 5% up, right? So so it was rolled on the 30th or the 1st, um, 35, 20 um, with the original strike. They probably rolled that down, right? So my, my question from that, KP, is what is the upside participation range? Like, is that where, that, that's what, from, like it's 3 to 5% from spot when they make the trade? Is that what it's saying? Usually they predefine their position, right? So, like, I'll tell you the pivot for me on this upswing was at 37.30. 39.45 was the trigger to even play further upside just on SPX up to 40.75. 40.73 and change if you want to be a little bit more accurate, okay? Other than that, all of this is just dead weight. So, looking at JP Morgan, they have predefined levels that they positioned into. Their chief of macro, right? And chief of, I think, macro research, I believe. Uh, I can't pronounce the guy's name, so I'm not going to try to. Uh, he reiterated the 4,900 target. Then they finally lowered it down to 4,200. He reiterates it on Monday from a previous call, but maybe a few weeks before that. And then they're like, no, we're going to drop it down to 4,200. So I'm assuming they've taken that 4,200 number, and they're not even playing that yet. The fact that you guys are talking about the earnings revisions and I should say guidance, guidance didn't shift, you know, going into this earnings season. Q2 guidance had, but Q3 and 4 were the same for the majority of S&P companies. Only, I think, 67 had changed anything. Even though they had, like you guys were also talking about earlier with the dollar strength, right? Yeah, whoever said that, you're 100% right. But the fact that Microsoft comes out and warns about it right after they report their earnings last time and they tell you what the write off is going to be, or I shouldn't say the write off, but the effect, right, on their Forex, that should tell you Google's probably not going to be any better. That should tell you Apple's probably not going to be too much better, uh, considering Apple gets a decent amount of revenue, especially their growth from outside the US market. Just short everything. It's simple. No, I'm not saying just short everything, but just take a look at those 340 puts for September right after the or the the week of the uh, FOMC meeting. Next week. No, not next week. So September, my friend. No, so but September. Uh, no, no, no. I'm talking about sorry. Now, this week, 20, actually next week, we have the GDP, GDP, GDP number coming out. GDP. I'm interested in that second quarter. 27th no that's that's the rate decision no, no, no i'm talking about gdp 27th or 28th july oh, the, okay that's the okay, gdp, I, I, GDP we, number we already have that right so, so no they do that consecutively. second quarter we, we don't have that second quarter so the atlanta fed actually has a gdp now tool you can actually get the gdp updated right there for the, for the second quarter they, they said it's coming out on 27th 27th july and then the last one we, we came out, they always come out every week, but that was the updated one, you know, for the first quarter. That's what they keep updating first quarter. Second quarter. Uh, no. so, so if you look at the Lena Fed tool, they, that's it's free for anybody. Yeah. Um, that, that's actually updating on a weekly basis, usually, or bi-weekly, right. I should say. And so that, that's a little bit different than the GDP that you're speaking of. Yeah, I'm talking about the total U.S. GDP. No, they, they do that. The Atlanta Fed does, but they, I believe they use a consensus. That there's more than one Fed that populates that data. They have multiple economists, right, that work at their various Fed regional offices. So. Yo, Palmer, are you there, man? Let me hear your take on what's going, to go, on, what's going on right now and what you, think, what you think sets up for next week. Well, how you doing, Adam? What's up? Dude. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh my god, man. In the Midwest, it's hot as fuck. It's 103 here. I'm going to the pool later on, man. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't see anything good coming up next week at all. Um, I went from irresponsibly short to even more irresponsibly short today, and I'll do Same. it more tomorrow. Same. <laughs> if, we, if we grind up, I mean, 
way too irresponsibly short though. Oh yeah, you you have no idea. I think I've told you, Brandon. Yeah. Go, Brandon. Go ahead, go go ahead, Palmer. I think he dropped off. Yeah, he dropped off. Look like. Something. Yeah, he's one. Of, he's one of my. He's he's one of the hedge guys that. <clears throat> he's he's a. He's a sub with me. Him and I chat all the time. But maybe his phone died or some shit. But yeah, it's hot as balls out here. Maybe his maybe his phone got too hot, like mine does. Today, earning came out of capital loan. We forgot to discuss that. That also missed. They missed the capital. They missed? Yeah, How the they missed. Did they miss? <laughs> capital one earning miss, and tomorrow, American Express. Morning. Hey, sorry about that. I'm back. Okay. So, so what's up, man? So, what are you, so what are you, I thought that Snap today is uh, not pretending well for next week. No, nothing is. I mean, that's. I don't know what I what you guys heard before I got cut off there. My phone rang, but you know when you watch, when you look at these earnings earnings reports that have been supposedly good this week. I mean, there's really nothing if you want to look at them objectively. I mean, there's nothing that's that great about them. And somebody said something earlier about how I may have been you, Adam, how they think third quarter is going to be worse and possibly even the next year. Uh, yeah, um, I do. I work in the development sector, so I'm, I'm a chief financial officer for a real estate development company in the northern part of Kansas City, Missouri, and you know. We went last year, we went from, we were going to do a whole new subdivision and 100 homes. We're down to, we killed the subdivision, we're down to 15 homes, and we think we might have to rent them. That's, that's, and that's, and I bring that up, it's just kind of a broader point. Everybody in the economy right now, I mean, everybody, every common person you talk to sees, you know, what's coming. No one's optimistic about the future. Consumer confidence sucks. And, <laughs> you know, we still... And we still haven't seen the last of the Mohican to fall, which is employment. And we're already seeing people, you know, gorge themselves on credit card debt just to live. And that that gets better. How so? Now you're starting to hear whispers of, of job, you know, cuts, job layoffs. You know, what was it? Google the other day said, well, we're reevaluating or we're counting heads like a gigantic game of digital duck, duck, goose, I guess. But so how's that all end well? I mean, is, is, is the market just going to, you know, the economy just going to miraculously turn on the dime? And then you got the political component of this. I mean, a lot of this market that was driven by all the stimulus spending, that's not going to be there next year. Or anything. There you go. There you, know, you I mean, go. I'm glad to hear you say that because that's my thesis, man. People okay. people say, oh, a mixed Congress is good. I'm like, no, it's not when you need no. fiscal policy. No, it ain't good at all. I mean, they're... they're they can't they can't behave well together as it is and if you have a divided congress and hell it may be really divided if you believe what the pollsters are saying if the republicans you know really really take a lot of seats i mean nothing's going to get done there sure as hell ain't going to be a gigantic stimulus package that swoops in and saves everybody's life and you're going to start to see that more and more as we get in the third and fourth quarter i genuinely believe that we could see it too on the S&P by the time all this is said and done and the water settles. So, I'm with you, Palmer. So, you know, so, so remember one thing, just to add to what you're saying, McConnell punted the ball and gave all chairs of all committees to the Democrats. So if shit hits the fan, guess who's chairing the committees? Huh. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't know that, but I'm not surprised. Don't, don't I heard that either. Don't forget that. But anyway, and usually uh, I mean, your lumber market's a year ahead of your house in the market. Yeah, that, what we actually own, uh, we own a lumber yard, and uh, uh, my my boss, hell, he's, he's probably traded lumber futures in for thirty some odd years, and you know he he's short as shit right now, and it is that that's usually a, a, and you know housing's important. I mean, they, you know, often say housing leads you into or out of a recession. Well. It's going to slow down. It already has, and it's going to slow down even worse. And I think everybody's going to be really surprised how bad this can get. So I, you know, so what? The damn market's rallying right now. What do you do? Short covering. It's great. You know, this. It's just. It's just typical human irrational exuberance, thinking that everything's going to be okay, and it's. It's just not going to be okay. I, so well, I'm just going to keep building shorts and wait for it to come back down again. And then I'll do it again when it does goes back up. Yeah, but I'm with you, man. I'm doing. I'm doing the same thing. I'm, I always get it. I always tell you I get in too early, but yeah. <clears throat> you know, it's it's whatever. You just the thing is, you got to like. The last time I got in short, like you know the my hedge egg, the hedge egg guys weren't quite short, and then we had a major drawdown, which is why I got in a little earlier than the last time, 
and I didn't. It was, you know, my first, my first. I'm trying to get better and get like, you know, put my first batch of shorts in, and then you know, add as as things go up. But you know, I've obviously missed the the very top here, but and it could be, it certainly could go higher. But the biggest mistake I could make is just to to bail on that and just take all my losses when I know that things are going to continue to be constrained. Well, people and, uh, you capitulate at the worst possible time. If that's right. Like you got yep. prop here. I mean, yeah, you just gotta stay at the end. So that's what I'm doing here, man. I'm just trying to hold on to my shorts and just learn from it, which is why I'm talking about looking at RSI or implied vol the next time because there's a lot. There's in, there's some levels of implied vol that look like there's repeating patterns there, and I'm like, okay, well that makes sense. I haven't looked. I've been a little guilty this week. I haven't looked much at, at the the table. It's always in the early look on or the macro show on edge eye what 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 is the eyeball premium right now i mean is it isn't it negative <clears throat> yeah they're deeply they're deeply negative now or, yeah I'm so, I'm so busy i haven't been able to pay, just keep up on it yep. so yeah so anyway yeah I'm, I'm with you man just a matter of it's a matter of waiting it out if you can wait it out then you'll be okay All right that, that's how i view it but yeah i don't you know, there's a lot of people that are talking about 3,400, 3,500 levels of the S&P. I'm like, dude, we could be there by August, and this isn't going to get better right away. Like, the Fed is not... Go ahead. Is 3,620 the low? I think it's... Well, it's in the 36s. I thought it was like 3,640. That's the exact strike of the bottom leg of the JP Morgan tree. Huh. And it really mm. rolled off. And it rolled off on the it rolled the thirtieth, and then it rolled again. Uh, if the if it did roll again, it would have rolled off June thirtieth, right? July first, right? Nothing but rally, right? That makes sense as they had to buy, right? They rolled it off and then they had to buy the, the, the trade again, right? And what about the assholes, man? <laughs> what? Yeah, hey, hey, Brennan, you 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 read Kem Carson stuff? Yeah. Yeah, that's what he was saying, right? Like that's why we didn't have that capitulation I sell off. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. It makes a yeah, lot of sense. Yeah, that's what I tried to say, it, you know, earlier. Correct. I was just saying, Brendan, what a bunch of assholes. Because that kind of position, like, how much did you say it was? Seven? It's... It's just shy of 20 billion. Yeah. Interesting. Because so you know people are following into that trade. 130,000 spy contracts. Yeah. Fuck, man. You know that people are falling. You know that there's, they're not the only ones that are doing that trade. Like, there's other course, other yeah. folks are watching that. The col- right? I mean, it, it's a very widely known trade, right? It's the J.P. Morgan column. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do from now on. That's that's Moving forward, that's how I'm going to trade. I'm going to change my my Twitter name to J.P. Morgan Collar Trader. Or J.P. Morgan Collar Trader. And that's it. No more death cross. <laughs> JPMCT. There you go. I'm the J.P. Morgan. I am the J.P. Morgan collar trade. Okay. <laughs> oh, dude. So yeah. yeah. Th- Three sixty-two seventeen is the low. Three sixty-two is their strike. And they and they hit it. I wonder if they covered right there. Well, but if they covered right there, it'd be just a massive move up. No, it mean, wasn't I, a massive. I think, move no, up. I believe it was just lending this. It was support. Right, it, it, it literally would, it, that would act as a massive leg of support, right? And that's why it didn't go below that. Yeah, which is why, that's which is why I didn't care about getting short around thirty nine hundred. I was like, whatever, man. <laughs> like, yeah. Because yep. if we go to thirty five hundred, that's insane. Yep. But yeah, I don't think it's just going to be over. You never okay. This whole market bottom stuff as well. Did you actually see small caps outperform? I mean, I know they went no, to I'm not saying we've bottomed. I'm saying that was the bottom of that trade. Okay. No, I'm not. KP, dude, my bottom is there's a two in front, man. So. Yeah. So take a look at when they coincide. Their correlationships increase from the NASDAQ to small caps. Let's see what happens. By two, he meant two digits. go along with the short thesis uh, is anybody bullish TLP right now it, it had a good move today right I'm crazy bullish on, on yeah 
I am too. I, I bought some uh, December calls. You bought December TLTs? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I could see it. Why wouldn't it? You look at the chart, it's beating down hard. It's a good time to get yeah, I mean, if we're gonna if we're gonna get a minus four percent GDP recession, like some people I know are calling for, hell yeah, that thing's gonna go. That thing's gonna go up. <clears throat> I, I, I think Gopi's playing that as well, guys. Yeah, he is. He is. The problem the problem is in the in the immediate term, it's it's gonna be bullish equities, because if those, especially your shit goes right, because if your if your ten year starts coming down, well, the TLT is the twenty, but if your ten year starts coming down. All these shit are gonna rally, thinking like, "Oh yeah, like you know, rates are low. Rates are good for us." <laughs> it's like, is the environment good for you? Probably not. But I, I think that 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 plays into the, what's going on right now as well. There's just there's a lot of there's a lot of the these cross currents that are that are pointing in the positive direction right now. I I understand it. So. Um, So tomorrow we have the American Express in the morning, so it depends how it goes. And I really want to see Google. And I really like Google. Like if I if I had to pick one of the fan companies to be long right now, it'd be Google and it's not close. But I think they could get wounded here. They 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 I think they missed on advertising for YouTube for the I think the first time ever was it um, back in Q1. <clears throat> so if they miss more broadly, I mean, that's going to be really bad for them. Well, if you look at the chart uh, in the American Express, it looks it's ready for the gap up, though. So, uh, Brandon, so about that smaller trade, like, did you find the new one or this is the old one? What was that? It's for the JP Morgan, uh, you know, trade. So what do you what, what do you saw over there? I think I, I do remember like there was like some uh, weird post by the charter flow about the call and trade. Are, are you asking what I saw in regards to the trade? In, uh, yeah. So what are the like the strike positions you saw? Um. I don't remember what the top leg is. The bottom leg is 36.20, which represents 20% down from spot time, probably, because that's what its protection was. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the top additional strikes are anymore. I just knew that the bottom, the support strike, right, the strike that was going to act as support for the market was at 36.20. And that's exactly where Kem said that they what they they rolled it up once once they was down there they they ended the trade and rolled it out, right? Is that right, Brennan? June June thirtieth, it rolled up. It rolled. I'm not sure what they what they did with it. But if you look at June thirtieth, right, uh, July July first, right, it's massive buying. Nothing but buying. Right, nothing but green and a big candle. That would make sense if they had to roll that twenty billion dollar trade and therefore buy. Right, they had to be buying twenty billion dollars worth of stock. Do they costs. automatically have that have to put that trade back on, or do they wait? Like, does it, is it an it automatic? Is, it's the JP Morgan hedged equity fund internally. If it's not hedging their equity, right, I would think it's pretty useless for a $20 billion fund. So, yeah, I would think that they have no choice but to roll that. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> so, well, that was, that was, you said June was 3600 I thought we saw that it was 3520 for July. Um, On the plus so, side. Well, it doesn't necessarily mean that they um, that they changed the strikes, right? It just means it was expired. Right. I just wondered if they. I I thought they adjusted to thirty five twenty. 